ready for it, bro. Like, trust me, bro. Like, okay, like on some non egotistical shit. Yeah. Like, this is my first podcast, bro. Okay. But this is gonna be the one, bro. Okay. This is the one people are gonna look back to, bro. So, like, hell yeah, that's, that's why like, I appreciate you guys a lot because like. Shit's appreciate been moving for me, bro. And this is my first podcast that I've, like, I told you, bro. Like, yeah. literally, bro, I was like, damn, I want to be on a podcast, bro. Yeah. I was like, should I, like, put a post, like, <laughs> who's going to put me on a, like, who has a podcast, right? I was yeah, like, nah, yeah. you know what? I'm going to let it come to me. Yeah. Literally, like, the next day, I went <laughs> to him at the gym. And he's like, bro, like, we have a podcast. You should come yeah. on. I'm like, there it is, bro. Yeah, okay, that's sure. that's always the best. Like, like yeah. it just came, yeah. bro. And, like, I'm telling you, so much shit has just been happening. Wow. But, like, me just doing it's crazy, okay. bro. Yeah. It's crazy. And, like, to find, like, people chill like you that, okay. like, I could, like, because I feel like, and like I said, this is totally respectful. I feel like I'm on the come up right now. Yeah. And, like, to meet people that are, like, on the same process yeah. is so dope, bro. Cause, like, we could do this podcast right now when I'm, like, not nobody. Yeah. And then in a year from now, when I'm somebody, we could reunite and come be like, right. damn, yeah. bro. Like, who you. have you guys had on the podcast in a since year? Then. Like, yeah. what have I done in a year since then? Yeah. Like, I feel yeah. like it's going to be really fucking dope. And you yeah. guys are, like, the first people to put me on a podcast. And I feel like this is, like, the ticket, bro. Like, this is going to be dope. Nah, it's going to be, gonna be dope. Dope. It's really fun. fucking dope. It's going to be a lot of reels. 100%, bro. 100%. Let's make a lot of reels. Let's make a lot of reels. Yes, let's fucking do That's what, bro, like, Literally, like, coming into this, I was like, bro, what the fuck can I say that's going to fucking just be just, amazing? Nah, be so, it be just got to so. be, like, organic, bro. Yeah, like, it'll that's, come. Don't worry. That's all I am, yeah. bro. I'm <laughs> telling you, bro. Like, they try to sell me at Sprouts. Because I'm fucking organic, bro. Say, like, I'm telling you, bro. Trader I'm Joe's, right bro. Hey, I'm telling you, bro. At Trader Joe's, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. Shout out to the vegan community, bro. Like, come on. Put me on, bro. Let's just start this I'm ready, bro. I'm fucking ready. He said I'm non-GMO. <laughs> like, come on, no, no growth <laughs> hormone here, buddy. Like, let's do it. Oh, we, let's shout before we start. Yeah. Come on, to start, a hey, success, bro. Success, success, bro. Success. Success. Salud, salud, salud. Thank you, for salud. Me. Oof. All right, guys. Yeah. This is LFP episode forty nine. Uh, second episode of year two. Um, I'm your host, Marla. To my left, we got Wesley. What up, Yayo? To my right, yo. And to my far right, Hector. And if you haven't noticed, we have a very special guest, our boy Mikey. What's going on? What's good, dog? You want to yes, introduce sir. yourself? So my name is Mikey Fit. M I K double E Y F I T. Double E. Double E is is eccentric because if you don't put the double E, yeah. there's mad. Mikey's. There's like a weird, a weird <laughs> buff guy. Yeah, that's yeah. not me. So make sure you put double E's if you want the cool guy. Okay. There we go. So M I K E Y F I T. You don't like that? I don't mind too, though. Yeah, you know you. Now this is a little complicated. It is, bro. It's hard, bro. I'm like, yo, my Instagram is Mikey Fit, and they're like. They type it in. It's like some, some other guy. Is this you? Yeah. And the guy has muscles. I'm not going to lie. So yeah. like, is this you? I'm, no. Yeah. <laughs> Two E's, bro. Two E's is essential. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I get you. It's essential. That's what's up. That's um, dope. Uh, happy to have you here. Appreciate um, you, man. How's everyone's week? How's everyone feeling? Good, bro. Good? Chilling. Yeah. Had a good week. Just trying to get past some shit, but. Yeah. yeah. It's okay, though. That's yeah. okay, Hector. It's all right. Um, the sun comes up in the morning regardless Facts. of what happens. Okay, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's so important. The sun been up, but sometimes you have your eyes closed and you don't see the sun. Hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah. Sometimes you're blind, bro. <laughs> so, I feel like yeah. it's so important to realize like how lucky we are to wake up, bro. Yep. Yeah. Like, that's that's, so, that's yeah. an important fucking thing. Like, Perspective. You know what I mean? Yeah. Perspective is everything, and I just learned that recently. But okay. like, we get so caught up in like. What are we going to be in 10 years that we don't realize, like, we might not be alive in 10 years. Yeah, so, like, God. you really have to, like, wake up and be like, yeah. I woke up today. Let's fucking make the most of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, today. Roof over like, your head. Friends. Like, like that's family. a real fucking yeah. thing. Like, don't, like, everyone goes through shit, bro. Like, everyone yeah. has bad times. Yeah. 100%. But it's like, what do you do when you wake up? Like, See, look, my boy Hector had hey. told me something very important the other day. You want to? Look, every day we got to, we, we have, like, a conscious effort to, like, to be happy. You can either, like... Wake up and be happy or be sad. Facts, <laughs> bro. Wake up or be miserable or wake up and be angry. Yeah. But I mean, look, we have that choice every single day yeah. to be the. It's happy. okay to be angry sometimes. Though. Look. Yeah, it yeah, is, nah, nah. but I, not, look. but not the whole day. And shit, like nah, I be angry the whole day. Like, Fuck. I feel like that's nah. important though. <laughs> not the whole day. Because if you don't know, like. Oh, I maybe. You. Nah, you're right. You're right. You look, be angry I think the whole it's day. important. You could like to go through your like. You could be sad, <laughs> happy, whatever it is. But if you're, like you said, it's a conscious effort. If you want to be happier <laughs> or you want to not be, you, you can be. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because you, if you let shit, those days. Yeah, if you let shit pull you down, then like yeah. you're going down with it. Yeah. So, let's, get, 
Look at us, bro. Motivational speakers yeah, all of a sudden. Real. I feel like what it is, bro, it's not like how you're feeling in the moment as long as you get your shit done. Yeah, like, you could be sad and get your shit done. You could be happy yeah. and get your shit done. You could be fucking yeah. ha- like amazing and get your shit done. Right, right. As long as you get your shit done. Like yeah. you, it's okay to feel a certain way because we're not always going to be happy. Nah, nah. And that's what's important. Like showing that's up not when you're not happy is yeah. like what's important. Yeah, 100%. That, like facts. Yeah. Facts. Damn, I see you. Who would have thought? <laughs> I didn't First think it was just, brought up. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I didn't like this. Fuck. Facts. Bro, bro, that's right that's no real lose. shit. Like, yeah. It's real shit. And I feel like that's the problem with social media, bro. Everyone pretends ah. like they're fucking happy 24-7. That's what I hate. Or, you know what I mean? That's what I hate. That's why like, I didn't I didn't like what he said. Like the whole being angry, but... <laughs> Yeah, that's nah, what I hate. But I, I say, like, it, it's cool you know to be angry. Yeah. Well, but I hate they, when people try to act like the whole day is, like... Happiness. Yeah, nah, you're nah, supposed nah. to be happy regardless. Respectfully. Like, bro, no, it's no, okay no, to no. be, like, <laughs> mad sometimes. Mad. Or, like, yeah. you know, like, shit's not going right. Like, that's perfectly fine. Like, yeah. you don't but you feel, like, should push to be happy. Yeah. yeah. Ultimately. But I just hate the people that act like, yo, every day is happy. Like, fake. All this shit. Like, yeah, nah, bro. There, there is people like that, though. But like, And I think those people are insane. But there's also the... Oh, yeah, for sure. Those are serial killers. But there's an opposite to some people that are always just sad trait. <laughs> or always just angry. Isn't it? Not not necessarily that. They're just miserable Fuck. and show it in anger. Okay. I, I see. I can't okay. come. I don't know what to say against that because like, may, I don't know what they're going through. But I hate right. the people that are happy all the time. I know they're trying to say like, well, you know, like. I guess well, so. it's not even that they're happy so like, all the time. That They try to show that they're happy all the time. Yeah. yeah. That part. That's like, not Because if they're really happy all the time, like they're winning. If yeah. you're happy all the time, yeah. you're fucking winning at life. And if you're pretending but, to be happy, that's fake. But tell you what, I'd rather hang out with someone that's happy all the time versus someone who's pissed off all the time. That's important, too. Who you surround yourself <laughs> with is know. very, very like Why important. Why am I going to hang out with someone that's yeah. fucking trying to, like, put me down the whole time, bro? Or no, like, but someone that's happy all the time, bro, like, I need you to resonate with me, dog. Like, you know? But if you had a preference, if you had a preference of who you'd rather hang out with. I need someone to go to through regular emotions. Yeah. I feel you. I you feel know, you. Like it's not. It's not generic. It's not organic. Yeah. But like, if somebody's happy all the time, like you're not curious to think, like what actually, the fuck nah, is going through your yeah, mind? Well, like, yeah. the thing is, like, you what happy? makes you what makes you happy all the what time? What makes you genuinely happy? Because there's some people that are happy to like breathe, bro. And that's oh, like damn. That's like Those amazing. Are the people I- <laughs> because if you think about it, bro, there's people like living in this world with like yeah. really hard like diseases yeah. like think about people like in like third world countries that don't have shit bro yeah, yeah. and they'll be happy when they get like a care package of water and shit mm-hmm. so then you have people like us who are like damn like work is hard bro we got so much work yeah. you know just to afford our, our cars and yeah. our food and then there's people that are like not eating but shit see, that's why perspective is important but at the same time we can only deal with our own circumstances so oh. i can't i can't even like i'm not in that situation 100%. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, see, I feel like you wanted to say something. I forgot what I was going to say. Damn. I, Damn, I, I, that's important, I bro. Saw I, you, I, I saw, saw you going for it. Saying, Come bro. on, think about Pretty it, Pretty much like... <sighs> I feel like you can be you can be upset, bro. You can be upset, yeah. but as long as you can shake it off yeah. and then go on about your day and be cool and be happy and you're good. Okay. You're winning in life. It's yeah. okay to be sad, bro. It's yeah, okay to be mad. It like, it's okay to yeah. feel... That's yeah. what I, I want to stress, like, the most. It's okay to be, like, sad and mad and shit, like... Okay. But shake and, it like, off and keep going. This goes back to, like, people tying shit to, like, their Zodiac signs and shit, like... <laughs> they're, shit, bro. bro, they're just trying to push, like, accountability to other stuff, like... Bro, yeah. it's okay to have a bad day. It's not because, like, <laughs> Mercury's in sun or whatever, like, shit's like that, bro. It's bro just, like, be, it's normal. Bro, be mean and to somebody and be like, it's because I'm going to spread that, this. That goes, what the <laughs> fuck are you talking about, bro? That's like, what I'm be nice, yeah. bro. But that goes, back, that goes hey, back to, like, blaming... Blaming... Everything else but yourself. Yeah, it's like accountability. Going they, accountability. Yeah, hundred mm. percent. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Like, like shit's going bad because like you're in control of it, not because like exactly Mercury's in retrograde or whatever. Another thing is like, shit, what bro? is like, bad, bro? What is things going bad? Yeah, that's bro? a big question. Let's say, let's say you have a oh, flat bro, tire. That's bro. a deep question. Bro, let's say you have a flat tire. Like, fuck my day. <laughs> shit, I have a flat. Like, bro, your your tire ran out of air. Like, okay. Bro, the girls tweet uh, posting that their their days going back because they couldn't get Starbucks before work. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like that's so, really like so yeah. petty, bro. Like, yeah. there's people who like lose a family member, like yeah, yeah. lose their like career, not a job, not like a job you work like nine to five, yeah, yeah. like like a career, bro. They'll lose that shit. Like, that's a bad day. Bro. Yeah, that you is. lose somebody you love. That's a bad day. And if you can come up from that and like go and see the positive of that. Like good for you and move on and man, continue. Yeah. that's for you. everything, bro. Perspective is ev- gratitude is, yeah. is everything, exactly. bro. Gra- being grateful for what you have and like yeah. not what you don't have, yeah, is that, like a big fucking thing. One. Yeah, because I I saw people who don't have friends. 
Like, dude, you don't Straight realize up. like how yeah. fucked up people's lives are, bro. There's yeah. people that are like <laughs> fucking <laughs> like there's people that have some <laughs> fucked up lives and like compared yeah. to like our like, oh yeah. Like, when, think about it. We're breathing, like interacting with dope fucking people yeah. doing a podcast right now. Yeah. That's fucking amazing. Honestly, there's somebody on the streets right now asking for a fucking dollar. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? Like I think, hey, yo, Loki, I donated 10 bucks today. Some girl. I like, fucking appreciate you, bro. <laughs> hey, yes, for your real. Those. Like your drop button? that shit. Little, Come little on. Applause, little applause. Come on, something, man. Give me something. <laughs> God, where is it? <laughs> Give me something, bro. Give me the whole yeah. I was like, <laughs> Yo, shout out Wesley, bro. Shout, shout out, out Wesley, you, man. I, I pulled up to Target and I saw them, and then low key I avoided them at first. Like I was like, <laughs> I was like, I'll catch them on the exit. Like and right, that's they that's ran right. up to me, and I was like, yeah. honestly, and well, I didn't say it, sir, but like. In my head, I was like, you could be lying, but whatever. Like, right, right. I'm going to just give you, like, because people be scamming like that. You know, they like, scammed us, remember? When? I, uh, Ontario, in my years back. Remember oh, I told yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I didn't tell you? <laughs> yeah, you didn't tell me. Like, almost <laughs> gave her a 20. <laughs> I remember I told him after. He's like, damn, bro, you should have told me in the moment, but I felt, I didn't, I felt bad. I feel oh, like yeah. even if they're scamming, bro, at least they're working, bro. <laughs> like, it takes courage. Working what? Look, hear me out. Oh, <laughs> hear me oh, out, though. Oh, hear me yeah. out. Yeah. It, it takes courage. You're working me, dog. <laughs> okay, but it takes courage. To yeah. like go up to strangers and be like, "Yo, can I have a couple bucks?" Yeah, that 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 it takes does. something, bro. It like, does take courage. Something, bro. Like that's, a thousand percent. That's like humiliating, bro. Like yeah, but personally, like to me, yeah. if I had to go and like ask fucking oh, that's strangers, tough. like, yeah, yeah. "Yo, can I get a couple bucks?" Like, bro, if they're asking for a couple bucks to get a drink, they like, must be down bad. Like, they're down bad. Yeah, like, I guess I'll so. buy you a fucking drink, bro. See, yeah. but that's like, like different circumstances because if you compare it to a place like, because I mean. We like you and me, Marlon. We've been to Mexico, right? Yeah. And like we we see the people like a lot of people don't ask for money. They don't. They and and they they either try to do a service, and I feel like that that has to do more with like the country, your car and shit. Yeah. 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 Like it has to do with the country and like the poverty in that country. So so it's hard for for people in that country like Mexico and like a lot of places in Central America to like give you free money yeah, yeah because they obviously like to begin have with they don't have a lot themselves it's, it's hard yeah. so so they have to do a service compared to like here when do you like you see it like every once in a while where somebody tries to clean your windshield oh, or, i've never or try that. to do something for you all like, i see is they're you trying to sell like flowers roses and shit. Yeah. oranges and shit like that yeah it's so not even hard, not even them bro. i'm talking about like the people just asking for money it's, yeah. it's so fucking hard bro because you never know their story bro well that's, that's why you can't pass judgment on them that's you what, what i mean do. that's, that's why if, if i'm yeah. in a position to give i will always give yeah because like at the end of the day whether they're scamming you or they're sincere yeah five dollars out of your paycheck yes won't fuck yeah. your life up. won't affect life. you, you know but it mean? might it might Is potentially it, help somebody I, but who got cash though like, <laughs> nah, <laughs> that's another thing the homeless man has a Venmo bro like that's the scam he probably don't no, need no no it was, it was <laughs> she wasn't homeless she was like raising money for like her son's football league oh, okay, like, okay, okay. and she okay. showed me like a thing see so that's cool fuck it whatever I'll donate for that reason you know what I mean if it's like sports related if like the kid is trying to get into like a musical something like trying to get like a trumpet or some shit like cool but also like I usually say no to them uh, cause one time like uh, I got my phone stolen like that. No what? way! Like I wasn't even paying attention. Like I was just chilling, and this guy comes up to me. He's like, he's like, yo, can I use your your phone real quick? Like I need to call someone. My car broke down, and I was like, yeah, whatever. And I gave it to him, and like oh. Oh, yeah. I turned, bro. I went into my car, like, you know, like. Cause I was like, this full action needs, and I turn around, this was gone, bro. And I was like, <laughs> yo, I was like, yo. so do you have like trust issues now? After that, I, for for a little bit, I was like, "Nah, fuck that." I'm gonna do that. That was that your job, right? You yeah, like, yeah my very right first now. job. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. And then, uh, hell no, bro, yeah. you're a real one. That happened, I know. And I was like, "Yo, I'm fucking you, stupid." Like, you. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> bro. I grew up in the hood. And sh- I should have known better. Like, Same, nah, bro. you should have, dog. And then, Let's like, be honest. Yeah. but I was believing him, bro. Like his yeah. story, like sold me. I was like, "Fuck, yeah. dog." Like, yo, but like, honestly, that also shows like what a great heart you have. <laughs> yeah, you have a big heart. What was his story, though? Like that he was, uh, his car broke down. He was out of gas and he walked like five miles to yeah. get to like this spot, which yeah. was like a shopping center Little type Plaza, thing. Yeah. yeah. And then like, yeah. And I was like, all right, bro. Yeah. Usually like and you, f- I mean, at that point though, you, I feel bad. And after that, I was like, but now like for the same reason, like when, when the lady asked for money, like I had money in my, I had cash, okay. but I was like, I'll just Venmo you. Cause I don't want to pull out my wallet and show you like I have cash. Uh, I mean that's ah, kind of legit though. though. Like, if she smart. if she like Venmoed, like it might smart. be legitally for her son's football team. Yeah, it's not like yeah. she was like I'm poor and like I need something. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Exactly. Because so. I've I've heard other stories where like 
some dude that was um at the border actually like this lady came up to me she had a baby and she was like oh so okay i need the money or whatever and then when the guy gave her money she pulled out a gun and she was like give me uh go to the atm mm-hmm. right here and, and check out take See, out all the money that's scary i would have fucking Ray rice hey but bro. i've watched hey, uh, my yeah, boy yeah, like what the <laughs> fuck bro did you watch you should have watched our boy bro he yeah. would have like trained you for the that fucking st- security come on, dude, dude, turn the gun on you he's up with that guy that put his like finger in the gun bro <laughs> you gotta be fast. Oh, so like, you honestly, be fast. bro, so like if, if I'm giving somebody my phone, right? He's like, let me make a call. Yeah. I'm I'm green rangered up. Like if I <laughs> hand him my phone, bro, I'm like ready. To, I'm like, behind him, bro. I'm nah. ready, bro. Like, are you gonna sprint? I'm Usain Bolt at that point. Like, if you're <laughs> ready, to, I'm stretching. Like, you ready is. to take off? Like, that I'm was, ready for it. No, bro. He pulled up in a car and they left. Oh, oh my god, they hit you with like a drive by, bro. Yeah. I feel like it was a the drive by phone. Set up. Like a <laughs> drive by to- phone, but the GTA it was, was, shit, it was bro. definitely set up because before I, w- I pulled up to work, bro, and I was chilling because I pull a mat early to work. I'm like that. And I, I was chilling in my car for like 30 yeah, minutes. Great employee. Great employee. And like, green flag, green I, flag. I was chilling, like, <laughs> I had my feet hanging out the window and she just kicking it. So they were watching me the whole entire time, bro. Like, that's so fucking whack, bro. Yeah. Like, how, like, Oh, profitable, right? I don't know what phone you have. It was an iPhone 4S, bro. How much could you make off an <laughs> iPhone tops, bro? Top. Like, let's say, let's say the top a stolen of the one, a stolen one. Yeah, maybe two hundred. Well, because you, you know can, what I'm saying. How bad you got to be to pull a drive by for two hundred bucks? Like, now, go, f- go fucking Uber Eats, bro. You have a car. <laughs> yeah, to like, true. like yeah. go fucking yeah, Uber yeah, Eats. Yeah. Go deliver food with your homie. Like, thousand percent. Split the bread, yeah, bro. Like, yeah. don't steal somebody's phone. Well, yeah. I remember like back one of our homies, like he was at the Wells Fargo taking out money yeah and then um yeah, yeah some yeah. guy pulled up for a 20 pulled a gun on him and he just took 20 bucks from him yeah. oh i know what you're talking about yeah and it was like and he was like, i just gave it to him i was like no nah, bro for that point like you're gonna die over 20 dollars bro like oh, yeah, the yeah. Fuck? like honestly yeah. i almost died I, I, just, $20. Bro, like, I have like dope shoes like yeah. Fresh shoes and shit. Like, yeah. if someone pulls up to me and they they have a gun, bro, take it, bro. Like, I'm not gonna die over oh, some yeah. pairs of shoes, bro. Like, <laughs> my life. Take that shit, bro. Like, nah, bro, bro, you don't know how many times I've been like held up, bro. Yeah, really. Dead ass, bro. Interesting. Like, literally, want to like, get into one? All right, let's get into one. <laughs> so, like, my fitness, I mean, journey, my it, fitness journey, it bro. Like, happen, yeah. like, starting off, like, I was really overweight, bro. I was like okay. 295 pounds fat, bro. Like, okay. fat, right? Yeah. And uh, I j- this was probably like seventh grade, bro. And I was okay. like trying to get into like. Getting into shape, bro. Yeah. Honestly, like my motivation for like getting fit was like women. I ain't gonna cap to you, bro. Like I see, isn't? I see, I see guys Who's like getting buff and like getting girls, bro. bro even isn't? even nowadays, like getting money and shit. Yeah, like you I, get I, money I, for time, women. It was right? like skinny guys, bro. Yeah. Like it was skinny dudes that okay. were like really winning. So like, yeah. bro, like I gotta get skinny, bro. Right, right. So I started like doing like laps at like uh, the Pacific Hill, bro. Like mm. running. And, uh, mm. That's my hood, bro. Right, yeah, that's yeah, where I Same, bro. Same. So like, I was running that thing, bro, and like I'm going to the top and I see this group of dudes bro and I already know bro like I already fucking know <laughs> you just I'm felt like, it I'm like yeah like I yeah. felt it bro so I like kind of stopped running I'm like start stretching like kind of like make buying time yeah they pull up on me bro they're like like what you got bro I'm like oh fuck bro. Yeah. Like, how old are you how old are you 14, 13. Oh, you and, I, and I'm fat bro like yeah. mind you like I'm fat as fuck so, like I'm like a chubby kid like scared as like Scared to death. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? You're 14, bro. 14, bro. These guys yeah. are probably like 18, 19. And I'm like, like, oh, I don't got nothing on me, bro. Pulls out a strap, bro. Pulls out a strap, bro. And like, a 14 year old? 14 year old, bro. <laughs> uh, yo, they're like, look, we're gonna lose their fucking. You know what I'm saying? Bro. And they're older, bro. Where we they're, at? They're, they're, they're wrong, bro. They're like, what the fuck do you have? It's because I was yeah. listening to music, so they okay. they knew, bro. And um, they took my. It was like a. It was like a. I know. It was like a chocolate, bro. Like oh, a chocolate. I, I phone. Remember the that. chocolate, bro? My shit was prepaid though. It wasn't <laughs> so they <laughs> stole. They it stole was... my chocolate, bro. They stole yeah, that know. shit. And then yeah. uh, at the time, I had some some ones on, right? One, okay. They were beat. They were beaters, bro. They're like, give me your shoes, bro. Yeah. Fucking took my shoes off. I'm fat, bro. I'm like, all right, here, take my shoes, bro. <laughs> yeah. Like, I had no game, so like, I was fat, so like, yeah. my shoes were like everything. Yeah. So they took oh, my ones, damn. bro. And then the the scariest part of my life to this day, bro, yeah. as a grown man, the scariest part of my life, they were like, they had a gun at me, right? Yeah. They're like, turn around, walk away. Oh, okay. I'm like, fuck. They're, they're either going to shoot me or let me go. I, I thought I was dead, bro. Yeah. Like, I thought I was fucking dead, bro. Like, no, no, like, lie. Like, so I'm turned my back to them, walking away. And like, they start laughing, bro. 
They're like laughing. Oh, for real? Like it was, it was like, nah, bro. Nah, they nah. like, they knew, like, they knew. Hey, I fuck those guys, shit, bro. Fuck you know guys. what I mean? You see, that's fucked up too. See, though, I would have like... turned around when Super Saiyan fucked them up. Bro. <laughs> I wish, bro. I wish. The only thing I could do is be like, the only thing I could do is go Super Saiyan, bro. Fries, bro. Like I was fat as fuck. Don't listen to this motherfucker. You know what I mean? Don't fucking try. I can understand, like, if you're if you're robbing, like. The, the rich ass fool or something but if you're on like something like that bro that's fucked up like isn't it oh, yeah. I, I, bro, I, I've told this story before like when I was like 12 or 11 bro I was walking <laughs> I used to get uh, <laughs> dropped off my middle school bus used to pick me up in front of the 7-Eleven on, uh, on like Highland and shit right. and uh, it's a little bad neighborhood but and I'd walk probably like maybe like a few blocks to my house and one time I was walking back and like these cholo ass fools were walking behind me with like a chola girl and then, like, the Chola girl was, like, um, antagonizing them and shit, like, talking <laughs> shit to them. And then she goes, like, yo, this little boy right here will take your manhood. And then I'm, like, in the front, like, nah, I won't. Dude. Like, I'm just trying like, to get me. home. Like, not me. Dude. They didn't oh, do shit. I, I would have started running, bro. <laughs> like, oh, but, man. like, in that moment, you know, like, oh, yeah, similar to this situation, like. You're terrified. I mean, I had, like, probably vans on my feet or some shit. But, like, what if they decided to, like, fuck me up or some shit? That would have been, like, fucked up and yeah, shit. And I would have oh, turned yeah. around. I was like, what's up, bitch? <laughs> nah, yeah. I started watching different, different breeds, bro. Nah, 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 Don't nah, take nah, his nah, advice, nah, dog. Nah, you're fucking breed, 12 nah. and 14 years old, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, yeah, bro. Sometimes it's all right to run away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, bro. <laughs> like, you got to be smart, bro. You got to be smart. 21 Savage said that shit one time. He was like, bro, if someone wants to rob you for your jewelry and shit, like, let them have it. Like, it's not worth dying over. Like, nah, bro. Hell nah. Yeah, bro. No like shot. LG phone, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, There's no, different no, shit. No. Like now, if they're trying to like abduct like your, your sister or little brother, that's different. Oh, yeah. That's different. But yeah. material, like my watch, shoot, bro. Take it, take yeah. it, bro. Like, what if they shit, get bro. you butt ass naked in the street? Do you taking off all your clothes? I'm not, they got a I'm gun, not bro? dead. Yeah, if if they, they got, got a gun, gun, bro. I'm uh, getting naked, bro. I got nothing to lose, bro. If they have a gun. Naked. Yeah, yeah. Look, like, hear me out, bro. Anything if else, I, though, if, I might try to, like, you know. If I go viral, uh, my for dignity, bro. <laughs> what, the, what about my dignity? Yeah, yeah. That's a win, I might, bro. I might do a couple push ups, you know, so I don't yeah. need to <laughs> like, hey, can I fluff it up before yeah, you yeah, get cold yeah, outside? Yeah, it's cold like, outside. You know what I mean? So I go viral, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> that's a little embarrassing. I don't know. Yeah, what I mean, but yeah. fuck, bro. It's so crazy, especially like, bro, so many people got guns these days, bro. Nobody fights no more, bro. Isn't it? It's funny. Like you can't. Back in the day, it was like you shoot the fair one. Like what's we'll up? We'll fight, bro. Like, but now it's just like, yo, I'm gonna just murder you, like, bro. I would have fought anybody if those guys yeah. were like, yo, let me fight you for your chocolate. I would have fought for that chocolate because <laughs> yeah. at least you know, like, <laughs> you know what I, mean? I had a chance to like, <laughs> you know what I mean? get my shit back. If it was That's a one, if it was a one on one, oh, yeah. easily. Yeah, yeah. I would have fought one on one. Individually In a row Like yeah, you know what yeah, I mean Because yeah. like I, Like I said I was fat But I was a big guy Yeah, 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 yeah. So I was ready for it But like yeah. bro When they put out the strap Bro I was shitting my pants Nothing you could do yeah. It's like yeah, fuck yeah, that's yeah. it bro I was yeah. trying to die Whatever that fool be Showing his IG videos bro Like you can't reach for the gun And like <laughs> Nah have you, Has everyone seen the, the, the dude that That pulled away the oh, Asian, the Asian, Asian guy, guy. And Asian like he, guy. he shot him. Like, he shot him through. He said, "He said, oh, I was going slow. I was going slow." Yeah. And he goes, "Oh, okay, okay." He does it again. And same shit. Pop, pop, nah, pop. but then that fool released a video in response saying like all the other times like he won against the Asian guy. You're lying. Yeah, I didn't see that. He won. Yeah, the, yeah. the black guy. Yeah, the, the like the security guard, the Detroit security fool. Yeah, he I was the, done with that guy when he was like, I put my finger in like the trigger. Yes, stop it. that was it, bro. Wait, wait, wait. What? He did, like, he's talking about the one thing. He's talking about the one where the guy was shooting him and then he he holds it back like from the top. Yeah. Like he stops the trigger. Yeah. It's like, come on, bro. Come on now. I have not bro, seen that. We showed you that on the thing. We yeah, putting the finger on. inside. That was the one trigger. of the first ones. No, we not saw. on the trigger on the top. Like you know how you have to cock it oh, back. Oh like, yeah, yeah. Ridiculous. Oh, nah, yo, okay. Ridiculous. Well, he did both of them. He did both. He did the trigger. Have you seen it? When he, he like blocked the, the trigger, like he's not gonna pull the trigger. <laughs> bro, what? <laughs> nah, nah. But the way he did that shit was funny because like. Cause he did it and you couldn't really tell. He was like, and then he kind of put his hand up. He was like, "See, he can't pull the trigger." <laughs> All right, so you think he's a gimmick now? <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah. That's we, what I've been saying. He's a troll. Yeah, yeah. I think so. I think at first he was serious. He's gonna kill. He's gonna get somebody killed. Nah, he, he started shit. hating money, bro. Hector said that a long time ago. He said he was a troll, and I didn't believe him. And then I started seeing certain videos with our boys. You know who I'm talking about. But maybe, but, maybe oh, yeah. but maybe but maybe but maybe at first he wasn't. No, at first, I think but, at first he was trying to be like legit. But he's a troll. Yeah. But then he started getting views, bro. Yeah. And then you get paid for those views. So it's yeah. like, yeah. How can I Dog, get some money? He's, oh, he's making mad money. He's right making now. TikToks with dudes who are famous, and then he. You know how they do the heaven thing? Everyone's seen the heaven thing? Money, bro. He comes up in the heaven part saying like, oh, um, they didn't learn from... Blah, 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 All right, so let me ask you guys, what do y'all think about the island boys, bro? 
<laughs> yeah, honestly, I, I don't know much about them besides like yeah, I I'm an island boy. Let, let me be honest, shit. bro. Like, they're like doing their thing, bro. Like they just bought like a multi million dollar mansion okay. with like elephant shaped bushes. Hey, <laughs> from, it, pay, it pays to be stupid sometimes. Like, though. bro, they have me thinking yeah, I should get a true. neck tap, bro. bro. That's what I'm saying. Anybody hey, like, down, in this day and age, anybody could get like <laughs> I'm, I'm <laughs> blow up shit. all of us. Anybody could blow up. Like everyone's chasing like that. Yeah. That Why are virus, people like, chasing social media as much as they should? Because they're seeing no, like they how others are they benefiting shouldn't. from it. Bro. Honestly, they shouldn't because everybody is not gonna make it, bro. Bro, because you, you, you don't know, because you don't know. Anybody if you think about it, make it. If if you, that's the thing though. <clears throat> everybody can make it, but at the same time, not everybody will make it. Look at the fucking okay, because, uh, because the, at the same time, like nobody. Knows, I'm gonna tell you why. I'm no, tell- nobody knows what's gonna be popping and what's not. Because if yeah. you think about it, if you think about everything that's been like like viral, yeah. Like in your head, like do you really think like like they thought that out and they thought that? that no, nah, I 100 percent think the the other voice. No, the oh. Dr. Phil Catch Me Outside girl, 100%. She saw, like, yo, I'm gonna be on this TV. I'm gonna make a fucking. Nah. Hey, nah, bro. So, like, this is she what she was, she was trying to put on a persona. That bro, she exactly. Was. And that shit bought her. <laughs> but it wasn't, the, it wasn't. She knew what she was doing? It wasn't for the reason for her to be rich. I think it was just her trying to be somebody. So, I think there's a difference between going exactly. viral, going viral but not with the, and making it. Not, yeah, yeah. Right? You know what I mean? Because like you can go viral. I've went viral a few times over some yeah. dumb shit. Obviously, that's no revenue. Oh, but it's like too, dog. it's yeah. what you do. It's what <laughs> you do <laughs> when that. you go viral. Yeah. So like yeah. that girl, bad baby. Oh, nothing. Like, bro, she, she got a record deal. She for went viral, shit. but she ran with yeah. that shit, bro. Well, she's like, smart. That's like even though know, people bro. say she's dumb, like that's fucking smart right there. Yeah. Like she she saw the momentum she was getting and she made something out of it. There's people who do that shit. The Another. fucking um, what's the fool with the white vans? D- oh, damn, damn, damn. Damn. Where's he at? We haven't heard of him. Where's but, he at? But he got a lifetime supply of Van, so maybe that but was But does cool he really him. though? We don't even fucking Yeah, exactly. Know. He could still be at Target, right? Shout, bro, out, to, shout out to Daniel. When that shit was popping, everybody was saying that shit like oh, yeah. damn, damn. Like, this was like what 2014? 15, yeah, around there. 14, 15, 15, 15, like, that's yeah. probably when vans went from being forty dollars to like eight. Have you tried to buy vans now? They're like eighty bucks. Growing up, like the authentics, you go over some five, forty bucks, bro. Like, they're like 60, 70, bro. Hey. bro the old school is like the old schools are like 70. You get 70. a ten dollar discount if you go to the Swami, dog. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> For real, bro. Like that's crazy, bro. Yeah. The shits are stolen though. So like look, <laughs> yeah. oh I know. They they they, they, they would steal every a lot of that shit, they would steal that shit from the trains. So like this is okay. this is this okay. is what I compare social media to in today's age. It's like buying the lottery ticket, bro. TikTok. Okay. So like TikTok is like buying a lottery ticket. So, like, it's free, right? Yeah. Back in the day, bro, people had to pay their life savings to get a billboard to promote their fucking restaurant, whatever. Okay. TikTok is free. It's TikTok a free, free. platform yeah. that literally sends your shit to, like, millions of people. So, I have a cousin who's an artist. I'm like, bro, why aren't you on TikTok? Like, back in the day, artists used to pass out their mixtapes mm-hmm. out in the yeah. streets, bro. Here, like, t- for donation, donation. Like, you could post your music on TikTok and it'll send it to 100 free strangers for yeah. free. Mm-hmm. So, it's like, why isn't everyone trying to, like, hit it on TikTok? It's free promotion. It's fucking free, bro. It's like buying a lottery ticket. People are spending two... F- I don't know how much the lottery ticket is. There are $2. $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2 right? Yeah. So, people, yes. are, people are spending $2 <laughs> in hopes to be a millionaire when you can literally record something yeah. for free and potentially be a millionaire. It's yeah. crazy, bro. But th- And not even be a millionaire, be a billionaire because you could work off of what... What you get it's at that nasty, point. nasty, bro. But that's happening with like the artists, like 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 Drake, Tootsie Slide. That was a TikTok song, bro. Like all if, the, all the artists are making their music to cater towards TikTok. If so they you're can get not like a an artist making TikTok music, you're doing it wrong. Exactly, like, <laughs> like bro. Not all your music, just but one one yeah. line, bro. You can make a fire song and just have one line, like this is what I'm gonna do in this song, so like somebody can make it. And it'll be your background, yeah. like it could be like <clears throat> literally anything. That's why everyone tries to run with like the. Whatever challenge, like the, yeah. uh, the fucking uh, eat some ass challenge. No, what was the was. eat some ass challenge? Whoa. The hey, I'm sign out. Me up. Uh, no time. <laughs> uh, Ray Schremer, the oh yeah yeah yeah, I got no type. Oh. Yeah. no no not no type. The fucking oh the the, the mannequin challenge. Yeah, mannequin challenge. Mannequin yeah, yeah. Challenge, that shit took them up bro. to like number one, bro. And like yeah. they were. But no, I mean, they were, they were big, but not like that big. But think about it, bro. Just staying oh, and, uh, still. Yeah, everybody was posting videos of them just staying still Pause. like this. Like oh, the, the, Har- the Harlem Shake. The, the Harlem, Harlem Shake. shake. So like, who who made the Harlem Shake? 
Who's the author? I don't know. I don't know, bro. Nobody fucking. But I guarantee, oh, if you were to play that shit right now, we'd all be yeah. fucking dancing. Same shit with the. <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking dancing right That's house music, though. That's house music, right? You know what I mean? So I like, no. Why aren't? I just feel like there's so much opportunity in the world that people yeah. aren't taking advantage of. Yeah, like, that's why I've been saying like, if you're like an influencer or whatever, and you're not doing like have another stream like. Selling income. clothes, doing something like that. Yeah. Like you're, you have this following, and they're gonna yeah. buy your shit regardless. Like, I mean, we've been talking about the the Nug Boys beforehand, and they do YouTube, but fuck, they got alcohol. So like anybody who's like it has a following will make something, yeah. whether or not be clothes or something else. Like but, even me, bro. Like I have a small following. Yeah. I have a clothing brand, bro. Like I'm coming out with an energy drink myself. Like yeah. like I have plans, bro. And it's like that's where it's at. That's where the money's at, bro. Yeah. Because if somebody believes in you as a person. They will buy your shit, even if it's trash. Even if your shit is trash. Bro, that gets to my my music point that we'll touch into later. But like, yeah. you're always going to have those diehard fans that are going to, like, I don't know about you, but like, I hate I hate Certified Lover Boy, the Drake album. Uh -huh. But his diehard fans are going to say like, yo, that shit's fresh because they they just love him. No matter what he puts out, he could put out a fucking <laughs> a shirt that has like. Oh, uh, like that. No, no, that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, where's your hat at, bro? So look, look. <laughs> Take my shit off. Look, so certified love way popped out, bro. And the yeah. logo was so clean. Yeah. I did like a CLB logo for my brand. But okay. wait, turn it around. It's so like in the back, it says certified lifter boy. Cause I'm oh, in the okay. fitness community, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. like there's so much shit you can make off that. The, those hats sold out, bro. Okay. Like there's so much shit. That's it. And it's not about, it's not about like me. I put a lot of quality into my brand. Yeah. Right? yeah. Look at this shirt that I'm wearing right now. This shirt is a fucking what's that fucking brand of shirt that's like Gildan. Nah, nah, <laughs> fucking uh, Pain. Shaka, bro. Like a Shaka, Shaka, Shaka shirt, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. This is the basic of shirt, right? Yeah. It has a dove printed in the front and a dove printed in the back, right? Yeah. This is this is Kanye West's Donda Academy shirt. Okay. This shit's on grilled right now for like $290. $290. I bought it for like 60 bucks at the Kanye event. Okay. It's like, it's not about like the product you provide. It's like who you are as a person, bro. Brand. Bro, I've been saying like Tra Travis Scott drops a shirt. It's, it's a Gildan shirt with just like his name on it for like 90 bucks. <laughs> Sells out within seconds. Easy, bro. Yeah. Like Nelk Boys, bro. Like their merch, bro. I have never bought their merch personally. I bought their condoms. That's it. I never used them. I, <laughs> I never condoms? used them. Yeah, uh, they, I didn't know that. I didn't know it, that. it was dope, bro. I bought their condoms. Like, they were giving away a truck, you, right? Hey, 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 my boy. No, did, I haven't used them. So no no quality <laughs> test here. <laughs> okay. But they bought it, a box of... I should have fucking brought them. They're like right. brand new. And it says, thanks for fucking with us. Like, <laughs> like it's cool. condoms, bro. I thought it was a joke. You know what I mean? It was, it was cool gimmick. Dope. So that's like, fucking that's fucking they were giving away like a truck if you bought their merch. So I was like, you know, I'm going to buy this, whatever. Fuck yeah, it. Yeah, like, yeah. You know what I mean? So like... <laughs> But like what what I'm saying is like the power of social media, bro. Like you could really create a following yeah. and sell anything, bro. Yeah, you guys could sell a podcast, La Familia but pens, bro. I, I feel like, like people will fuck with it, bro. Like because they yeah. fuck with you, yeah. bro. Your diehard fans, like you see a lot of people like that big following, like they'll drop a song and like they're not re singers, but they know that shit's gonna go okay. do numbers. Fuck unpopular opinion, the rock song. That rock song you did with I Tech Nine. I hate that song, bro. All about power, bro. <laughs> Whatever the fuck it I is, bro. Like, I don't know. It's like, all about powers, bro. It was but whack. Fuck that that shit. Shit. It was whack. It was whack, but he's the fucking rock. Yeah. Yeah, it was a whack ass boy. And now bro. it's viral. Shout he made out a the check. Rock, he made a check <laughs> off that, bro. Oh, yeah. yeah. 1,000%. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. honestly, I think his Maui song went harder than that song, yeah. but he made money off that shit. He was with Tech Nine, bro. Have you really not seen that? I've never seen that. All about power, all about drive. Like, nah, I don't know. Nah. Bro, somebody was like, yeah, bro, that shit, bro. That's, bro. Yeah. that's back to the same thing. Like, people will be like rock, they're dropping the songs, they're making same. podcasts, yeah. apparel. Like, if you're not doing that, you're like, you're not taking advantage. Yeah, I think, time, I think yeah. like, you have to market yourself if you're trying to get into social media. Yeah. If you're not trying to market yourself, you're literally in it for the wrong reasons. Okay. Because you can make money off social media, but you have to sell something, bro. Yeah. Like, people feel like, oh, I can get paid off of views. I can get... Ah, you're gonna get, uh, you're gonna get, you're gonna get some change, bro. Yeah, it's not worth it, like they might cover yeah, yeah. your cost of like microphones. Yeah, that's you know what not I mean, much like though, some chump yeah. change. Yeah. But if you really want money, it's all in the merch. You gotta sell bro. something. You gotta yeah. sell something. Yeah, yeah, something. Yeah, we're planning to sell something one day. You yeah. guys all for right. sure should sell something, bro. La Familia <laughs> merch, bro. I'd cop. <laughs> yeah, I'd for sure cop, bro. We got some shit. We're working on. We got some shit. We're working on shit. Don't worry, don't worry. We're only year two. Yeah, only year two. You know what I'm saying? That's amazing. We're cooking, yeah. bro. We're cooking. We're That's cooking, amazing, bro. We in the kitchen. Just know that, like, I want I want this message to be known to like everybody, bro. Like, okay. 
anything is fucking possible in today's world. Like a lot of people are like, oh, a thousand percent. This bro, world Donald Trump so, became the president. Though. This yeah. world <laughs> is so fucked up. Like there's this world is tra- bro. You could literally be famous hey, off of a video. You could be a half glass empty or half a glass full. Man, like, so I, okay, yeah. this is interesting, bro. Social media. Do you consider <clears throat> it being positive or toxic? Personally, uh, I see positive. I positive. So I how do you feel? Toxic. How do you feel about social media and relationships? That's interesting. Damn. Uh, so before we dive into that, I need to take a piss, bro. Right, for sure. piss Same, piss bro. Break, I really break. have to piss, bro. I don't know how this shit works. I don't know how podcasts work. I've been, hold, I've been holding my piss in for so long, bro. Like extra loud. Like I don't know why. Yo, I remember I used to follow this one dude on Twitter. And this dude was wild. He would post a thing and he was like, hey, everybody retweet this post. And he was kind of, he had like 30,000 followers and shit, right? Yeah. And he said, I'm going to put my phone in my balls and everybody retweet this until I come. Oh, did he come? Uh, <laughs> he said, did he come? Can you come off of like vibration? Oh, yes, daddy. <laughs> yes, daddy. Hold on, pause. I never tried. Can you come off of vibration, bro? I'm pretty sure. I can't. Have you ever seen those <laughs> those the little vibrating rings? That's crazy. Like on your dick, like a cock it's ring? It's like a ring. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever had one of those? No, I mean, I've never used it, but <laughs> yeah. I've seen them. Yeah. <laughs> so like, the, the point I'm getting, like with that, those, it's like when you're full, then your ball's deep, like it vibrates on your clit, right? That's like the point. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. But I'm assuming like, yes, daddy. that's like, yes, daddy. damn, Arthur, chill, dog. But no, like that's what they're for, right? I mean, that's gotta be beneficial. <laughs> Because think about so. it, even if you don't have like a big dick, right? Your balls deep in this girl. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like your balls deep in this girl, and now her clit's vibrating. There has to be a win. Same. Like, so shout out to all the little dick <laughs> out there. Like, if, if you don't have a little penis and you're not wearing a cock ring, what do you do? Oh, yes, yes. Damn. What do oh, you do? Oh, that's the pleasure of a girl? Yeah, oh, I didn't know that, that just means that you're pre, you're um, you're stimulating it. Nah, oh, it, it, like everything that everything before sex, bro. Everything has to be on top. Like you need to have like the best. Like, uh, <laughs> I think I think guys like like going into sex, bro. They just like they get too excited. Oh, tell me about it. Like I think I think I think dudes like are are too in a rush to like. I'm either put, too excited or too upset. It's like, bro, like if you really take your time and like do more before putting your tip in, like you, the pressure is like relieved, bro. Like if you could like pleasure a girl like with your mouth or your fingers or whatever, like oh yeah, but that's you're good. That's baby girl. You can't just do that to everyone, bro. I don't know. Like the, the <laughs> everybody, mouth. Everybody, hold on, everybody. hold on. Like the, what? Ma- the mouth part. <laughs> okay. Like you, you can't put your mouth on every girl. <laughs> nah, hell no. Your that's, fingers. That's bro? dangerous. Yeah. Your oh, fingers though, yeah. bro. Come Check on, out my forearm, dog. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you got the vein on your forearm. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Check out my forearm, dog. If you put in work, if you put in work, if you put in work with like your hands and really like finish them off a couple of times before putting yeah. your penis yeah, yeah, in, like you'll be straight, bro. They don't care. Yeah. If you make them, if you make a girl nut like once or twice, like with your hands before putting, they don't care, bro. Like you can come yeah. in, two, you can come in ten. Because see, seconds. that's why I'm be deaf. Because if you learn sign language, you work on the muscles. <laughs> oh my god, this guy's a savage. <laughs> so like, damn, no, <laughs> damn bro. this is what we're talking about making them come before. Like, bro, I'm, I'm struggling to make them come like during the that's, shit, bro. That's, that's just wrong. Wrong. No, that's the thing, bro. Is like a lot of guys will <laughs> jump straight into it and try to like make them come with their penis and it's like the more you if you can focus on doing it before putting your penis yeah, yeah. in it takes so much pressure off that's true it makes because yeah. they don't even because she gets her pleasure first if you and make then her you, come bro yeah. like you could do whatever the fuck you want girls like, at that point she's like fuck it like hurry up come like you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? girls girls can like come more than one time a hundred percent oh yeah that's that's, that's, that's a cheat code, code bro that's a cheat code but if they don't come at all that's, that's the, problem. the second time that is but the problem but then it also depends how much you care about this girl. If, hey. you don't, if you don't care about her you can literally just nut and be like bro. peace out like, I've been it. saying that bro you know like, what I'm saying but then I, I only but care then, about the girls I fuck with like if I really like you I care about your pleasure the other girls I'm just trying to get my nut off bro I don't care about you guys <laughs> see for that like, yeah I respect you for that big old me personally bro like I'm gonna be real. Like a lot of girls, like think like, oh, you have like a bunch of bo-. bro. I have, I don't, I do not have a lot of bodies yeah. at all, at all, because I'm so either. selective on like who I have sex with. Yeah, you because gotta be careful. I, I want it to be that great. <laughs> you know oh, what I mean? Wow. Like, like you know. So you, you're saying that the girls that you do have sex with, you make sure that you're your a game. It's your a game. Hundred percent. You're not. So you're not selfish. Back. You're not like, oh, not it's just me. It's you too. Like yeah. it, it's an asset, bro. Like if if I was to do that with you, that's a that's a luxury. I feel you. Hey. Yeah. 
and, 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 and that's that's how you should present yourself, bro. Because airports. think about it, bro. I mean, honestly, obviously, bro. Like, thank you, thank you. Obviously, like if you if you're doing your thing, bro, and you're just like macking all these girls, you're gonna be known as like that guy. And I also think like if you like hold back a bit, yeah. If like I don't know, bro. It's like if you get like a girl to com- like confess to like. Yo, like they want to fuck you and then stop. They will want you more, bro. Oh yeah. Like not having sex with girls is the key. That's, I mean, bitch, that's a good yeah, move. Play that's hard to get. The key, that's a bro, good that's move your, right there. That's, that's your, the key. Yeah, that shit gets you hard when they tell you like, yo, like I've never had a guy like stop. Like usually, like when I want to fuck, they're like with it, whatever. But you're yeah. like, if you have it. a girl that wants to like smash, and you're like, nah. Hey, yeah, you give me, bro, bro, that you're, you're, you're giving, you're giving it secrets how the playbook right now. Dog. No, I, I mean that's that's a good one. This is game for everybody. Bro, bro, you put these in the wrong hands, it could be dangerous, bro. Yeah, like, you got to be careful with these. Be dog. careful, man. But I, all <laughs> yeah. I'm saying, I'm, I'm, that's it. I'm, I'm spilling the beans, bro. If you want to get a lot of play, like don't have sex. Do everything, every fucking thing, except have sex. I like mean, I can hype him up, hype him up, <laughs> hype him up, bro. Get like fucking talk him up, bro. Talk him up, talk fucking dirty. Hey, but then, I gotta do like pocket pulling, bro. If that's the case, yeah, bro, but that's the thing, bro. Wait, what is that? What is that? Whoa, uh, don't tell me pocket wrong. pulling. You know what pocket pulling is? You put your hand in your pocket, you jerk your dick off. Oh, I thought you were gonna say like you, you finger her over the jeans. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> what? You never did that one? What just pocket happened? pulling, bro? I've never heard of that <laughs> shit, bro. Hey, you're a legend. I know this little scratch. Hey, you're a fucking legend. Yeah, like a little scratch. You don't just like fucking please yourself, dog. What the fuck? Dude, you gotta I, last long, I though. Love yeah. Yeah. Ooh. I, love I like Yo, mine. Shout out George. I love mine, bro. Now, I gotta... it, it all depends what you're in it for, too, because there's a big difference between making love and like fucking somebody. I like to oh, make yeah. love, though. Uh, Marlo, tell us your theory, dog. Honestly, bro, like, <laughs> like making love is like where it's at. Like, I've only made love to one girl, bro. And like, that's real. And mm. like having sex ain't shit. Yeah. Okay. So what's so what's, mean, so what's the difference? The difference is the emotional connection, bro. Because think yeah, about 100%. it, you can jerk off yeah. and come, and that'll be the same equivalent to like fucking a hoe. Yeah. I think I think it's the the time you take on a person. And if like, you like love you said, somebody and you're trying to please them, yeah, you're gonna please them, that's not just get your nut off. Yeah. I said personally, like when you actually like like them, like you're gonna last longer. Hundred percent. Oh yeah. no way. <sighs> Me personally, I, I've, I've like like you. I've only made love to one person. I fuck with you, and nah, I, I bust pretty quick. <laughs> nah, because when I try, I, look, I try, I try to go another round. Though I, I do try, my best. I try. <laughs> Honestly, because when you just fuck them, bro, it's like you only care about yourself. Like I'm just trying to bust my nut off. Like all right, you can bounce. Like, but do you realize like once that pressure is off of you, like you can come whenever, like you last longer. No, no, because like that. I, I know. Like, once you're like, like yeah. it don't fucking matter. You're like, man, I just want to fucking nut already. Because <laughs> like, no, 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 when I'm in love, like I'll do missionary and I'll be stroking it and I'll be making out with you at the same time. Missionaries for and somebody. And I'll be busting that. Like, I'll be busting quick like that. Missionaries for somebody. <laughs> Very you love. visual, bro. Very visual. <laughs> <laughs> Missionaries for somebody you love. You can bro. bleep that shit. Though. <laughs> Hey, I just fucking visualized the whole thing. Yeah, you yeah. made me like I was the one laying down. <laughs> God damn, bro, that was a little too graphic. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey where's the room at, dog? Oh, you said I was the one laying down. Come on, dog. Can't be saying that shit. <laughs> Another thing is like, bro, like people don't realize like the the risk that comes with sex, bro. Oh yeah, dog. Right, my boy over here said, "Be careful, you nutted." Yeah, man. like bro. facts, bro. Because like you can really get somebody pregnant that will fuck, fuck up okay, your life. Fuck pregnancy. What about S- your like S- STDs and shit? Yes, exactly. exactly. No, that's that's, no, to me, that's no, no, fucking no, no. terrifying. Don't fuck anyone getting pregnant, bro. That's that's. I rather get an STD than get someone pregnant, bro. Oh, I don't know. About that's that. tough, bro. Come on, some you're, STDs, bro. You, they're pretty crazy. <laughs> no, 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 I'm no, 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 Yes, it, it is. is. For sure. No, it is. Yes, it is. Because an STI, an STD, you an can. An STI is different. An S- STD, I, STD is the same an thing. An infection is different. Infection, you can cure. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. A herpes, herpes, you can. Can. Is not no, a herpes, you can like maintain where it's not fatal, but you're always going to have it. Yeah. yeah. But that's what I'm herpes, saying. Though. I'd rather get an STD that's curable than get a girl pregnant because you can't. like gonorrhea. Chlamydia. You'd rather have gonorrhea than a kid? 100%. Uh, yeah. It just depends who you're fucking, bro. It just depends who you're fucking, bro. I agree with that one, though. 
18 Ooh. years or you know a, Bruh, a few days on. of some burning I, I think that's my personal it's not just a few days. I think that's I, think that's just I wouldn't know that's why right, I but know, that's I what know. I'm saying it might it might not be a few days but I'd rather deal with like a month's worth of fucking yeah, yeah. The, the burning See, I'm very the, selective the burning but once you have the STD and people know about it like you're kind of just like who's marked. gonna who's well, gonna I'm know not who's gonna know it? about it bro like, okay but if you tell I'm not, girl, gonna, I'm not gonna get that shit and be like yo I have an STD like, okay but if you tell, tell a girl you're like involved with she's gonna be yeah. like whoa like See, nah, you're still flag, flag, flag. that's a red flag that's yeah. more of a red flag than having a kid so here's my perspective bro like I will not fuck somebody that I wouldn't be willing to have a kid with that's me. That's I, I do my best. And that's me. I do my best. Uh, that's me. I, me as well. Me as well. No, I never agree with that. When I stand, look. When I stand, if you wear like, a condom or not, bro, look, Mikey, like, there's a potential chance that you Mikey, can get. You, so you're telling me you never had a one night stand? Never. So I used to be Ooh, that way too, 100%. where like, yo, I won't have sex with you unless, yeah, I'm different, bro. Like, I, I, I hate to say it, like, and honestly, like, I'm jealous of guys that like go out and like find Me bitches too. and just fuck because I'm like, yeah. fuck, like, how do they do? I that? wish I could do that. I want to be like that. I've been to, okay. You don't. Fuck. You don't. You don't want to be like. This that. is gonna be awkward. This <laughs> yeah. is gonna be maybe awkward. for like a year, but not. There's, not been a, there's been a position that I've been in where like I've wanted to have one night stand yeah. and I couldn't get it up, bro. What? Oh wow! Damn. I'm gonna be honest. But that's a breaking news. <laughs> I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna be honest, and, and it's because I knew that that's not what I want, bro. Like, okay. I, I don't want a one night stand. But bro. is that the reason you couldn't get it up, or yeah, was it because you were drunk? Yeah, maybe you were drunk, dog. I wasn't drunk, bro. Uh, I don't okay. know. Okay, hundred percent because like, <laughs> bro, a girl touches my. Maybe hand, you're too I'm good just, of a guy. I, I think that's the problem, <laughs> that's bro. What it sounds like. And like that's what I'm waiting to get the fuck over, you see, bro. But I've had no, that. No, no, it might, it might be. It might be that you only want to make love and not fuck. That's it. That's no, it. No, I've but had a similar why? problem to that but before. Why? Interesting. That's just you. Me, that's just you. And there's nothing like, wrong with that. Tell me what. There's I, nothing I, wrong with that. I was with it, but then like, it just took too long and like, I just got turned <sighs> off. So then like. You got over it? Yeah. She was still there like naked and shit, but I was like, nah, you know, it's all right, so all right. Let me Let me hit you off with a haymaker. Oh, right. weird, bro. <laughs> what, would you guys, what, would you, what would you guys say? <laughs> hey. I don't fuck, I know, bro. Whether I do it or not is irrelevant. My shit's fucking. Bro. Damn, what the fuck? My shit's I didn't say crazy. do it, but my shit's. Yeah, That's bro. Fucking, I get I get hard from fucking talking to a girl sometimes, bro. What the fuck? But Hell you're not yeah. gonna be hard for an hour, bro. As soon as you're gonna be like, all right, bro, like, yo, this shit. You, you nah. guys have never been hard for more than an hour? No. In, in a row? Like straight? Yeah. Oh, I don't know about but that. But never when I yeah. wanted to, bro. Yeah, like, you're like, you're not when I, when I, when I wanted to, like random <laughs> boners, bro. Like, yeah. I've had that before. So like, hear me out though. Like, I've only had sex with one person. <laughs> What? Dead ass, dead ass. Hundred <laughs> percent. And and that's what kind of fucking sucks, bro. Is because a lot of people like keep going, keep going. They assume, bro, that I have sex with so many different people. Okay? I assume that you had like I appreciate at least, like, you, bro. That's a compliment. I take it as a compliment, right? I take it as offensive now when girls be saying I just be too. slanging my meats like to yeah, me too. Like, I think girls, you know what I mean? Yo, 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 hold on, hold on. So we talk about like body counts and shit, right? Yeah. Recently, a girl had asked me, right, and um, she just made a fucking big deal, and I was like, you know what, like. It's not even crazy, so like I can I can say it. Like, okay, what's a lot? You, but what's, you a lot? Got, but what's a lot? But you guys have said a lie is over fifty, bro. But you guys oh, have no, said no, that I'm you guys are under. But you guys have said that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> but you, you guys have said hey, that. There's guys, levels to it. Don't don't feel bad. There's levels to it. You guys have said that you guys don't care about. No, I don't care about a lot of counts. Effectively, asking me over fifty. That's that's a lot. For a guy, for a girl, for both. Fucking lot. For both. Okay, maybe my number is maybe like twenty five and under. But <laughs> I fuck with that. That's dope. But like, but like, my argument to that is like, okay, we're we're twenty five. The people okay. usually start having sex around sixteen, so that's nine years. If I fucked fifty people in nine years, that comes out to like what? Maybe like that comes out to like five people a year, five and a half people a year. So that's not that crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's not. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not. But obviously, if you just throw the big number, like yo, but I at the same time, seventy people. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. It is always subjective. Yeah. So to us, it may not be a lot. And I agree, by the way. I agree completely. But somebody, I'm sure out there is going to say 50. Yeah, that's just that's that's fucking insane. insane. That's I don't disgusting. care. I don't give a fuck. But I don't that's care. That's me. So you, yeah. couldn't, you couldn't be with a girl that's that has a 50 body count. Are you asking that question? It just depends, bro. Like, it depends what I'm in it for. No, no, no. All right. Let's no, say you're, you're, you're in it for a long time. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Let's say wow. you, you, like, you're like, yo, I really fuck with this girl. I want to be with her. And yeah. She her body counts. But then you find out she got like crazy. Can't do it. Why is that? Tell me why. I'm a, uh, I don't know, bro. I think because is it your own insecurity or no, is it what is it? Insecurity is my own belief, bro. I feel like sex okay. is a very powerful spiritual thing, 
And oh, it's like, shit. Like, okay. it, so sex is more meaningful. Uh, for meaningful. I was not expecting <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah. Meaningful as fuck, bro. Because okay. like, think about it, bro. The risk you're taking when having sex with yeah. somebody is not only the STD aspect, but it's yeah. like you could potentially have a kid, like yeah, create yeah. a fucking yeah. human with this person after having sex. Yeah. And like, that's a big fucking thing. And in this day and age, it's mostly about just like getting your nut off. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's the, the spiritual aspect or like the emotional aspect is gone. And I almost feel bad about that. Isn't that crazy? Like how fucking like twisted this world is. Like, yeah. I feel like, damn, like, bro, I should be fucking a lot of bitches. Like, I, I feel that pressure, like, because, like, don't get me wrong, bro. I have a lot of girls that want to have sex, yeah, bro. Yeah. Like, and my my thing is, like, <laughs> my thing is, like, I'll talk a girl up until she's ready to, like, have sex, like, to that point, and, and that's enough for me, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, having a girl say, like. Oh, just that she wants it. Like, she wants to fuck? You don't go through with it. That's enough. yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll be like, okay. You got the body already. Check. Yeah. You know what I mean? I guess. Type you. shit, but I would never do it, bro. It just, I don't, I don't know if it's because I've been in a relationship for but look, so long. Here's the thing. I, I don't, so I, 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 I've heard that take a lot where like sex is um, spiritual, spiritual and like there's more of a deep thing. meaning mm-hmm. more than just like, oh, just our bodies. How deep? Yeah. <laughs> hey, I only get like this much, bro. About, about seven and a half. <laughs> now, like, um, I've heard that take a lot and I respect it. Don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. But like in this day and age, I feel like shit's just mad different. So let me be real with you, bro. Like, like I said, I just got out of a six and a half year relationship. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I feel like I'm just so attached. But like, okay. once I get over that, I think like. Oh, still. I might be on your level, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's at 25. Hey, yeah, yeah. I don't know, bro. Like, Cheers bro, to you, dog. Like, fuck, bro. I'm 24, bro. He's the, big, he's the biggest dog to in the game, To me, it's like, bro. Then right? they like, I know people. <laughs> Some people take it as like, yo, like. Like how you said it's this big deal for me. It's like, bro, like it's just sex. Like, like honestly, bro, what's the difference between like stroking your dick and nutting and fucking a girl? With a condom on. What's the difference? The girls in front of you. And what? All right, bro. bro that's that's a different. Yeah. It's not though. Wait, what's the question? That's like hold going on. to the like, movies alone or with can, somebody. Can like, we fuck a girl, bro, and stroking your own re- dick? Let's bring like, it back. Oh. The, the end There's result- a big difference, big dog. Uh, I don't know. The end result's the same, bro. Uh, okay, yeah, bro, you get your nut off, but Kevin Gates, bro, had a really big thing on this, bro, and he was like, um, like masturbation, like semen retention, like it's like a big thing, like so yeah, yeah. Think about how powerful your semen is, bro. Okay. Your semen has the power to create a human being, right? Yeah, yeah. And you're like wasting it in a. Is in that a really fun- that crazy, though? I think so. Bro. I, I I think that's crazy, but like, I don't care about it that much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like, but it's because we have so much. Yeah. You, think about it, you think about it in, a, think in about perspective, it. like bro. No, no, but like, you produce it. Like, I feel like every so more, often. Like, I, feel I like stopped I, drinking Mountain Dew yes. because they said it killed sperm. Cells. Yes, and I feel like Same. that's that's what it is. Is that the fact that we just don't run out of it? Is that it's just not that special? <laughs> it's like Spider Man. <laughs> no, no, you, 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 you do run out of it. You can run out of it. You do run out. Like there's guys that shoot blanks, bro. Oh. Well, after like the seventh time they hey, fucking Hey, tell me about Big Bear, too. but it's um, a different story. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? asking for a loan out here, I don't dog. know, bro. Like I don't know, bro. It, it's just a, it's a weird fucking thing. Yeah, <laughs> Yo, you can't play that. That was not the right one. <laughs> Yo. I got someone saying some shit over here. I got this motherfucker on some shit. I heard you. I heard Okay, Yo. so look, look, look. Now, how do you feel about women being a distraction? Women, what? In oh, terms of like your your like goals and all, bro. Like so, like like I I know you guys talk about post nut clarity before, right? Yeah, oh, that's yeah, yeah. bro. You know what I'm saying? So like, you guys can be so caught up and just trying to smash, and you end up fucking like a six, yeah. right? And it's like fuck. Like, Sometimes like, you just gotta shoot him a bone, bro. It's like fuck it. Like, me, okay, to an extent, but it's like so like. Bro, like I don't know, bro. Have you guys ever tried like not jerking off or fucking a bitch for a while? All the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Like semen retention it doesn't work. Oh yeah. You don't you don't think <laughs> oh, so? Well, but I mean, semen retention only matters if you're trying to have a baby. I, bro, have you ever like genuinely tried bro? I, I know what you're saying. So I know what you mean. The thing is that you're not I'm just can only <laughs> last so long. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm like <laughs> fucking focused, dog. No, Real, no, but thing, I'm not, you feel the look, difference. Jokes aside, jokes aside for us one second, just to be like what you're asking. I fuck with you. Bro, I am like zoned in. Zone the fuck in. Bro, that's I, I feel power. the difference. I'm not gonna lie to that's you. That's fucking power, bro. Yeah, no, no, no. Sex is a temptation, bro. Sex is a temptation, bro. Look, look, what me you, personally, so like, he's saying he's saying like no, uh semen retention, so you don't nut. So you don't jack off, you don't fuck, right? Yeah, like a certain amount of time. The level of, and I'm saying, 
Like, there's a difference. Like, your level of focus of just fucking, like, yo, I'm not trying to fucking anybody. I'm not jacking off. Like, my testosterone or whatever you want to call it, whatever the fuck. Bro, this, you're just fucking, like. (laughs) But it alleviates stress sometimes. It does. Now, that's the other side of it. Sometimes you got to alleviate stress. There was, uh, don't don't get me wrong. I'm not not jerking off, I've heard that. And everything, there's balance. I've heard that if you have sex, like, early in the morning, it's, like, a good start to your day. No, nah, there's, there's who's that one fighter that said like they be fucking like mad Matthew crazy for a fight. Hey, oh, that that's one Ronaldinho. Movie, he's like, that's he had Ronaldinho. To, like, jerk off to see things clearly. Now nah, there's a yeah. fighter who said that. Well, there's a watching. fighter who said that. Nah, there's fighter, a fighter okay. who said before a fight like the week of they're having sex like crazy because it's like really stress. Because I heard okay. the exact opposite. Like fighters aren't allowed to have sex both, yeah. until after their fight. I heard both. both. Yeah. I've, I've heard, heard both. that in boxing and I've heard that in MMA. Bro, semen retention can't keep their testosterone up, bro. Focus, bro. So it's like. It's like, it's crazy, bro. Think about how powerful, like, I don't think people realize, like, semen has the power to create a fucking life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could create a but baby see, that creates the cure to cancer. Here's the thing, think though. Think about that. Without, and you're that, fucking that wasting it on the floor. You know what I mean? You're wasting it in a but fucking- But I got so much of it. Like, I, got, I got a lot of give. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like- No, no, fuck. but the thing is, you produce a lot. So it's not really like, to me, I see it as something that you're not really Continue. losing because you're obviously, like, producing a lot. And if you, if you, yeah. if you, if you compare it to like, let's say like something like if you're like a new mother and like breast milk, like okay. that's like saying if you, if you save your breast milk, like what are you doing that for? You know, cause you're obviously going to keep producing, keep producing, keep producing. Would you guys drink your breast milk? Let me ask that. Nah, no show. Sure. If yes. my, if my wife, the mother of my children <laughs> asked me to, I will do it. What if she didn't ask you to? What if you were like home alone and there's like a bag right there? Would you drink? Nah, probably not. Nah, it's that's, that's a little weird. You want to be curious though? I am. If, I am if she asked me, I would do it. Because right. there's some guys that think like, it's fucking delicious. Like, would you have breast milk oh, and cereal? I've never like, had what a... What the fuck would you do, bro? Hey, fucking cereal hey, and hey, breast milk. Hey, 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 some honeycombs hey, and breast milk. Hey, hold on. What the fuck? Hey, I got a boy to like, one of my boys like, up until like, and none of like, us. None of us. Yeah. Hey, let me be clear. Hey. Not us. <laughs> Not us. Not nah, nah, one of my boys. Like up until like he was ten years old. Like he was still like <laughs> drinking the the breast milk, bro. Ten. Yeah. Wait, like, hold on. Ten fucking. I, no, no, no. How produce? We, we were. I played soccer. <laughs> Wait, what the? Fuck? Hold on, hold on. Ten years I, old, dog. I feel like Stone Cold, bro. We were. Yeah. Hell yeah. Man, hold on, you gotta smash them together, bro. And Don't tell them. me that. Like, <laughs> you gotta mess up the cat, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's not. It don't matter, but you gonna Stone buy Cold. a new one. That's just broken. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but my boy, like I seen this shit live, dog. We were, it was a Sunday, bro. <laughs> we were playing this like <laughs> Christian we Ronaldo play, drinks breast no, milk. No, 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 no. We were playing soccer, bro. This guy oh. said, "Hold on, let me show you what I'll be drinking, dog." He said, "Boom, let me get some hey, super power for the second God. half, dog." Gravel <laughs> fuel. Hey, you're telling us, <laughs> yo, vitamin C, vitamin D, bro. I mean, what she got me good official. He Ooh. said, "Vitamin T, dog." You know what's crazy, though? though? Like, hear me out. Hear me out, though. Hear me out. Y'all would drink. Y'all would drink milk out of a fucking cow normally. But then, like, Adam and Chumi, you're like, nah, let me pause for a second. Like, but I said I would do it. I said I would do it. I, I hold on, hold on. Let me see you guys what effect. Your body produces fresh sperm every day, and your sperm supply gets replenished every 64 days. 64? So you got to drink up once every 64 days. <laughs> every two months. Damn. Damn. Two months. How long does that load last you, though? Like, but the you next notice the difference. Like, bro. If you drink off consistently, you know your load gets smaller. When you've nut, you can tell oh. the difference. I just think that that means, like, the you, nut wasn't a quality nut. You Yeah, usually, have you guys, has this ever happened to you guys? <laughs> like, sometimes <laughs> you just bust cut. Have, you guys, ever, have <laughs> you guys ever gotten, like, blue balls and then, like, jerked off right after and it's Shoot a it. fat load, bro? <laughs> <laughs> ski, ski, motherfucker. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They're crazy, bro. <laughs> like, you're, pres- hey. you're, you're, you're definitely producing more. Hell yeah, because it's, like, stuck there, bro. Because like, sometimes, like, when you're fucking, like, yo, this shit was crazy, like, it spurted out like fucking yeah, yeah, a firing yeah. range, but then sometimes that shit it's like ceiling and shit. Hey, you know what's crazy too is like wet dream. Have y'all ever had a wet dream? Nah, that's, this guy that's right what I'm saying, bro. You had wet dreams when you bust them up. Y'all never. You guys should start. Dream. A, you guys should start a movement, dog. <laughs> hey, wet dream <laughs> movement. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, man. Like it's crazy, bro. Because it's like, like I don't know. I don't know. Like, y'all never had a wet dream. I've never woken up with like. Come on, your pants. Nah, like never, you. bro. Never. I don't, think, great, I, right? I don't think I have either, bro. I've had one. I've woken up with the mad morning wood and shit, but like not like. That. So basically, it's the same concept except like. It's not. Because I don't think you wake what up. What do you finish? And what do you do? In your sleep, you're just kind of rocking. You know whatever's going on in your mind. You wake up, you fucking nutted. That's it. 
I've never done that shit, bro. Nah, bro. I can't never, say I right? woke up and I was fucking. Never I wish, bro. I wish it was that easy. That. No, I wish I, it was I'll that easy. Honest, it's not a great experience. I mean, oh, like I said, it sounds experience. like a great experience. Like I said, no, I'm not a, against it. I, I welcome it, <laughs> but it just doesn't, hasn't happened. It doesn't sound. It's, it's not going to happen. It's, bro. It's let me not, tell you, bro, it's I not. would love that shit to happen. Look, look. Let me be honest. When it happens to me, like I dream about the action, and sometimes, like when it when it's happened to me. Like a lot of the times, like I don't even get to like the business. A lot of the times, like oh. it happens to me, like when I'm about to do it, and then I fucking <laughs> finish. That's, a, that's fucking amazing, bro. That's like that's powerful. Bro. That's you're what I'm co- saying. You're coming without like <laughs> physically touching fucking yourself. Touching yourself. That's amazing, yeah. bro. That's that's no, a that's dope power. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you guys like, are crazy. Like you're probably, I've and, never had. All right, hold on. Let me ask you this: What are you What are you guys doing before bed, bro? Like nothing. Nothing. I want to try this shit, bro. What's your mind, bro? What's your ritual? It just happens. Yeah, it, it just, just happens. happens. Like, I can get into this. Day. So, like, like I had him like a few times, like before, like you know, puberty, whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? But right, I just right. had one like not too long ago, and I think because I haven't had sex in such a long time, like okay. it just. Just fucking happened, bro. The right. built up, bro. Because yeah. like I was trying to like not jack off. Bro. Okay. Like, I was like, you know, like I don't need to do that. Like you know what I mean, type of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it just, it was different, bro. It was different. I don't know. Hey, can like, I say something real quick? Yeah, hold on. Can I say something real quick? Hey, hold on. The jack off champion, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Okay, give me the other trophy for like the non jack off champion, bro. That's like, the lighter like, one. You know what I mean? Like, come on, yeah, come on now. Like, hand me that, bro. Keep that. Like, like, this not, one's a little faker. You can find this one on Highland. Come on, not, not, not fucking random <laughs> bitches. Not jacking off, bro. I, I gladly accept this on the, yeah. the half hey, of applause, every Hey, applause, applause, applause. No, God. Are you gonna make me go fuck some random bitch, bro? Come on. You know what I mean? Can I say something? We have not gone through one topic on here. That's how amazing it is, though, bro. That's and, why. That's the energy's so immaculate, bro. Not fucking one we talk about topic, though. All sex, no Everything. fucks, dude. I think it's bro. important, bro, because I feel like a lot, there's, a lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of pressure on guys and girls, bro. No, at, at a young oh, yeah. fucking age. Yeah, because yeah, of social media, bro, yeah. like there's like 13 year olds, 14 year olds feeling like they have to fuck just because. Whatever rapper just made a song about fucking. Yeah. You know but what's I mean? a better feeling than fucking? Making a million dollars. But Ooh. have you? Nope. So then you don't know how that feels. <laughs> That's like, why like, I don't have sex. You see, I'm like, like, y'all hear me? That's first. good. That's I'm good. I'm not having sex yeah. until I make a million. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dollars. yeah, bro. Fuck you. So when I make a million, <laughs> thank you. When I make a million dollars, I'm gonna call all four of you guys and be like. Yo, come to this Airbnb. I just made a million dollars. I want y'all to fucking hear this. Because it's not like I have a little dick, bro. It's not like I'm like, it's not like I'm holding back, bro. It's just like, I want to, I want to, I want to celebrate this shit, bro. I feel like a lot of people like use sex as like an outlet. And like, even like, bro, getting fucked up, bro. I feel like people use that as an outlet to like people use that as an excuse exactly bro like, all the time like there's a lot of people that get fucked up for no reason bro and I feel like you should get fucked up to celebrate you should fuck somebody because you yeah. love them like I feel like yeah. there, there should be meaning behind what you do bro okay and not like, all the time but yes I feel like every fucking time bro Every okay. fucking time, bro. I nah, that. I mean, I've been I've been to the club, bro, and you know, fucking <laughs> 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 you, <laughs> and you know, don't say, and you're <laughs> like, you're vibing, bro. You know, you're having a good time. You yeah. see someone, you you see someone that's cute, and you're like, fuck it, bro. And then what happens after that, bro? You fuck them and you go you never hear from them again. It's the best of both worlds, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. You never. You don't so have you're to... saying that to a certain extent, that's kind of sad. Not sad, or is it? What is it? What's what what's the point? pointless 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 interesting what's the point like you get like okay you fuck this girl right you fucked it. she's bad bro you fucked her and what <laughs> what happens the week from now like you go back to the same shit the same it should be of- you don't think about it after though yeah, yeah you don't yeah. it's, it's kind of so like, just, oh, just in, in the moment type thing and then after yeah. like and we talk about that we, we talk about this bro we talk about living in the moment i think i never experienced that so call somebody up right now <laughs> 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 hey, mikey i think that's what it is that you haven't experienced i think that's what it is i think the day that Experience He's it. gonna be addicted to it. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's it? Like, no, nah, we don't experience it. It's game over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, bro, like, like, this I think I've been missing. You're gonna be like Tiger Woods. Look, bro, I'm gonna be guy. honest. I'm, I'm surprised that you've never, you've never like, what? experienced don't that. Don't get me bro. wrong, bro. When like, you experience it, I think you will be. It's. A, I think you overthink it. Yeah. Like, like 100. percent It has to be in the moment. I should like you're, you're both just vibing. It's like fuck it. But the thing is, like humans have like 
broken down what makes you happy, what makes you sad, what makes you angry, and and happiness is what euphoria, right? That's the okay. chemical that makes you happy. If, so if you can, what it is, if you that, can, that if you can, is. if you can trigger that twenty four seven, like yeah. I wouldn't want that personally, right? But, but then again, then, why haven't they found a cure for people that are depressed? That's cap, bro. I, I think know. that's cap. The bro. whole medical it's just they don't want to use that because, that like, I mean, what about what about people that have like committed see, suicide because of depression? Same thing with drug. like fucking cancer, bro. There's a cure for cancer. Right? Yeah, if because because they have the cures, but if they had the cures, there would be no they medical industry. They make so much yeah. money off that shit. You know how many yeah. money they revenue off of like I, cancer cures? I've been saying this, bro. bro this yeah. come on, this COVID shit. I went the other day to get a, a rapid that's test. It's a hundred hundred and thirty dollars, bro, to get a test to get a rapid test. Like yeah, to get it to get it within two hours. Yeah, it's hundred thirty tests. Awesome. Real shit, bro. COVID, like the people that died with COVID, bro, had like past issues. So dog, yeah, if you're on, obese, if you're dog, obese and shit, on you have average, COVID, okay, on bro. On average, on average, they had four comorbidities. On average, I don't know what that means. It's that means fake. you had four other like things that were like wrong underlying with you. issues and yeah. shit. Underlying, and then you passed, and then like that's what. On you average, know how much, you know how much shit was like done under the rug while COVID was happening, bro. Because the thing, certain decisions, politically, some decisions that were facts. made were completely polit- political. It had so nothing it to do with medical that's science. All, nothing. There's yeah. no reason. There's no way the government will give you guys. They were giving so much money away, bro, for free. But they want to ja- They want to like give this shit to kids. Hey, and then yep. that, one, that one episode, that one episode about the the JRE podcast, yeah. where that the guy, there's a guy that wrote a book about like pretty much the the pharmaceutical issue in the yeah. United States. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. And, ba- and and basically, like, I think we all know this already, but basically, like the the pharmaceutical companies that that create the drugs and that produce the drugs, they're not in the business to to cure people or to make people better. They're in the business to Make money. Make yeah. Period. Period. It's the whole shit is, bro. It's business. Period. It's business. You can't make, bro. You can't make money if everybody bro. is healthy. It's a Period. fucking business, bro. Because if you business, think about it, like the, the white it, collar crimes, bro. At what, the end of the day, it's all about crimes or, the profit or, that you make. It's, you know what's, what's what you can return crazier, to your investors. Though, bro, that's it. Is that you can literally cure 90 <clears> fucking, like, okay, I don't know the percentages, bro. Let's say right. 80% of yeah. like what's wrong with somebody yeah. by like getting on a diet regimen. Like drinking more water, yeah. And like yeah. Just being healthier, you can save so yeah. much. Well, they bro. also there, there's there's a I think there's a documentary on Netflix how pharmaceuticals or any sort of medication became addictive, and they like got sued for some shit. I forgot what company <sighs> that it was. All the time, though. Well, right? There's a there's a Pfizer, there's a particular fucking drug and these powders that are like compacted into these medicines yeah. that like causes seizures. Heart defects, like there's okay. like, ah, bro, fuck. you know, you know what's a good metaphor or like a good a good way to look at it. It's now like when you go to the mechanic, okay, right? You take your car. There's something wrong with it, but like sometimes a mechanic will fuck it up even more for you to come back. And not even it's that, like a reoccurring like, issue. I, I, I've, that, I've yeah, been to bro. the mechanic, <laughs> or, or I've been to the tire shop where like I want to get my tires changed, and like they'll literally come back to me and they'll be like, "Hey, like you need an oil change," and I literally changed the oil like last month. Yeah. I'm like you're tripping, bro. Like, yeah, that's, that's it's not like what it it's is. a business. It's like if you day. go to the doctors, bro. Let's let's say you have anything wrong. Do you go to the doctors? They're gonna prescribe you something. Yeah. Oh, because the doctors get a cut of every single prescription, prescription. that they prescribe. Mm-hmm. You can like look test if you guys have health insurance. Test this. Go to the doctor. I'm like, man, I got this bad headache. I guarantee they're gonna prescribe you something. Whether it be Tylenol, because they get anything, a cut from that. They will get something, bro. Bro, I went to the doctor like recently, and like I was literally in there for like I waited longer to get in than like actually seeing the doctor. I was in there for like two minutes, and he was just like, "Oh, here." He wrote something down, and he gave it to me. That's it, bro. And they don't. It even helped, know. but I'm just saying, like, he didn't really like do There's anything, like money, bro. That's all it is, money. Let me have the green one, Marlo. It's money, bro. Thank you, thank you. Why do you think fucking celebrities live so much longer than that? What person? at the end of the day, every company's final they just want money so i have i have a question do you guys think this is true i know this is this might be a little crazy but do you think guys think that drinking younger blood makes you younger or you keeps know. you young. No. The, the 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 have you guys heard of that? Before you before you answer, before you answer, have you have you got any of you guys ever heard of that? No. Yes. Adrenochrome, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. You've heard of that. You've yeah, heard yeah. of that. Yeah. Adrenochrome. I know. So, I, I so that's a thing, right? It is a thing. It's you know a sure thing. They say Monsters Inc. The movie is based off that shit. Like that 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 fucking tube that they fill up from like kids fear. Like yeah. The oh, like the screams. It's the adrenochrome that like celebrities are injecting into themselves to make them like keep stay young. Stay young. I've seen that. Hundred percent. Yeah, and I mean, if you can inject yourself with other things, why not that? 
That's what I'm saying. What's the real difference? I'm not. I'm obviously I'm not a scientist. I don't. What the fuck do I know? Look, but look. like hypothetically speaking, there's a lot of shit that's like made out there. That like <sighs> if you can't look at Magic Johnson, bro. He's he living. Bro, just telling some girl. He got fucking really? AIDS, bro. Yeah. He got AIDS, right? My boy is okay. I don't know if the he most got AIDS. fucking deadliest fucking drug at the height like, of the pandemic ever. At the height of it, bro. Right? He, like back he in was the fucking nineties, yeah. bro. Like when this shit was like the zombie apocalypse. Like when AIDS was like they the knew real nothing about it. D- they didn't want to touch him. And he's fine. He's not, not only is he fine, he looks. He's a multi-millionaire. He looks good, bro. Flexing, bro. bro. He probably fuck your girl. Like right now, like, oh, bro. Yeah, you know what I mean? Right? Like he's yeah. like at the peak of his thing. Yeah. So like the the fact that like people still believe in today's age that money doesn't buy happiness that's fucking bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Money buys anything you fucking. Especially need. here in the United States. Yeah. So like, especially here. Honestly, bro, like this is the thing that I think about the <clears> most is like let's say let's say a fucking meteor was gonna crash to the earth right fucking now. Yeah. Who's gonna be on the first don't, rocket? Don't look up, off? though. Don't look up. <laughs> you seen that movie? Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> like, I actually yeah. finished it today. So like, who's I gonna, thought it was a good movie. Actually, who's gonna be the fucking people on that rocket ship to Mars? <laughs> oh, not the us. The rich. It's exactly like that movie 2012, bro. Like the every, rich. In, yeah. The rich, bro. Like money doesn't buy happiness. They're gonna like, know about that shit you. before money that. Money is everything. Money. It doesn't matter what country you're in. Money is everything. It is. Yeah. yeah. Like it, the dog. Perfect example. There's a guy in Dubai that paid, I believe, eight million dollars for a license plate. I seen to that, have bro. the number five. I seen that, bro. We were just talking about this, bro. Like his car isn't even worth what his license plate is. He just had, like, to, just five to, Rolls Royce. Just to have the number, I want to say five or four, four or five, just on his license. Because plate. Because in Dubai, bro, like they like said, they go based off the license plate. So like yeah. to have a one digit, two digit, a, one digit, a one digit, bro. Think about this. One digit, you have one through nine. That's it. That's it. Yeah. That's it. One through nine. I yeah. was like to have that license plate. So there's nine mother. There's nine people in the That's world it. that have that Dubai license plate, and he has them yeah. on like four of his Rolls Royces. That's a different type of money, bro. Oh yeah, bro. If you're a billionaire, like you're looking at life way completely different than what we're looking at it right now. Oh yeah. You know, and, and, you know. There's also the thing that's like more money, more problems. That's a real fucking thing. Yeah, more you, money, more problems is real, bro. Nah, more you don't money, think so? More, more oh money, yeah, what? what? Same what? amount of problems. No, it's same, the same, it's the same shit. But no. they're just different problems. We were talking well, about they're just different problems. because when you got money, you gotta you you think you have to take care of your people, and then sometimes yeah. you try to take care of your people, All and right, they so, can't help so you so out. See, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Let me ask you this though: more money, same amount of problems, but they're just different problems. No, because right now I'm not worried about like trying to provide for you guys. But if exactly. I got money, I'm thinking Different like, yo, problems. I gotta, I gotta do what I can to put you guys on. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Same amount of problems, but they're just different. All right, so hold now on. There's more problems, though. So hear me this, bro. Let's say, let's say, yo, one of y'all hit the hit the fucking mega million. Right? Yeah. Hey, I'm hitting my boy ten thousand each, bro. I'm telling you, right? <laughs> ten thousand, right? That's each, it? and they're gonna feel 10, some some type of way about that. Ten thousand, yeah, yeah, yeah. bro. This he just won three hundred fifty million. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> y'all get ten thousand. Exactly. How you, how you feel? I'm I'm disrespected. I mean, personally, I'm gonna be like, yo, thanks for anything, but <laughs> no, nah, but I, come on, I, I know some other people are gonna feel some type of way. Like, <laughs> like yo, I'm not bro, giving you a meal. See, why though? Why? If money ain't shit, like why? You better give me a meal. You know what I'm saying? Why? I give, I give my boys, I give my boys so a meal. Quick. Like, if you're mm-hmm. giving out a meal, that's actually gonna run out. That's five mil. That's five mil. But you just got three hundred fifty, bro. That's yeah. three fifty. I'm cool with giving you guys. No, no, five. but you're not getting three fifty. You're getting like two hundred. Yeah, well, well, I'm saying after tax. I'm saying after tax, you're gonna get three fifty. Even after tax, you can get up a mil to you. I to give your, my boys to your, a mil. A to your ten closest boys. I give my boys a milli. See, but you, I think when you win the lottery, you you either get a choice, get a get a payment monthly, or get it in full. But yeah, it's a lot do. less. You do. You in do. Full. But you're gonna get taxed regardless. Yeah, yeah regardless. You get taxed fast. So I, I'm giving you shit, guys bro. ten thousand once a year, bro. You guys wouldn't be cool oh, with that? Oh, well, you didn't say that. You said 10,000 once a year. I'm telling you right I'm now. 10k a year, that's different. That ain't nothing, bro. I'll take 10k a year. 10k every Christmas, dog. Like, y'all not going to love me? That's nothing, bro. Fuck y'all. Fuck I don't know, bro. All right, let's talk about something on here, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I yeah I'm, I'm gonna let's get, get to back to the itinerary. Come on, yo, fuck. I mean, <laughs> okay. Talking. Cheers to that, bro. Come Cheers on. to that. Yo, um, oh, hold on, I'm trying to see this little shotgun. This shotgun shit. Hey, my shit's already open. I'll, I'll salute to it. <laughs> salute. salute. Hey, I'll, I'll yeah, I'll watch you. I'll watch you. you I just know? got hey, this. You're sw- empty, bro. <laughs> Somebody get this man a drink. <laughs> yeah, it's right there. There's one right there. Yeah, he he's ready. Damn. I had shotgun with you, bro. Where's the watch, Hector? 
I just got this hoodie. I can't get it dirty, bro. I feel it, bro. That's how I felt about this shirt, bro. Yeah, you don't want to fuck it up. Yeah, fuck. I was like, that's two ninety on grow. The the, the, the the Don Elliot, bro. I was like, fuck, I can't spill on this shirt. Yeah, I, I feel like, you. Wear this bitch. Cheers. Salute, 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 salute. Wow, Hector's a fucking madman. I fuck with Hector, bro. Yo, Yo fun man. fact: this fool got injured. Shotgunning a fucking <laughs> can the other day, bro. Hey, let's not talk about talk it. About it. <laughs> talk about we're, it. We're about to turn to the ER, bro. Like, <laughs> hey, that shit went into my lungs, bro. He thought he had a punctured lung or something. <laughs> oh, bro. Shit. Yo, I was, was injured dog. for a week straight, dog. I was hurt. Out for the podcast one week. Like, <laughs> straight up? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yo, he I was swear, on that podcast. I swear, bro. Yeah. I swear. Bro. So, okay. Let's do, let's do a few off of here. Red flag. <laughs> <laughs> let's do the red flags one. Let's do the stop. I'm going to start there and then I got a few other ones and we'll, we'll be we'll be good. Red flags, but your friends tell you. The IG, the IG post. I'll go Look. first. You guys tell me. You want us to tell you your red flags? Yeah, I'm fucking drunk. Like your personal shit. red flags or the ones with women? Women. Both, both, both. Whatever oh, okay. you want to tell either me. One. Either one. Let's do either, I or. Hear either or. I want to hear them. I'll, I'll give you mine. You don't know your worth. No, I don't deep. think you do. Is that a red flag though? Yeah, because he just be the, doing whatever sometimes. And I, I don't get it. That's deep. Tell me. Tell me, Jordan. I'm telling you, like I'm you take just, I think I think you're a little shy, bro. That's deep. Shy? I think I think being a little shy because you're good that's looking, true. bro. Yeah, honestly, look, that's not it. a red flag though. You smash? <laughs> <laughs> bro, if I went that way, trust. Dog. <laughs> trust. Gay <laughs> <laughs> side pause, bro. I need a pause one. Yeah, I, 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 you know my sense on the sector. I don't. What, I don't get it. I don't do more. Uh, maybe a little uh, short fuse. Oh yeah, short. He fuse. said he had a small dick, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I changed my answer. Short fuse, short fuse. No, no, you gotta keep yours. He said it. <laughs> you can't do it twice. <laughs> what do you mean by short fuse? Short fuse is like mad too easy. Like little shit. Like to me, like I wouldn't get mad about, it, but to him, it's like, yo, what's yeah. up? Are we trying to fight right now? Like, yeah, and I'm trying, oh, to, I'm trying to calm him down. Like, right, hey, relax, right. bro. Like, right. what about you that you just met him? Or that you've known him for a little little bit, actually. I I, honestly, bro, like I don't no know him flags. in this gym, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. So like he's straight. maybe that full on re rack is way too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I'm not the gym. Yeah, yeah. 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 That would don't clean up, up. like honestly, bro, COVID like, and shit. Straight. How are you rack? He's straight, bro. Like I feel like yeah. he would take a girl out I'm to like a nice. He day, fucking bro. maybe he takes too long in between his sets. Like he's on his phone and shit. I got nothing to say. I'm solid, right? Every time I see him, he's focused. Maybe his three his threes aren't good enough, bro. Like his his three point percentage and shit. Honestly, he's a three point specialist. Oh. Oh, 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 shit. Shit. Whatever that means, you know. <laughs> uh, you know so, he's a yeah, right. he's a dog, bro. All right, I'll go next, but be nice. <laughs> All right, red flags with you. All right, I hold on, Marlo, you're too excited. No, 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 Dude. Oh, Damn. Hey, I would have said Ouch. that one if I would have thought about it. One, I, I agree. Yeah. I agree with that one too. Hold on, all right, you guys got to agree. Yeah, you guys got to agree, bro. You guys got to agree. It's not about right. right. agreeing. It's not right. a red um, flag, though. It is. You think so? Sometimes. If you fall in love with everybody that you meet, like it's like Man, who are you falling in love with? They're, they're exaggerating. You have, you have an open heart, bro. <laughs> hey, so that's a red flag. You 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 open your heart too easily. <laughs> right, like, they're exaggerating, though. Yeah, it's all right. Nah. Okay. You fall in love too? My boy feels you. Yeah, yeah, he's like, he's like, they have Damn. a big heart, bro. But is that is that like respectable? Like, is that a red flag? <laughs> I feel like 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 opening your heart to people is like rare, bro, because you you're like leaving yourself like susceptible to being hurt. Yeah, bro. That's, that's what I'm that's, saying. That's but opening saying. your heart is letting yourself get hurt more because yeah. you're opening is that up a to, 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 the, to the girl, or is that like a green? I think flag? it is because if you meet somebody and it's like, yo, I can meet someone else the next month, and it's like, okay, I see what you mean. Like, you know, like, oh, you fall in love with anybody right yeah. now, but you fall in somebody else. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah you were a flag, bro. <laughs> 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 All right, Marlo, go ahead, bro. Damn. Be nice. Be I'm nice. Not, I, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of a good one. All right, Wes. Um, I know Wes got a big one, bro. He's nah, over there. Hector took the big one for me. Uh, here, all right, I got, Pause, I, 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 I got you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I did not. I did not. You did, you did take the hey. big. <laughs> I did not. Yeah, take I got the you. Big I got you. you. Um, that should have hurt, bro. I think. <laughs> I think you take some shit a little too much to heart. I think you take a little page out of my book. And just let things go. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, don't say things too personally. Yeah, honestly, Man, like shit happens, bro. Like, yeah. people will say things, and shit happens. But I don't, I don't feel like you could take every single thing to like, oh damn, bro. like fuck, fuck them. Like, I'm like yeah, you know what? Maybe they're having a bad day. Yeah, yeah you know, yeah. maybe maybe some shit happened. Like, it's all good. I, I feel I it. I feel it. I That's think real, bro. some things you <laughs> could just <laughs> let go. You know what I'm saying? That's me. I feel it. I like feel for it. me, bro. I, fuck. Same I need to be on your level. Let it, let it, <laughs> let it all go, dog. I get it. Like shit happens. Like whatever. You know. What I feel saying? it. I That's feel mine. it. I feel yeah. it. I feel it. Yeah. You truck. You, you go with that one. I, I love it, bro. <laughs> I appreciate you, bro. See, there the, we go. They, That's these are my boys, bro. That's, That's love. They gotta, they gotta hey, be real with if, me. If I can't be with, I, if I can't be real with That's you on love. here, then, then don't be my homie. That's love. That's love. One more time. You know what I mean? Kiss, kiss, kiss. <laughs> We've been trying to kiss from episode five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, this episode. This episode. <laughs> Save that for episode three. <laughs> you know, next, nah, week, next week, next week. Nah, this will probably be waking out with someone else, bro. <laughs> I might, dog. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> yeah, what you got to do, bro? Yeah, yeah, you know what what you gotta do? Do? yeah, I can't wait for you to be on here, dog. Oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah, you got one to sit him in the middle, bro. Nah, you guys took the two big ones, bro. Yeah. Okay. Wesley's too nice. If you don't bro. got one, it's okay. You can just nah, I don't, I don't. I don't. The falls in love too easily. That was the, that was the <laughs> that was like the. Does yours, yeah, does yours yeah. you fall in love too easily? No, no, I'm just talking about him. We're for talking yeah, about yeah, for yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, I don't. I don't got like a big red flag. It's okay. I mean, we've already named two. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> two of the biggest. Yeah, so. yeah. That's crazy, bro. I would not like assume that like you'd fall in love quick. I feel like you'd be like a player, bro. A little half and half, you know. A little half and half. Yeah. Nah, Want to move, move to the next person? Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's do my. Let's do me. Let's do me. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. I feel like he's a sleeper, bro. I feel like like nobody expects your dog, but like you're like the doggiest dog. Of this was a but that's not a red flag to me. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let Hector start off with this one. That Dang, Hector? that's kind of hard, bro. I don't think Marlo has a red flag, bro. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, big dog. I love you, bro. You, 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 you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> accident, accident. Meant to be. Meant to be. Meant to be. Okay. What's the, I, I would say short fuse, too. Okay. You've I, gotten better, but I, I would still yeah. say short fuse, maybe. I agree with that. Yeah, yeah. Stubborn, but same thing. Okay. But gotten better. Yeah, gotten better. Yeah. I've even doubt. You know? yeah. I've even doubt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm I'm standing still, bro. I don't I don't have one for you, bro. Honestly, I mean, no, no, and I well, believe, yeah. I, I'm really trying to think about no, like no, one. I, yeah. So he's a catch, one hundred percent, bro. <sighs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, so, hey, hey, shout out to my boy. He's a ten out of ten. <laughs> Slide into his DMs, man. Yeah, yeah shout you watch his man. Like, you want a good guy like follow, but like, I mean, and, 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 and you've seen him, bro. Like he works hard. You know, you saw him setting up and shit, like yeah, working bro. hard, this making sure things get straight. Hard worker, bro. Like that's like, what I'm saying. Like, I seen him in the gym too, bro. Like, <laughs> this is a lot. Yeah. Of that. This, guy, this guy puts a lot into like what he yeah. does. So yeah, I can yeah, see yeah, ripping down the fifteens, dog. You know what I mean, like, this shit went the opposite way. We just said positive shit. You know what I mean, like fucking fuck a red flag. He's a green flag guy. He's green flag all day, bro. Come on. Green flags yeah. and nothing. Gunshots, gunshots, gunshots. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Let him know. <laughs> Let's do Wesley. Let's do Wesley. Let's do Wesley. I'll, I'll give it to you right now. Too blunt. Too blunt for his own good sometimes. All right, yeah, let me let me let me give you. I'll, I'll, I'll live it. I'll yeah. live with that one. And I, I don't even think that's necessary because I think someone some, told me that recently, and I was like, you know, if that's my only thing, I'll, I'll take it. And that's I, I say it could go either way. Some people, because some people like that. Some people want you to be just completely blunt with them, and some people can't take that. I feel like For example, flag, all bro. of us here, I feel like we could take that. Like we're we're used to that. We know him. Like we love him. But other people are like, "Fuck that!" Like chill yeah. out. No, I've I've heard both hey, that, reactions. Hey, that's what that's why sometimes I like talking to Wesley because like I feel like if I talk to him, like yeah. he'll tell me shit straight up. Yeah, and I and I no filter, no filter. Okay. Like he'll tell you shit how it is, and and that's it, bro. Yeah. And sometimes you gotta hear that. Sometimes that's important, oh, yeah, yeah. bro. It's yeah, important, yeah, yeah. bro. If it you is, like, if you sugarcoat shit, bro, like yeah. that shit's fake, bro. It is, yeah. Mm. yeah. You gotta be organic. Like, and that bugs me, bro. Like, if you said something, like, and I didn't agree with it, like, I, I couldn't hide it. Like, yeah. that's important. And, that, like, and again, that's why I'm saying sometimes too blunt for his own good. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And, like, yeah, and, that, and it. I agree with that because it depends who you're talking to. Yeah, yeah. So, because Honestly, you can be, you, if you're talking to your boys, obviously you want to be real with them. Yeah. But if you're talking to someone that, like, you just met and, like, you're, <laughs> or, like, for example, if you're trying to network, yeah. you're that's trying to network. Bro. I, right? That's why I don't like networking, bro, because I feel like. <laughs> Cause I hate that shit, bro. Cause honestly, networking is just using yeah. other people. 
You just got to know. But there's nothing wrong right? with that. But, but there isn't. Because because that's, we've said that's on here. Though. Networking is like the nicest. It's a nice word to say you're mm-hmm. using someone, right? But there's nothing wrong with but us there's nothing using wrong with each it, other. Bro. It's just the using that word is derogatory. It sounds bad. But again, networking is the positive <laughs> spin on it. I think if you're like, if you're open about it, that's okay. I think if it's genuine. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If I'm genuinely like, yo, I fuck with you. We're gonna use each other in this position. If you don't like somebody, bro, but they they but know, you're, you know that's they, they can benefit you. You that also still fa- that's fake. You have to be a you there also you have to be yeah. a good person because there I know is. if you're if you journey if you're genuinely trying to network with me, say like I'm someone big, there you're yeah. trying to network with me, and I can see like past who you are, yeah. and you're not a good person, I can tell off the bat. You shouldn't work. But with if that I person. can see that you're trying to talk to me, but you're a good person. Then I fuck with you, okay, yeah. and you can oh, tell fair. off the bat. That's fair, hundred percent, bro. Yeah. And I feel, I feel like if you don't fuck with somebody, bro, just because they're cloudy, you shouldn't work with them, bro. Yeah, yeah. like let's say I was to meet like the Island Boys, bro, and they're like shit bags. Yeah. Like I wouldn't fuck with them. bro. I wouldn't want to work yeah. with them. But 100%. if they're cool, bro, they're like yo, like yeah. Dude, just, I'll, I'll be okay. honest. It, let's let's be like if you if you can humble down yeah. and you, you know can be saying? you, yeah. who you are, and I can see that, then I fuck with you. Hundred percent. You should fuck. You should fuck with people you fuck with. Period. Yeah. Whether you make it or not, bro. Like yeah. So I don't want to. I don't want to work with someone who's complicated. Green flag. I think you're all right, but, <laughs> but but going like, back, to, but going back to Russell, <laughs> my red flag about him is maybe like he be judging two people. Uh, he be judging people too like too quickly. Yeah, too quickly. Like okay. Uh, pretty much like off the bat. Okay. <sighs> Doesn't give enough enough time. Yeah, enough okay. time. Like yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Sometimes, yeah, be a little judgy. But a lot of times, I'd be right. <laughs> like, so that's <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Sometimes, that's sometimes, true. yeah, it's a worst rush. Like I me personally, I I trust his judgment. Like, off oh, the me book. too. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, because a lot of times, like, if, if you if you judge people like based off like you know like your first encounter with them, yeah. a lot of times you're right. It's your instincts sometimes. <laughs> because yeah. uh, I mean, I think people underestimate their instincts. Yeah, because cer- <laughs> certain yeah. mannerisms and shit like yeah. that, like you could really like know Pick up a on person. Them. Yeah. And like just based off like how, how they interact with other people. Yeah, yeah. I like, think it's you, unique or, like based on the person, bro. But yeah. I, I also think of it as like if you're in a relationship, right? Like you 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 still don't have a reason to to not trust this person. Okay. You haven't given me a reason to not trust you, so I'm going to trust you. Yeah. Until you give me a reason to not trust you, then I won't trust you. 100%. I so, think like, I like it, it also depends on like the person because like let's say I was to meet him for the first time, right? And yeah. like have a really dope interaction. Yeah. And like he was the most like to meet him with somebody and he has a bad interaction. Yeah. So like his perspective is like, yo, that guy's a dick. Yeah. But to me I'm like, yo, this guy's a great guy. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So I think it just all just depends on like perspective, yeah. bro. Like okay. personally, bro. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. That's what like it's like it don't give a Honestly, at the end of the day, bro, it doesn't fucking matter what people think about you, bro. Yeah. At oh, all. a thousand percent. At that, all, that's why I think at cancel culture is bullshit. Fuck that shit, bro. Like, if, I don't if believe you're, in it. If you're a fucking genuine person, bro, yeah. and you're doing your shit because you believe in it, yeah. you'll win. Like, I've, I've been trying to cancel since episode one. Yeah, he's, like, he has. Fuck, <laughs> fuck cancel culture, Episode one, bro. I've been trying to cancel. Like, fuck them, bro. Yeah. I actually have a red flag for all three of you guys, bro. And I said Ooh, it with him. Okay. It's just that you guys are shy. Oh, yeah. Oh. I am. That's man. it. Oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah. You guys are just shy. Yeah. As in compared to me, like I oh, like I, agree. I like I like to be outgoing and like yeah. talk to people who I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like them, they're a little more I'm a little more conservative. Intro- introverted. Yeah, yeah. 100%. I'm an extrovert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fuck with you. So like I like to go out and like meet different people and like interact and like because I'm that type of person see, that can that can adjust but, to like different personalities, right? No matter so what yeah. the situation, is. no matter who see, you are, how you are, let, what you do. Let me speak for for the three. I think I, I think I can with this one. <laughs> I need to take my time with you. I think I think, but that's I also all it is, I, cause, but look, I also I, think that's a good yo, thing too. Because look, by the way, if once I take the time with you and like, oh, I fuck with you, okay, have to, yeah, I'm good, yeah, no, no need, I no that. need for the shyness anymore. I feel that. I just take the time, but it takes and but like you said, it can be. um, What is that? What I'm saying, I'm saying like. Oh yeah, yeah. I I agree. It takes it takes a little long. It takes a little while with you guys. It can, it can, yeah, and it can be a hindrance sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Like for example, like going to a club. (laughs) Oh, bro, that's I'm not not my. (laughs) Like who gives a fuck, bro? Like fuck people, bro. Like the the personal opinion on you. But that's what I'm saying. Like it's not the person. But for me, it's never the personal opinion. So what is it? It's just like whether or not I can like like. I guess it's a certain like trust that's, with you. That's like, the way that I think. That you know, is exactly the way that I think. Because if you don't like me off the bat, that's cool. Like it's okay. 
Like at the end of the day, it's not I'm the liking great. though. It's at the, the end of the day, though. I it's like. Just, at me, the end of the day, I have my core. Yeah. I, I the people who I fuck with love me. Yeah. And if you don't like me, that's cool. That's important. For hey, me, well, hold on, hold on. For hold me, on. it's the trust. Let's ask, could... let's ask my boy what what's the red flag about Mike? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> He's a I shitty. Don't, I don't mean to put you on the spotlight, he, but no, 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 hey, is he, he, no, no, but just, hey, just, just to get on, you on the combo. Is he a shitty neighbor? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a shitty neighbor. I'm a shitty neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> His trash cans are out. If anything, I'm shitty because I don't fuck with anybody, bro. I guess it. Bad, okay, bad. that's not shitty though. I won't. I won't send you a fucking Christmas basket. There's no, no man. Man. fuck that. Uh, when you moved in, he didn't. He didn't come in and introduce himself <laughs> to did. you. He didn't make you no did. cookies. I approached <laughs> him, bro. Oh yeah, really? That's yeah, that's like, like, we played dope. football like like in the neighborhood, bro. Like, okay. and I told him I was like, bro, but come play enough football. about the good stuff. Bad stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's the bad? That's what sells. Like, oh, he's gonna get deep, bro. He knows a lot. Oh, you fucking know. That's what we know. That's what we know. All right, maybe don't maybe don't expose him, but we want the audience to know you, though. Let it out, bro. Let it <laughs> Let's out. hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. He don't really have red flags. He's just like. Let's lie. <laughs> ah, how do I say this? Say it, Be bro. critical. Be critical. Hey, it's all right. It's okay. It's all right. We can it's edit okay. it out if it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'll still give you a ride home. Yeah, 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 yeah. You this will determine if I home, give bro. you or if I don't give you a ride home. It's okay. It's okay, bro. Be real. I think that will go back to like what, I don't know who said it, but like where you don't know your worth. He said that. Yeah, he knows his worth. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But I think he's starting to realize his worth. Okay. That's facts. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. After the breakup. Yeah. yeah. All right. Damn. A breakup, hold on, by the way. A breakup of six and a half years. Oh, God. When I say that, it feels like, yo, that might as well be a century. <laughs> Like it. Almost, it almost. Like it. Six and a half. Yo, may, may I ask, how long ago have you, how long have you been single for? Two months, bro. Two months. Oh, uh, damn, damn. Two months, bro. Fresh. Still fresh, still fresh. fresh. And the, <laughs> but it's about that time. It's about that time. And in those two months, bro, I've accomplished more than I have in the last seven years, bro. Okay. But is that damn. due to the, the breakup? Or yes. is it, no, yeah? it's, it's, so, due, it's due to that partner holding me back. So if your partner is a hindrance, you got to let him go. I was stuck, you know, bro, because look, let me hear you out, bro. Like this girl never did me wrong, bro. It's like she never fucking did me wrong. Like she never cheated on me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. It was, she was a good girl. But I knew like <laughs> I good couldn't girl. achieve. She was a good girl. And the good yeah. girls. Oh, I love the good girls. Though. But yeah. I, I couldn't it. achieve my goals like yeah. while being with her. Okay. So I had to make a choice. Did she not believe Damn, me? Damn, Drake what? had a line, bro. Oh, the Trey Songz line. <laughs> Oh, the, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be as big. She, as she as never Trey thought Song. I was be as big as Trey yeah. Songz. Yeah. No, but that's not the line. He's saying like he couldn't accomplish that with her because like he felt like she was holding him back. You know what okay. I mean? Um, yeah. Because like like in in the the field that I'm in, bro, like girls are a big fucking factor. One hundred percent. In the industry, but like girls are like your main. Bro, tell us about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like. She didn't like that, bro. Like, I had to follow girls and I had to do shit. Like, you know what I mean? Cause, like, shout out to the hoes of the city, bro. Like, <laughs> like, nah, hey. You know what I mean? Like, shout out to the hoes of the city, bro. But, like, those girls, like, if. Yo, the little castaway fucking view, bro. bro that should be here. I've never been there, dude. Let's say I gave a whole, like. A, I've never. A hoodie, I take him to a different a, view. A hoodie from my brand, right? <laughs> if I gave a hoe a hoodie from my brand and it's hard. Like, all the, like, guys that, like, want to fuck with that girl, I'm like, yo, like, where can I get that? You know what I mean? Right, right. And I'll, I'll buy one just because she's promoting that yeah, shit yeah. type shit. You know what I okay. mean? Okay. And she didn't see that from that perspective. Like, I'm gotcha. in the fitness industry, bro. I make, like, mm -hmm. like my next drop is going to have leggings and sports bras and shit. Okay. Like, yeah. I need right. some bad bitches to, like, rock that 100%, shit. 100%. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, it, it's part of the game. Marketing. And she didn't see it from that, bro. So, like, I follow a bunch of bad bitches, bro. Like, I follow a lot of girls. Yeah. And they didn't. You got to. She didn't see it from a, like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't give from a fuck. From a business perspective. She was jealous a lot. Yeah, exactly. I don't yeah. give a fuck if this girl has a fat ass. I don't give a fuck if this bitch is the prettiest bitch in the block. It's going to help you get your shit on. It's going to help me make money, bro. Yeah. I'm after oh, bro. money, bro. I don't, yeah. like, and that's what, that's like, this girl, like, it's not even my fuck up. It's this girl's fuck up. Like, you missed out on getting a bag yeah. because you got insecure. Like, I know. Hey, look, look, let me tell you about insecurities are hard to deal with, though. 100%. I, I try to look, look, bro. I gave her my password to my accounts. 
right? That's like the hey, ultimate better of man fucking you, ultimate, hey, right? Mikey, I can never do that. Yeah, and, and she started. You're better than <laughs> me. Bro, I, I remember hey. when guys used to only follow guys. But good for girl, you, bro. But good, good for you. Good for you. Good for you. Good for you. Make her feel never. better. And Never. she started blocking <laughs> bitches without my consent. Ooh. That's when ah, I had a chance. Consent boys, yeah, bro. Consent what the fuck boys, is up yeah, with that? Fuck, like, that? That's when I had yeah, a chance. That's boys. when I had a switch consent or something. Boys. I'm like, you fucked up. <laughs> yeah, 100%. I, if you would have told me you don't like this bitch for whatever reason, I would have blocked her. Yeah. But no, you, no, it's not even that. Because you, you shouldn't have to. you personally, you and just what you believe in and what you were going through and what your mentality was, you're not even fucking with those girls. <laughs> so e- e- even then... Facts. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Facts. She should have realized that, and she probably realized this in the future. But she she didn't realize that you weren't at all gonna entertain these girls. I don't, bro. When I tell you, bro, like I mean, after all, we already talked about you. Should already gotta get the. But I even don't, even I don't then, even fuck about bitches, bro. I'm trying to get money. Yeah, yeah, money. Uh, chase money, the bag, don't bro. chase the hoe. Okay. But money. Yeah. I'd rather make a million than fuck a girl any fucking day. Damn, I want to do both. I agree. I'm 100 percent with you, bro. Any any fucking nah, day, I agree. Bro. I 100 percent agree. Like, girl, but like, and you know what, nah, bro? Nah. <laughs> the good, the right girl will put you on the right track. And that's the part that sucks, and she'll be bro. supportive. It's like I really fucking love this girl. If you if you look at all the successful people, LeBron James, facts. He's been with his high school sweetheart his whole life. Damn. Look at how successful he is, bro. Yeah, like. I, to me, like I just look at things like that, and I'm like, the right girl will put you in the right, right, the right mindset, yeah. the right path, the right everything, bro. And I mean, it's just I don't it's know just about hard. that. I feel like you personally, you have to be on that right mindset. Okay, but like I'm saying, you can't do life <laughs> alone. <laughs> oh no, you're right. You yeah. But see, the thing is, it doesn't have because to be a girl. if you, it doesn't have to be a girl though. It doesn't. It doesn't. But I mean, I it mean, helps. For, for it, does it helps. Help. But for me, because men men are vulnerable to like a girl, like we. As much as we say, like, like for us, like, we're open to each other, we're not as open to each other as we would be to, like, a girl that we exactly. find a connection to. Exactly. I can't, maybe, maybe you guys are my best friends, but maybe yeah. I can't tell you guys certain things. Everything. With a girl, it's yeah. different. Like, you're, the levels of, like, vulnerability, intimacy, intimacy like, how you open up to them is different than last exactly. guy. I've no matter how close I am to, like, you, like, yeah. I can never open up to you probably as close as I would to a girl. I get you. Yeah, that's I've never met a girl that can, like, really push me, though. Like as far as like business, that's goes. a red flag. So maybe you haven't found the right girl, right girl then. Maybe, maybe, but maybe I don't. But know. But have you maybe ever tried a red flag? Though. Oh yeah, bro. Like I've tried a lot of friendships, bro. Yeah, I feel like friendships are important. Like being friends with girls is like more important than anything, because I feel like a lot of the time, like guys misconcept like needing a girl from like friendship. Okay, that's a, that's a big thing, bro. Like we can be like. Bro, we can get horny, bro, and want to fuck some <laughs> girl, bro. Yeah. Anybody, bro. We be hitting up everybody in the yeah. fucking list. Time, you know what I mean? yeah. After this pod, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I feel like at the end of the day, bro, like, you don't really need a bitch, bro. Like, it just depends on what you need in life, bro. Yeah. Like, what you, if you want a family in life, you need a girl because she's going to carry your baby. Yeah. Like me, like, I'm trying to get nasty rich. Oh, I thought you were saying nasty. 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 I thought you said nasty yeah, with a bitch. Nasty. That's what comes with it, bro. You you get a couple million, bro. You can fuck any girl you want. Oh, oh yeah, bro, you, you don't even need, yeah. you don't no, even need that much money, bro. You can have a hundred dollars in your bank account. Uh, you can fuck any bitch. So it's like, you don't need any money, bro. You just need a fat credit line, bro. And so, like so that's like, all it is. What is it, bro? Like what? What exactly? Is it? Like, what do you that's want bad. in life? You know what I mean? Exactly. That's the bigger. That's the bigger picture, bro. Because a, a girl can make you or break you, and I, I, I stand by that. Look, Damn, I feel like yeah. in life you need two things. I, I feel like in life you need a girl that's down for you, and you need a vision in life that's gonna get you to the, to like to attain your certain goals. So is that girl that's down for you? Is that like equivalent to like your vision? Or yeah, she's that's gonna, vision. gonna see your vision. But she do you sees. Need that? I feel like at the end it of the day, it helps to have that support system. I think, yeah. I, but see, you guys keep making it about a girl specifically. I keep thinking about support system. Facts. It doesn't have to be a girl specific. You keep talking about a girl. You keep t- it's a support system for me. Support system is my family, but my I, friends. No, no, you're I right. I think girls right. can provide the that support part. that some other people can't. Yeah, I, I agree. But I'm just saying it doesn't you need from have a girl to be is it a pussy. Nah, 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 support, nah, support, nah, nah, support. Support is deeper than pussy, bro. It is, yeah, yeah, hundred percent. But you can get support from anybody, not just female. Nah, nah but there's, there's different, there's there's different the levels of support, like yeah. But like I, I broke like, down like I, the, I, le- the the things you could break down to with a girl that like you're you're intimate with, like you can't break down to like your boy that you've known for. However yeah, because yeah, at, yeah, at the at that at the end of the day, like, would you rather have support like from a dude or from a girl? If you're asking me, 
It It'd be from you guys. What, what am I on? Like, I just want support from somebody who's genuine. Yeah, for me, for me, it'll always be you guys because. No, no, but from, from, no, no, look, no, but if you really, here's really, the thing, if you though, really Hector, think about, no, 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 Marlo, would you break down and cry with us for us or in front of us? If I could cry, I would. Yeah, I have you no. Mean if you could, bro, <laughs> I can't. I haven't cried since I was eight. Like I feel like you could though. I wish I could. Oh, so like, to me, to I'm me, trying. like in like genuinely, I I really feel like if I find the right girl, right, I can genuinely like sit there and talk to her about different things. And break down yeah. and like be emotional with her. You can talk to them about anything. and talk to them about anything, bro. Now, Family, it- your friends, your life, how you're feeling, everything, bro. Because I mean, we've said this before, and I mean, it, it's everywhere. Women are emotional, and they understand and they take that emotion a lot better than men do. Okay, right? Versus like my boys, my boys, I can talk to them about like different things, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. In terms of emotion. Women are just so much better. So how would you feel like that girl like ran like soldier story? Or see, but that's, oh, that's you, different. That's, you shouldn't be talking to women that are like see, that, bro. You should know off the bat. Here's my bro. thing. Here's my but thing. But that's right? it with your boys. Like, your too. boys would not do that, bro. It here, depends. Here, again, bro. here's my thing, right? It's a different type of loyalty with your boys. Here's my thing. A girl can come and go, and again, to a certain extent, but as long as I've been alive, you guys have still been there. That's the difference to me. It just you just need somebody that'll be on the same wavelength of vibe. It depends on like the type that's of loyalty it. too. But bro. also that's different too because tell me. Let's yeah. say if you're with a girl and you cheat on her, right? Okay. She's gonna leave you, right? Yeah. Let's say if you're hanging out with us, then you start hanging out with another group of friends. Okay. It's gonna be like <laughs> I don't think that's the same thing. Nah, it is because nah. then you're gonna start hanging out with them more, and it's gonna be like, yo, see, okay. but that's not cheating because I wouldn't take that as cheating. That's not if cheating, you hang out bro. With a... That's not cheating. But it's like it's like for like a girl, if your girl was to like hear you talk about like, in like vent. And then they go tell other people about it. You'd be fucked, bro. You'd be like, "Why the fuck did you tell them that I felt this type of way?" Yeah, but yeah. your boys were not. not but not only that. that, bro. Like family does that too. See, that's the that's and like part, family. Family family's like the okay. deepest core. You that's know, like family. That's a family. Family, bro. family gets offended when you choose to hang out with your friends over there. So like that, oh, that's where I all the time. Like, no, but that's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. So like you just bro, have to be. Family isn't as like big of a thing as people make it, bro. I, I think it's big, but not in the not in the. Um, Relationship. The, no, no, the the fucking uh the stereotypical way like family's blood. Like I think family's big and a bigger thing, but I don't think just because you're blood, like yo, I have to be a hundred percent loyal to People you. People like, yeah, a lot yeah, of shit exactly. slide because you're family, bro. Family now, look, I, fuck I, me you, personally, bro. I don't. Family could like fuck if, you. if I built a relationship with you, like because I because ha- I have people in my life that that aren't even family to me, but at the same time, like I treat them like family. Right. Yeah. You know. Yeah, there's shout people. Out, look, look, me personally, like, <laughs> shout out to people like like Peter and shout out to people like Balas and, and shit like that. Like, me personally in my life, like, shout out to them because they, they like, I grew up with them and, yeah. like, I, I built that type of relationship with them. Yeah. And they're not even blood to me. I guess. But like, family even, can fuck you, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah. Like, yeah. family can yeah. fuck you over more than anybody you just met will, like, fuck you over. Thousand percent. Because it, it, it just, like, in your, in your head, like, if... Like you think like they're family and they're not gonna screw you over, but at the end of the day, like if they screw you over, like fuck them. But then the thing, the thing is, bro, I think that's what's the most painful when family does like fuck yeah. you over because because and even because then you get in a relationship, because that, it's like, the same mentality. I think because it's a misconception. It's because you grow up on a thing that family is always supposed to be there for you. They're supposed to be loyal. Exactly. Who teaches that, bro? Your parents. It's just as I think your brother. They were taught family, that. Yeah. They were taught that. You know yeah. what I mean? Like that's yeah. just a misconception, bro. At, and at then the day, it's it's like genuine interaction because you can't pick who your family is. And then you I cannot, never understood no. the you whole. You can pick your friends. Though, I never sure. understood the whole like friends sometimes sometimes it's okay to tell your your personal things to a stranger until until I heard you know that people do get fucked over by their own family. You know what yeah. I mean? Sometimes it's okay to like tell someone you don't know or doesn't know anything about you, like about your. Your life, your yeah. personal right. stuff, everything. It's okay to do that sometimes. But yeah. I thankfully I've never had to do that, right? Mm-hmm. But and I'm also really grateful that I've always had like a really good core. Yeah. You know, like my boys. And right. like no, I've always had really good relationships and like I've yeah. met really good people in my life that I've been able to tell different things to and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But I've I mean, I'm I, I, I stick to what I'm saying, you know, with with girls, bro. Like girls have always been really good in terms of like the whole emotional aspect, you know, like being able to share yeah. something that you might not be able to share with like your boys and yeah. stuff like that. I would consider yeah. you lucky, bro. Because at the same time, like there's somebody out there that like trusted a girl 
that like sold their shit like like and just sold them out. Yeah, I, it, it just depends on human interaction. Bro. Yeah, like, look, I'll, look, going back with what you said, bro. I've been lucky. I've been lucky to like have met really good women in my life. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's that amazing. have been really good and like have not sold me out and like yeah. you know thankfully they haven't you know don't do it but don't do it but wait wait saying, till you yeah. go you get famous bro they're all, the, they're all gonna come yeah, out yeah. That's the biggest wait thing, wait bro. if this if this ever goes you know what i'm saying it will it does it will it will but at this the end of the day bro, but you know it's cool because i didn't get any of them pregnant bro it's, it's all cool. about your approach sure. because look at six nine bro like oh don't get me started on that guy you don't like him? <laughs> no bro he's like the Goat. Nah, he's he's completely nah. nah. Six is the goat. So I, I swear, hundred percent not. Tell me, far, tell us why. Hundred percent. Okay, not. let me let me. I can tell. <laughs> let it, let oh, us. You let's can say what you want. Let's no, hear I, him out. I got you. Okay. The, the big goat. Let's, let's hear him out. As far as like marketing, bro, this guy was in the. Hold shoot. on, before you start, did you see his documentary? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I saw it too. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go so ahead. Like as far as like, like marketing, right? Like this guy, like there's some shitty shit. Like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like cover for him. But as far as like making the most of what's dealt to you. He ran with it. So I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell you why he's not. Okay. okay. Marketing wise, I get what you're saying. Uh-huh. Like in terms of putting yourself out to the people, 100%. right? Hundred percent. But as a real person, he's not. Okay. I can tell you why. Why? You cannot. The shit he said he was, you are not. Right. When people, yeah. When people said like, "Oh, I'm gonna go," I think they said they they fucked his baby mama and they they were gonna kill him and they kidnapped uh-huh. him. If I'm in that world, I don't I don't call the police. I. I I yeah, take the, yeah, I take care of that myself. If, yeah, if, be, by the way, as a, if I'm if I'm in that world, if I accept and if I if I portray that I'm in that world, right? Marketing different. Mm-hmm. As a real person, if I say I'm in this thing, I don't call the police. But you can't do nothing, bro. Yeah, no, because no, 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 no. I can't. I can't. I can't. If I you're can. a gangster, you got to keep a gangster. Look, 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 I don't want. I don't want to take you. I don't want to take here. Yeah. If you try to kill me, right? I don't have to. I don't. I don't go to police. But if you go to jail, you can't kill him. I can. How? No, no, but you could keep it. I don't, I, don't, I don't have to get into the details, but I can. Right, okay. Hundred percent. I mean, yeah. you see what I'm saying? My thing is, as as a marketing, you are hundred percent right. As a marketing person, dude, this good, this dude is a legend. As a real individual and standing by what he says, so like, what do you do though, bro? Like, like somebody fucked you, baby, and somebody tried to kill you. If if you, if I say I'm from that world, you do you want me to tell you what I do? Uh huh. I murder you. Okay. If I tell you, if I tell you I'm from that world. But what does that I, do, bro? Let's say you kill them, bro. hundred percent. Look, I, again, we're talking about two different things. Right. As a marketing perspective, you are right. Uh-huh. As a real individual, you knowing me, me knowing you, I, I have to murder you. But then it goes, it goes deeper, bro. Like, let's no. say, let's say, like, you have, <laughs> you have two routes, bro. You kill this guy. Now you have redemption. Then what? You're in jail. It's not about redemption. That's what the thing. It? That's what it you're you're taking about again. If you are in that world, that's the, that's the thing that I don't I don't think people understand that. Like at the end Being, of the day, bro, somebody's gonna fuck your bitch, hey, hold on, hold on. Honest, bro. Like I'm not talking about kidnapping you. You know what I mean? Fucking with your mom. Uh huh. Again, this is things I don't want to get into on right, this no, thing. No, 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 I'm like, just saying in general, things are completely out of. I'm not talking about fucking your bitch. Right, right. right. Kidnapping you. Right. And then you say you are in that world. Mm. You handle that a very different so way. So it's like it's like you have two options, bro. You either make millions or you, you go to jail for life. If you, you are know, in that world, is, is the difference it, what I'm saying. That's just that's like being smart about it, bro. Smart again, it's you this is why I don't No, I, I, I feel like let's, let's just change the subject because I'm saying from a marketing perspective, you are right. Right. Hundred percent. The smart thing to do, nothing, bro. Right. You move on and you make millions. Right. If you are actually in that world as individual. You cannot do anything else but do that. But what's like more like what's more revengeful than like making millions off of? And that's why I say, move on. You know what I mean? Because this is people don't get that. I I think with him, like bro, he tried to get he he saw like the money that that shit was getting to him, and he he wanted to use it for the money. But once like he was like, yo, I'm in this life. This shit is like he wasn't down with it. That's why that's (laughs) why I don't like I I never well I never liked his music anyways. Like to me, it just sound like I fuck with it. Nah, bro. I ne- I heard that shit and I was like, yo, what is this? But even yeah. with him, like, he tried to profit off it. But once, like, it got real and shit, the fan it was like, yo, I'm not really about this shit. Like, yeah. this is not like people live this shit and they're about it. And like, I know you said like, I know people say like, yo, I would rather snitch than go to jail. But there's some people who look at like, yo, I'll go, I'll go sit jail for the rest of my life. Then I'd rather like snitch he on. This is the thing. People. Where d- does your integrity matter for you at all? Yeah, as you. Let me ask you. All does right. your integrity matter for you as a, as at all? As far as like what? For no, no. For you, does your integrity matter? It, yes or no? It's the bigger picture, bro. D- does your integrity matter? 
To an extent, yeah. I mean, yeah. That's what I'm saying. There it, you go. It just depends, though. Like, do you give like, a bad? He, he cannot me. He, he didn't kidnap he, my mom. He gave. He. he <laughs> you know gave, what I mean? Like, <laughs> he put but, himself in that nah, situation. But the thing is, he fuck I, with those people, but like on his own. If I say I'm that guy, if I'm a gang member, if I'm from uh-huh. that life, but you, yeah, bro, like, but like, 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 I'm not you got to you can still get those people killed. Nah, but you gotta worry about nah, the rules. You can though, bro. But like, if you but keep like, it G, you gotta you gotta keep it G. Yeah, like, like he's keeping it G though, bro. Look, like Fifty Cent even himself got shot like how many nine times? He don't give a fuck about the guy who shot him. He but he didn't run to the police he's, either. And like, yo, Mikey, you know what I mean? That fool was dead. The guy, killed, <laughs> the guy who's dead, dead, bro. Like, like hey, on, Gucci on, made them. They're not running to the cops. They're like, yo, I'm gonna handle this shit myself. Yeah, if yeah, I gotta bro. go sit down, I'm gonna go sit but down. Fit, like, but like, like he got caught up again. So, at right. some point, that's why. I, that's why I asked you individually. Does your integrity matter at all? You said yes. Nah, like I feel. I feel like me. Like, bro, and then like I, I care about myself more than anybody. And bro. then like us, for example, bro. Like we don't get involved with that life because we're not. We're not trying to be involved this, in that this shit. Is, bro. This is speaking of people Look, who are, hold on, are hold on. not in However, that life. however, if I am involved in that shit, then then I know the consequences. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Man. There you go. 100%. Thank you. Hundred percent. If you if you say you are in that life, you know the consequences. So you would you would have took that time in jail? One hundred percent. I don't I don't think you want me to say what I want to do. <laughs> I don't think I would take that time. If I'm about it, it, if I'm about it, then I'm about it, bro. I if think I'm not here, about it, then I don't get involved. I think over here is different, but like in different like countries, like. Mexico, all these other Central uh, America, South American countries, when like you're involved in the cartel, like if you talk or not, like you can go sit down, you're gonna die either way. Like, yeah. But I mean, like for, for his situation particularly, like, like yeah, over here, I think it's more protected. Like if he talks, he goes into witness protection program. Well, he's not even a witness protection. You know what I'm but, saying, like, I mean, he's, he, I haven't heard from him in a minute, but like, nah, like Stani yeah. posted him like literally today. Like, oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Like, you know what I mean? I, I mean, look. Like, Sweet. But he's not as active as he was before. Yeah. He was taking shots every other day at like some type of rapper, or some. Dish. So here's the thing: I will say, and that's why I think, yeah, in terms of marketing, you're right. Right. When it comes to marketing, the best thing that can happen to you is happening to him. Hundred percent. He that- still does interviews, still does podcasts. He's out in the public. Nothing happens to him. Right. He is fine. The best outcome that could happen is happening to him. But see, we don't even know what's going on with that guy who, like, who who is it that went into jail? Like, for that shit? Like, what was his name? A lot of people. Like, uh, not shoddy. just one. Shoddy, and bro. Like, the like, thing is not... Guys, like, everyone, those those hey, guys aren't out yet, bro. It's everyone everyone points to Shoddy. It's not just him, dog. It, it's deep. It's yeah, he has other him. people. It's deep. It is other people who are, in constr- who are incarcerated for him. So, like, okay. So, like, let's say somebody was fucking baby on all that shit. You would, like, take the jail time to get him murdered? We I'm are serious. Ty- okay. We're talking about baby mamas. Right. This is, they kidnapped him. Right. If you... Again, I... Th- See, that's a that's a loose word, bro. I don't think he got kidnapped, bro. I think he got caught in a sticky situation. <laughs> I think he was like in a... Like, he fucked with somebody okay. that like betrayed Hi- him. Yeah, I'm going to say something. Hypothetically. Mm. Hypothetically <laughs> speaking, right? Mm. Purely hypothetically. Mm-hmm. If someone were to kidnap me and I'm from that life, there's no police being called. See, but he didn't, I deal. I deal with that my own way. I feel like he didn't call the police, bro. I feel like the police got involved, and right. he just like he had well, the, a choice. Well, the police have been involved in his situation. Shit, I don't know. I don't know. Who no, no, the they police. they. You saw the documentary, right? Mm-hmm. The police had been involved way before he, he had been kidnapped. And do you think that was his doing? Like he, he brought him in. Hard to say. See, that's the, that's the hard part, bro. Hard because to say, it's but different, it's the thing, room, like, but the police if you are in that world, right? And I uh-huh. feel like we're getting way well. We okay. No, no, yeah. yeah so yeah. if you are in that world, you do not bring that. It is that simple. The one that, that brought it, but it just happened, bro. But you like accept stuck. again if you uh, so you just take the life. My thing I keep trying to tell you is if you are actually in that, not hypothetically, if you right. are actually in that world, you just take there the are sentence. codes you go by that you cannot give up, and you just take that sentence, and you take that. <sighs> Fuck, that's hard, and, bro. And you say that's hard, right? Yeah. I agree. That's why we're not in that world. Facts. I, I <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, that's why I keep saying, if you accept that you're in that world, that's what you do. Yeah. There it is. Oh, uh, yeah. Otherwise, yeah. yo, bro, don't get mixed up in it. Like, Stay don't, away, Don't get bro. involved if, you don't, if you're not ready to die. Like, you know, that's my that thing. Because the, they all live by a com- completely different code and world. Yeah. I, that I, I we do that. not live by. I feel that. That's no, my 100%. point. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's my only thing. Yeah. I feel, like, I feel like he could have, like, I don't know, bro. Like, I don't know. Marketing wise, bro, this guy's 
hundred percent, bro. I'm not taking life for somebody that like kids, yeah. bro. Ever. Or and, that, that, and that's why we're not in that world. You know what I mean? Yeah, hundred <laughs> yeah, yeah, percent. You know, know what I'm saying? I mean, we're not in that world. If so, I, someone kidnaps you, hey, yo, this happened at this time. This time that world. So like, you know what, what could you do though, bro? If you get a life sentence, bro, because somebody kidnapped you. If you're not in that world, nothing. You yeah. call the police and you move on. And if you are in the world, you just get him killed and then what? And you just you do your sentence. If you're in that world, you do something else, you know. But this is why I say let's move on. Right? Okay. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Because this is we don't talk about this facts. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I feel like you made the most out of the situation. <laughs> like, at the end of the day, bro, like I feel like fuck. Bro, yeah. like, what did you do, bro? You either go to jail for the rest of your life or you make millions of dollars. Yo, if you're about it, you're about it. If you're not, then don't be in it. <clears throat> but there's so many people that make it off like faking it, bro. Yeah, bro. But there we go. I mean, so I okay. think Jake. I think Jake Cole said like a verse about that. He's like, uh, "Is it worth it? Is it worth the way that you? Is it worth? Yeah. What song was that? I don't know. What song I don't know. Was. Finish the bar. <laughs> <laughs> I, I forgot the fucking bar. I look, I know what you're. I think to it was with uh with Twenty One Savage a lot. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Ah uh, fuck. I know what you're trying to talk about. I had to play. He this hit, song. he yeah. hit that bar, bro, yeah. and he talked about six nine, and he pretty much well, said, "Fuck six nine, let's go move on to the next shit." <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All bro. right, so fuck that guy, Tristan Thompson. Mm. Yeah, shout out to controller, <laughs> Tristan Thompson. Our boy bro. Tristan Thompson. What's up? He got caught caught up again for like the tenth time. Did he though? Is that is that being caught up though at this point? <laughs> I mean, I, he's not even trying to hide it, so it's not caught up. Like, yeah. He kind of just got. He got caught. Doing his own, travel. He got caught. He Dying. didn't get caught up. You're just he doing got your own thing at this point. But yeah. I think this is the first time he got like another girl pregnant. Oh, I, didn't know, I didn't know that. No, like, <laughs> did you know that? <laughs> no, I didn't. Know I didn't know that. Either. Yeah, he posted on his thing. He was like, "Yo, like today the the paternity test came back. I am the father of this baby." Like, oh wow, is he still with Chloe? Something or- there. He posted a thing saying, hey, I don't I don't mean to hurt you. Like, I've caused you so much pain. But, like, my thing is, at that point, like, you, you've cheated on someone so many right. times. So, like, are you really, like, <laughs> that's do you, crazy. Do you how really do you not mean to hurt them? How do you accidentally stick your dick in, like, yeah. bitches, bro? Like, that's weird. <laughs> like, bro, just, you're a bad guy. Cook. Yeah, just, like, but that's crazy. Um... That bro, I mean, that's not that's. I not. don't think he's getting caught up though. I think he's just living life. Yeah. He said, "Yeah, but honestly, he said, Chloe, you don't deserve this. You don't deserve the heartache and humiliation I've caused you. You don't deserve the way I treated you over the years. My actions certainly have not lined up with the way I view you. I have the utmost respect and love for you, regardless of what you think. Again, I'm currently sorry. Today, paternity test results reveal that I fathered a child with." Um, Mariah Mariah Lee Nichols I don't know how to pronounce her name Uh, I take full responsibility for my actions now that paternity has been established I took I look forward to amicably raising our son I sincerely apologize to everyone I've hurt or disappointed throughout this ordeal both publicly and privately (laughs) my thing is if you get a girl pregnant do you really care about your other girl no Nah, Chloe, bro. I'm a single man, man. <laughs> like, we Shut up, bro, but this guy has cheated like seven <laughs> times, bro, and she takes him back every it, time. Bro. So That's at it. what point do you like? I know, I know. The first time a guy cheats on a girl, that everybody feels bad, bad for the girl and shit, right? Like, oh my god, you yeah. don't deserve that. But like, at one point, do you just like, yo, she's a dumb bitch? <laughs> she's a dumb bitch. She's a dumb bitch. She's a dumb That's dumb bitch. it. Like, let, let's be honest. Uh, I mean, love's a look. Fuck like, if I was one of her close friends and she kept coming back to me, like, yo, he cheated on me again. Like, I'm so sad. I'd just be like, yo, like, stop, stop bringing this to me. Cause, to like, to get cheated yeah. on is one thing, but to have a kid with somebody else is like, different. Not even that. Being cheated on seven times, eight times, bro. I, I don't know the exact number, but it's, it's been a lot of times. But it's more than three. <laughs> yeah. I, I, it might be more than seven. Yeah. How the fuck you stay with somebody after that? But the third child. Third child. Again. Yeah. Yeah, on Twitter they were saying like, "Yo, how?" Because their daughter's name is True. Yeah, and they're like, "How you name his daughter? Do- how you name your daughter True when all he does is lie?" He ain't even a Hall of Famer like that either. I don't. Yeah. Even, you know, bro, like, like, he was a bro, yo, I was like, okay, fuck this it. fool is wild. He's bro. not even a star player, and this when, motherfucker when when that girl just fucking. That girl, everybody. that girl came out and said like, "Yo, you're the father of this child." He was saying like he was gonna retire after the season, so he doesn't have to pay her. Like child support, a lot of money, but now that the like the baby came out, and he's only like thirty, so it's like, bro, you're not gonna retire, dude. This he's, he's playing for like the Kings. So does he not like wear condoms or what? No, bro. Come Three on. Three kids. Let's be honest. How many guys do? At this point, would you rather take an STD or take a kid? 
fuck. I'm just wearing condoms. For <laughs> that's different though. That guy's making <laughs> millions a year, bro. That's different. Dog, if you're dude. making millions, you should want to wear condoms, bro. Just for the summer. You should be more you're... selective of who you're. You know what I mean? Like, like you're 100%. making millions, bro. Why would you let it go? But isn't it funny that it's the opposite? The more money you got, some of these dudes just be fucked. Baby, hey, Charles how many shit, huh? Just... Uh, what's his fucking name? Because oh, it's so easy for you to hit up a girl like, yo, I can fly you out here. Yeah. Especially if you're a ball player. If you're any type of professional uh, athlete, you could. Girl I'm, in girl, town, I'm in town, baby. I'm in town. Exactly. I'm in town. I could. I could. <laughs> Get you courtside seats to the game, yeah. all this shit. Like it's just so much easier. I can get like, you so much. You don't even have to get them courtside seats, bro. Fly just get them out. a box seat, bro. Yeah, and you're fly chilling. them out, bro. I got an yeah. Airbnb for you. Like I'm gonna fly you out. That's it. That's it. You're next good. to the beat, next to the water with the view. Like just you're chill. That's a done deal. Chill, there. chill there while like I'm, I'm get getting therapy and shit, bro. You, bro. Like what the fuck <laughs> you should pay for this shit? So, like wow. Yeah, bro. Buy dinner. Like, that's crazy, bro. Post a picture of us and you're chilling. That's it. Gain a few followers See, that's and that's it. Bitches ain't shit, bro. I, I don't I don't get why this food Trish Thompson is apologizing though. Me neither. This is the, the my I thing hate, is well, that I, I, message I, was this publicist. That was so hold on, head. hold on. Before this post, are they are they not together? I don't know. I don't know. Dog, I think does it matter <laughs> at this point? Okay, I hate okay. public apologies because, in because general. Because what I'm I don't saying, care if you're fake. Fuck, if you because, got ten okay, followers or not. Fake. Because if they yeah. are together, then I understand why you're apologizing. But if they're not fake. together, then I. It's, if you're you apologizing, you can do it in private. I don't need you to post like. An I get it. Thing about I get it. that. Thank you. I'm saying just apologizing in general. At the end of the day, a bro, public apology. I don't get it. It's fake. There you go. I don't get a. Po- Yo, if if or she probably wrote it. <laughs> yeah, or she, yeah, no, or maybe she, she said it. You better type that shit yeah, up and 100%. post it. If you guys are sorry to me, just tell me. You if don't you're genuine, world, if like, you're genuinely sorry, post it on your Instagram and make and make me feel better. But then again, does that make you feel better? <laughs> oh, it's a whole fucking kid, bro. To have a kid with somebody else or you're with somebody else is fucking terrible. Yeah, that's crazy. That's it, bro. Yeah. Like, Bro, Chloe, think about that shit. Like, just you. the type of shit that we, <laughs> the type of shit that they have to worry like, about. You're so fucking stupid. Shout out my boy Mikey, bro. <laughs> yeah, like, he's a good guy. He's a fucking great one body, guy. one body. You know what I mean? Like, one body, loyal man. He That's won't fun. cheat on you. That's <laughs> fucked, man. Hey, so, some hey, we try to save them sometimes, and they don't know what's better, what's good for them. Just you know what right? Bro. Fuck, bro. <laughs> Come hey, to they, us. Sometimes, Come sometimes to this podcast. Yeah, sometimes they learn the lessons the hard way, bro. And like, yeah. sometimes you, 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 you got to let them go through it. You got to let them go through it. And like, <laughs> later in life, they're going to be hitting you up and they're going to be like, you know, like, hey, like, I realized what happened. And <laughs> so what the fuck do y'all think about Kim and Pete? What the fuck is up with that? Damn. I think that's just um, fake. So yeah. funny enough, you say I that. Fake. Kanye West. Another topic My we have. Fucking guy. I think they're both just going back and forth. That Julia Fox is fake. Yeah, I think they're both just going back and forth. Like, can you, can, hold on, can you guys explain before? Because I, I honestly don't know what you're. All doing. the pictures that he posted with that bitch, they're never actually like physically kissing. Yeah, and it's all like they're just hanging out. It it looks fake, bro. Okay. It, looks, it looks like Kanye's hurt because she's getting piped down by Pete Davidson. <laughs> okay. Which that guy's a fucking goat. He dated Ariana Grande and Kim Kardashian in the same time. And he dated a. Uh, Kate and not even, not, bro. And not even the girl from the underworld. Bro. Not She's even then. Like a lot of girls are like saying, like, "Oh yeah, Pete Davidson is my celebrity crush." That's yeah, crazy, that fool looks like a bro. zombie, bro. Right? He's like, bro. Shout out to all the ugly guys out there, bro. Like you guys. Yeah, hey, right here. Bro. I'm part of the ugly guy that association. Man is like doing miracles, bro. Like yeah, Ariana yeah. Grande, Kim K. Inspiration. Money. That's fucking amazing. Not even money. You gotta be funny, bro. He's just. But if he didn't have money, no one would fuck with him. No, no, but no, no. Hey, hold on, hold on. Hold Nobody, on. none of those girls would fuck him if he, if he no, was no, working no, at Kmart on, bank grocery. Hey, he doesn't, hey, he doesn't, he doesn't have, have, he doesn't have on, Kanye on. West money. Hold on, I disagree. Hold on, hold on. I think but if you have quite the personality. No, but hold I think on, at some point, as, if you have some level of money, it doesn't matter if you have Kanye West money. Hold on. Because if you're funny, I don't know if you guys ever seen that meme. Like, how do how do funny guys get get such pretty girls? Okay. And like. You gotta make them laugh enough to the point where they're closing their eyes and they're not they're not even looking at you. But Kim K is richer than Kanye. Yeah. She's rich as fuck. Bro. Yeah. So like money's not that factor. That's what I'm so saying. Like, like at some point, as long as you have some type of money, the levels of money don't matter anymore. Kim okay. Kardashian dated Chris Humphries, bro. This was coming off the bench for the New Jersey Nets. <laughs> that's true. Mm, that's 100%, yeah. Like, right. like Kim K is set for life, bro. 
If she yeah. ever was down even that bad, bro, just drop yeah. like part two with Rachel. I'm funny. <laughs> Straight. <laughs> But I'm saying, like, you don't have that <laughs> level of money, so if you're Kim never going to get into that circle. Fans, yeah. But, like, like everyone if money don't matter to her, then why isn't she going for someone that doesn't have money and shit? What the fuck? He's a comedian, bro. He got money, but not Kim K money, not Kanye money. Nah. That's what I'm saying. But he was so weird looking. No, but you're not hearing what I'm saying, bro. You got to have some type of money to get into that oh, circle. Yeah, like, I mean, come on. You, you can't just be on. fucking working at Target fame. and then hold on. Is it, is, is it money or notoriety? Notoriety. Well, with notoriety comes the money. It's not fame. all the time, it's but sometimes, fame, yeah, bro. most of the time, yeah. Well, name name the times. There people will get viral and what they happen to. Them. <sighs> but they're not bagging Kim K. Like, Julia, Julia Fox, saying. the guy that Kanye's, <laughs> the girl that Kanye's fucking with, like, she ain't even bad, bro. She's only, no, bro, I looked up her, the only movie she's been in is Uncut Gems she's and, like, mid. two other movies. She's The mid. Julia Fox girl. Yeah. yeah. Mid. yeah. Okay. Her body's I did, okay, but she, her face is mid. She looks like... <sighs> <laughs> oh, okay, Kanye. Like, what are you doing, dog? Yeah, yeah, like if you're trying to get back at like Kim, you gotta get somebody. Right? Yeah, get like Scarlett Johansson or some shit. Dude, that's the fucking girl that was in my head. That's crazy. <laughs> you yeah. see, is it all right? That's who I would go for if Fact. I'm trying to like make she's, my girl jealous. She's, like beautiful. Okay, well, she might be married. What's the girl from the Notebook? Uh, I know who you're talking about. She's I don't know beautiful. Her name, but I know she's beautiful. About. Fucking beautiful. The girl from the Notebook. Yes. Bro. Yeah. She's, 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 not, she's not sick. She's not bad. She's fucking. She, she was that girl in next uh, door. Wedding Crashers. Yeah, she's fucking Angelina good. Jolie. Yeah, to me, Angelina Jolie's the yeah, most she's beautiful old, girl. But she good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she like, old, but yeah, she good. Bro, no, she, bro. she's beautiful. Fuck, what's I love her. Look at her, bro. Fuck, we bro. Like, we don't have iPhones and shit. <laughs> she is so beautiful, bro. No book actors. Something McAdams. Yes, Rachel, Rachel McAdams. McAdams. Yeah, she's beautiful. Yeah, she's fucking beautiful. She Kanye, was in the. Go after Rachel McAdams, bro. <laughs> like, come on, create the yay book, bro. Rachel like, Mc- McAdams. Yes. Oh yeah, she's beautiful, bro. Beautiful, bro. <laughs> you just said that. No, I didn't hear you, bro. She's fucking beautiful, bro. Like, she is. She and is. Like, now, 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 Google Julia Fox, bro. Let me see your reaction. Google Julia Fox. Bro. Sure. I didn't even know who she was, bro. To you. Who the fuck to, is that? Yeah. Like fuck, Megan Fox. Okay? Maybe she has a good, great personality. Maybe, Who? But it's fake. Mm, All right. Well, we can say the same thing about fucking what's the name? Pete. Uh, Pete David. I Pete think Davidson, he has bro. a great personality. Does I he? What, I never met him. I've never. But from what I've seen <laughs> as a persona, he looks nah, like a great. From what time. I've seen, like honestly, he's not even that funny. He bro. looks like a crackhead, bro. He is actually I, really fucking. I don't funny. think he's, he's that funny, funny bro. bro. I he's seen one funny. of his stand ups, and I was like, nah, bro. Nah, so he's funny. He's funny. I think he's funny, bro. I just think like. I think he's funny looking. <laughs> he brings attention. Yeah, you know, like, like he's like, why the fuck are these girls with him? But because of that, like, now look at us. We're talking about Kim K. Why should you pick him? Like, it's publicity. I also heard that he has like a fucking. <laughs> See, I, I heard he had a mid dick. I heard underground <laughs> like his dick was great, and he he did a stand up on this, and he was like, "Yeah, my dick's not that great." So I feel like she said that just so every girl that I'm with after is disappointed. Because like his dick's not that big. Yeah, that's thing in three D right there. You know what Fuck I'm saying? So that. who who fucking? I mean, I I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Nah, either. but did you guys know that like P? I think P. Davidson's dad died in 9-11. He, uh, he was on a plane on nine eleven. Dude, he makes jokes about that shit, yeah. bro. That's, 9-11 jokes. That's, that's like kind of like that's a Marlo humor right there, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. He has some dark fucking like he's depressed as fuck all the time. He says it. No kidding. <laughs> I feel like that's what I think. Girls want like guys that they can fix. Shit. They do. Well, so they just want him because he's like so fucked up. Maybe, right. bro. Um. So speaking about, damn. Speaking about fucked, fucked up people, Antonio <laughs> Brown, the Shout homie, out. your homie. Shout out my guy. AB. Shout out your guy. What's up? Miss uh, interpretation, bro. I feel like okay, so he had an injury. You know, yeah. he said he wasn't trying to play. Whatever, he's, and the coach. Should have told him like I'm not resting anybody up. Like you need to get in there. So yeah. like he's hurt and he did a couple routes and he looks good because he's the greatest, bro. If you're the greatest, by the way, he burned somebody that game. That's what I'm saying. Like, if burned. you're the greatest and you're injured, you're still gonna do better than somebody who's mid. Way right? better. Yep. So because he's out there like fucking doing his shit and they're like, yeah, you can still produce. Yeah. And he's hurt. To the coach, he's like, nah, go out there and still produce. But to him, he's like, fuck, like I'm hurt. Like I could end my career. Yeah. My ankle's fucked. Mm-hmm. And he was like, well, if you're not going to fucking produce numbers, the coach, like, as a man, bro, if the coach is like, we don't fucking need you, get the fuck out of here. What are you going to do? And you know what? So he was like, you know what? I'm going to fucking leave. So it sounds like you're on a brown side. 100%. Really? Because football is only so long, bro. After football, like, what? You're done. 
Okay. You get a fucking jacket and you're in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. They're not gonna care about your bills. You're not gonna care about your family. Okay. So like I think as a as a person, he did the right thing, bro. Like this company did not care about him as a person. They cared about him as a player and like what they could produce for the the team. The team. And he said, like, as a team, like I can't be what's best for the team. I didn't give a fuck about him. Yeah. So fuck him. Fuck what do you guys think? I think at <clears throat> I think at that level of professionalism and that big well, AB is big, right? We yeah. know who he is. Everyone knows who he is. Yeah. I feel like at that level of professionalism and that level of how much money you're making and et cetera, right? Mm. Fame, whatever. Yeah, you might not really care at that point. But if you're someone that you don't necessarily have that opportunity, right? You don't have that that freedom to pretty much say, all right, fuck you then and just yeah. go on about it, then, you know... You can't you you can't afford that. Yeah. Right. You can't okay. afford the whole I'm out. Like doing the whole fucking thing that he did, like, you know, pretty much like he could have hyping out hi- hyping up the whole like, what was it, Jets that they were playing, right? The yeah. hyping up the whole Jets fans yeah. and stuff like that. Like, come on. Bro, a lot of players can't really afford to do that, right? Because they need the paycheck. The paycheck. They I'll need bet 100 bucks though, he gets picked up next season. Oh, he will. Oh, that's what I'm by. saying. He has no yeah. worries, bro. No. I, I think that's what that's what was going through his mind. Is really? that like I don't need this. Yeah. I don't need you. He dropped a song actually. I heard that. Did you guys I heard it? about yeah, I heard I about heard the, the song. song. I, didn't I didn't hear it. it. It's I, actually fire, bro. Is Pit it from, though? Pit from the fa- palace. Is it though? Hundred percent. I've I've heard like AB shit before. And it was trash. This, <laughs> this song is not bad. Bro. All I know, bro, is that AB has got some issues, bro. That CT is real. He big. does, bro. I I, yeah. I don't know about you guys, but I think he does have some issues, but he's bro. Also, so like lovely. It's weird, bro. I don't know if it's CTE or it's just arrogance, <laughs> but he does have some shit. Oh, bro. See, but I, at at that point, like, Facts. if you I don't look know who at the it, fuck that is on the phone, but it's fire. That's if you look rap. at it with like both perspectives, like in terms of like like you being like part of the organization, like it's so easy for you to drop a player. But at the same time, like for a player, it should be like the same level of easiness, like for you to leave a team. Like it, it at that point, it should be both ways. And and I feel like at that point, like it should apply to you, like us at this level in Please. terms of like you, okay, like in the workplace. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, because like me personally, like that that's what I did, like like in my earlier years, like in yeah. terms of like. Cause I used, like I used to work like a lot of different minimum wage jobs, right? And and to me, like those jobs meant nothing to me, yeah. Because those jobs did not care about me. Those jobs did not, you know. Because at that point, like it's a give and take, yeah. Like I'm trading my hours for your for your dollars, yeah. And obviously, if you look at it the other perspective, you're trading um, your dollars for my hours, okay. And and so like at that point, it's like a 50-50 split, okay. So and and I feel like that applies the same way on that level in terms of like millions of dollars at okay. that point. So if he chose to leave for the reasons of injury and like him not being taken care of, yeah. then then he's right. Like okay. he sh- he should have left. Deal, bro. He sh- he should have left. Yeah. That that was the right thing for him to do at that point if they were forcing him to play if they give him an ultimatum in terms of like him playing yeah. or not playing, yeah. like he he did the right thing. Yeah. But if that's not the case, then obviously that's because like he's, he's a on a one year deal, bro. So you realize yeah. like if he if he was to continue playing for this team and like tear his shit and he's out for like four years, that's like four he's years. Done. They don't give a fuck about him, bro. Yeah, yeah cause you you're you're gonna get yeah. released and you're not gonna get paid but after for that. his year and that's it. Like All fuck right. you. But is it the best idea to go about it the way he did? I, I, okay, because then you're gonna think about it this way, bro. You got to think about it this way. That's crazy. Come AB on. is a player, right? right? He needs a team to be to play to make yeah. money. Yeah. Right now, he's already had three, four teams that he's already pretty much Tough. had a really bad, bad reputation with, right? So yep. now he has to get picked up by someone else eventually, right? Yep. Do you think another team is? I'm not saying that he's not going to get picked up, but what I'm saying is that no, they're, not gonna, saying. they're not going to offer him three, four years, bro. They're yeah, going to yeah, offer yeah. him a year. A year. That's it. See, but now like he signed with Fashion Nova and like he dropped his song. I feel like he's getting revenue for so much. If like he was to play ball, he wouldn't really care about Nova Men. Then, then at on, that point, on, he doesn't need football then. Who's buying Nova Men? Not I. Not <laughs> us, but I mean, but there's, here's a the thing, there's a bunch of like people. No, no, really. I agree, but 
You guys buying Overman? No. Because of AB? No. no. See, but okay. look, he went on the Nelk podcast and was like, yo, I got a bag from Nava, from Fashion oh, Nova. Nah, and now, they, yeah. now Kyle was like, get me a bag, bro. Yeah. Now Kyle's rocking Fashion Nova. Oh. Nelk boys ain't... Fashion no, collab, no hate like, on them. If no one want to get wants you know to give saying? us a bag, you know, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying, bro. Yeah. Like, it's it's like at the end of the day, bro. Like at the end of the day, no matter what you love to do, like if yeah. you guys can make a million off potting or you guys can make a million off something, like yeah. to get your family fed, bro. It's a like, bag, bro. Like, a bag's get, a bag, bro. Get exactly. Yeah. You're gonna get it, bro. Oh yeah. And like he's already set. He he's, is. He's at the end of the day, set. hopefully he is. Yeah. Like I, I, I fucking fuck with AB because he believes in himself yeah. more than anything else. Okay. Like there's so many people that would like fold just to be like, I'm playing for the Tampa Bay. Let me suck their dicks. Like yeah, yeah. do whatever they take to get the money. Yeah. But like AB like fucks with himself as a person yeah. so much. He's like, I don't fucking need you. But sometimes at the but I mean, sometimes at his own detriment. To- Exactly, bro. Can you say that was the best thing to do? To run out the field? No. Look, bro. Like, what you, what I look at, I, I look thing, at, and, and this goes back. I to I can my, tell you what the best thing is: to chill out, humble st- down, stay there the whole game, and then after the fact, just say, "Hey, yo, I'm done." And no, no big commotion, because at the end of the day, the next team is gonna look at it like, "Yo, am I gonna take him or not?" But like individually, we don't know what he wants. I I agree. I'm just saying. Objectively speaking, right, right, is it the right. best think, thing to do? To like, I think at the end of the like day, that? I think at the end of the day, you're a professional and you're a public figure, right? Facts. You're yeah. showing other people that that's okay to do and not necessarily that's 100%. not okay to do. Exactly. And this goes back to just being professional at, at anything you do, yeah. whether us, right? We're not, we're, we're, you know, we work at a uh, wherever it is that we work right. at, right? right? Yeah. You need to be professional. Yeah. At the end of the day, you know, it, it reflects on what AB does too. But like, yeah. what is self worth? Like, let's say, let's say, like, you were going to your job, yeah. whatever your job may be, right? And you you fucking get hurt, right? And your yeah. job's like, nah, fuck that. I don't care if you're hurt. You still gotta go fucking work, yeah. regardless if you're hurt. And you're like, bro, like, I'm my ankle's fucked yeah. up. I can't work. They're like, nah, get the fuck in there. Like, I can't. They're like, all right, get the fuck on. And let's say it's a shitty job. Yeah, You're yeah. going to be like, fuck this job. I can go work at Amazon and make yeah. the bag. Like, fuck you guys. I don't yeah. need you. It's the same concept. It's yeah, it is the same millions. concept, but, but not the same reaction. Millions. He's dealing with millions, bro. I get it. I get like, it. Like, yeah, he took it. He, he threw a tantrum <laughs> in front of, like, a bunch, bunch of people. Like, yeah. that, But now that just sold, like, a million more records, bro. Like, <laughs> okay. you just, like at the end of the day, you just listen to his song yeah. right now. You just gave him a check. Eh, not necessarily. I heard. Okay. I heard. I heard. Mikey, you on. need at least two hundred streams to hold get on, at least a dollar. Mikey, I'll be honest. I, Mikey, this Apple Music shit is not a bag, dog. No, <laughs> I, I've seen the the analytics. Not a lot, dog. It is hundred percent, but yeah. you still listen. Bro. But I don't get what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? I, I get your point. You know what I mean? So it's yeah, like, like you gave them pub. Uh, you gave them publicity. You gave them free publicity. The, the pub is different. Right now we're giving. Yeah, right yeah, now yeah. us talking about AB, we're giving them free publicity, bro. Right. Because people and that are probably listening voice. right now, they're oh, gonna yeah, yeah, go back and listen to a song. Top of their shit. Now that's true. Now okay. that I give you. Like you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now like everyone's gonna fuck with AB, bro. Like on a different. They're all gonna listen. Aside from like football. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, bro, like these football players, we see them as great as football, but they're more than that, bro. Yeah. At the end of the day, when you they take their pads off, they got a fan. But who do you think yeah. is going to be bigger? Let me ask you that. Let okay. me ask you this. Okay. LeBron James, who has been a professional his whole life, right? Uh-huh. Or AB? It depends what he does. No, I'm nah, just saying LeBron. just in general. LeBron. In, in, in what? Basketball? Anything. Le- they're both athletes. Nah, well, who LeBron. knows, bro? I think LeBron James, who has like his feet on, who he has his feet on his on the ground. I think well, LeBron his hand James on his shoulders. Fucking cuck. Let me say that, bro. I, I don't like LeBron James. <laughs> oh, well, he's is one it, of the goats. The China stuff. He's a great. No, let me, let me you, he's a great at what he does. <laughs> well, like, why? Hold on. Is it the China stuff or what? Nah, what is I don't, it? I don't know what the fuck. China you don't know what that is. Or I could. Nah. You might. You might hit him even more than. So like, like the part where I stopped <laughs> fucking with LeBron was like when it was like fourth quarter in the finals and he like checked himself out. You guys remember that? Versus the Mavs. There was like six minutes left, and he's like, "I'm out of here." Like you check. Like, bro, what? Kobe would never, bro. Like, right? Michael Jordan would never, 24, bro. 24, I think, right? I think, yeah, I was talking more though, like as a, as a person, as like, a type person, credibility as a, type. I think nah, 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 full nah, of nah, shit, nah. bro. Or even, or even, all right. Well, let's compare Kobe with AB. Uh huh. Who, who? I mean, who has a oh, as yeah. an athlete no, like no, Kobe's like, mad professional? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. AB's like a like a dickhead. <laughs> but, it's like, right there. but like he's fucking with like the media in a different sense, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's different, bro. It's like it depends what you're like. I feel like a- Antonio Brown's in it for, to make money, right? Kobe was in it to like make an impact on the world. LeBron's in it That's to true. make an impact on the world. Kobe's in it to I mean AB's in it to like make 
money. Yeah. That's very selfish then. Fuck it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> is bro. it bad to be selfish? Though? It doesn't matter, bro. Not all the time. Not yeah, necessarily, like, let's, but let's like to an extent. Member, let's say Antonio Brown's but look, if you if you take care of an organization, bro. Fix them up. Does but look, matter? but look, bro. Like, if okay. you take care of an organization, the organization will take care of you. Not all the time. I don't agree with that. That's either. facts. I mean, look yeah. at the Lakers. Because, they took because care of LeBron, if you think about it, like they took care of Kobe. Everyone hates fucking LeBron. Mm. Mm, did they LeBron. take care of Kobe though? They only it paid is, him for like as long as he played. They, they paid him, but in his in his later years, like they didn't build a team around him. They gave him a bunch of shitty People ass gave fucking players. Fucking Kobe shit and, at the end of this year. They're like but, he can't fucking shoot. <laughs> Like he's like fucking shit. Like you Kobe dog shit. All right, but yeah. say say that was the situation. Did you ever hear Kobe bitch about it? Not at all. That's not that's not the that's but not like, the issue. But like all right, but look at look at AB in the situation, right? They made they might have not given him what he wanted, but he he's bitching about it. He's like complaining about it. He threw a tantrum. He did what he did and look at where he's at now. Kobe on the other hand, he didn't bitch about it. He did what he had to do. He won championships, right? Like yeah, look at the differences between the two people. A- a- after 2011 like he didn't get nothing, bro. He played five fucking years from 2011 to 2016, and he can, had a on. shitty ass team. But can, can we hold on? Can we say something? They paid him a shitload of money. Kobe? Yeah, that's not the point. They, they gave him like a two year, fifty million, million dollar deal yeah. after he tore his Achilles. Yo, hold on, hold on. Because if you go back to his hey, point, I'm he he didn't. He didn't at, 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 he at the end of the Kobe, day, bro. Kobe. As a player, he didn't give a shit about the money. He wanted to win championships, and he said it himself. He wanted to win at least eight rings. They didn't give they didn't eight give rings. Shit though, bro. But why? Okay. Because he Jordan. No right, my, 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 my thing to you: if he didn't care about the money, he would have taken a lesser salary so they could be able to trade or sign for players he to build a better team. No, no, but you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta value yourself at that point. But even then, when you take that amount of money, you yeah. still have that, no that, shot. That that no shot. that organization still no. has a cap. And they still have a. And certain- he's taking up most of the cab. Thank you. Not true. That's why they got Not Chris true. Kamen Not fucking true. laying on the bench. Not true. Because you true. can you can build a team around that what what he was making nah, bro. He's because he's not okay. Okay, name name the percentage. Of the cap that he was taking, you can't name that, right? Well, we don't know you it. Can, you don't know you it either, can, huh? You don't know it either. No, but even then, <laughs> okay. Is, then, is, then, is he like, taking? Like, is he taking more than fifty percent of that cap? But at the time, the cap was high. Taking as now. The, is, no, no. Answer that question. Is he taking more than fifty percent of that cap? Because even then, you could still build a team around that. But not as good as you needed to be at that time. Look, what Wes is trying to say is that. If he really only cared about championships, right? Fuck the self worth. Right? Tim Duncan took like fucking was making shit, bro, Thank so you. they can make championships. He, he, hold on, hold on. If but he, did he win championships after on. the last hold championship on. that he if made? It, if it was only about championships, this why this is why I think this type of shit is bullshit. If it was only about championships, you would have took the veterans minimum. What about AB? Fuck no, nope, nope. Stop. Mm-hmm. Don't even. <laughs> It doesn't nah, even because, matter what you're making. No, no. What, what, what happens to self worth? What happens to self worth? You gotta value yourself, right? Again, I you gotta value about yourself. Self-worth. That's what you said. <laughs> I said you gotta that. value yourself. That's again. All right, but a veteran's minimum is that not a lot? That's like five mil. But Kobe's already made millions of millions of dollars at this point. In I his get career. what you're trying to say. I said self worth. I get that. I'm AB's on the on the minimum. Yeah, AB took the minimum with Tampa, bro. He was going off bonuses. That's bro. why he was complaining like, yo, what's he Gronkowski even, making? Yeah, he meant that. He's like, Gronk yeah. got a fucking bigger salary than me, Gronkowski. Oh, <laughs> way He's more. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm over here yeah. working for bonuses and shit. Like, he felt a type of way, bro. 100%, I, yeah. Which, 100%, bro. Like, because you... Fucking, no, no, but at the same time... I get what you're saying. But at the same time, you got to meet in the middle. You got to meet in the middle in terms of, like, like you, you valuing yourself... And at the same time, like you still got to build the team around me. You got to think of yourself as a person, bro. As a professional athlete, as athlete, you have to think of yourself as a person, bro. This is why I think your being selfish is, is okay. You. It's okay. Look, well, you I, can't I, have it both ways. You can't think of yourself as a person, thank and you, you can't think of yourself like, yo, I'm trying to win chat. You, it only you. has to be one. I feel like it just no, depends that's on not true. That's not true. It is. You got to the middle. You got to the middle. There's no problem with you wanting to get paid, but there's also no not a problem with you like having to sacrifice so you can your team You got to be in the middle, though. That's not true. Is a middle. No, there is a middle. There is a middle. I feel like that's okay. Bro, there, there is a middle. I feel like at the end of the day, you need to be clear on what you want. Thank you. If you want championships, look, then the money doesn't matter. I, look, look, if you want the money, then the money matters. I'm gonna be well, simple. Don't matter. Pro- nah, I'm, I'm gonna be simple. I'm gonna be simple. LeBron, who's playing right now, if he said more than anything, I want a championship, he could take the veterans minimum. It would make no difference. He's already making millions of dollars, right? He could he could put another what is it a full salary or what is it a full uh, max player. Max contract. He get a yeah. max contract if he doesn't take the max contract. Let's be honest. He is a max He's contract. Done. If he decides, I'll take the veterans veterans minimum. I'll take a max contract instead of me. 
That helps them. Does it not? Does it not? Yes or no? Yes, it does. All right. So if it was just about championships, okay. But if it's just about championships, don't take the max. Take the veterans minimum. See, get like- someone else as a as a max. I'm not saying to do that. Self worth. Yo, right. LeBron should never take anything more than the max. Simple as that. But he's not taking the max right now. But he's still getting a good. He's not making what Melo's making. Come on, dog. But he's. He's See, that's not the making issue. better you, than minimum, though. But that's my point. You got to meet in the middle at that point. Is LeBron... LeBron's not in the middle. I don't think huh? he's providing... LeBron is not in the middle. But we're not talking about LeBron. All right. Well, then... We're not then. talking about LeBron. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Who are we talking no. about? Who are we talking about? Kobe. 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 We're talking about Kobe. He was he was taking the max. I don't think he was taking the max. He took a two-year, $50 million <laughs> deal, bro. Like, after the... In 20... That's your brother. I remember your brother even said, like, yo, that was a bad contract. The Lakers should not give him that. And this was when went 20... This was after he tore his Achilles. 2013. 2012, 13, I don't know right? when he tore his Achilles. Point is, Kobe. way back then, we're not talking about Honestly, present he doesn't day. The money, but I'm saying if yeah. he was all about the championships, then it would have been like, yo. I think at the end he wasn't, bro. He wasn't. He wasn't about the championships. Yeah, but I, I, I'm talking about like from 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 his year in the championship in yeah. 2010. Okay. Like from that point on, because in his later years, yeah, he got he got the max. Okay. But I'm talking about from 2011. Yeah. To let's say 2013 when he was still. Like, not necessarily in his peak. Championship years. Yeah, in his championship years where he could have still competed, they could have still built a team around him, but they didn't. Okay, fair. That, I, but I, fair. but even, even then, like, I, I get it. Because, like, in the terms of, like, them vetoing a trade with CP3 yeah. and, like, a chain of, like, you know, like, Events. bad trades Fuck and bad sign. signings and shit like that. Like, they did not like give him what he needed to win yeah. championships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck them for not giving him. CP3. And even then, like it really, the money didn't really matter at that point. Yeah, because of what he was making with Nike, because of what he was making with endorsement <laughs> deals, yeah. and what he was making like with Body Armor, because that was his biggest investment. Okay. Because I think like at that point, like he had invested two million, and that that two million converted into multi millions. Okay, that's fair. Look. I'll accept that. And we can move on. And I, and I, and I agree. I agree, by the way. You you're made big, a great... You're a good you, person, bro. You're able to like, like let's move on. No, because he, he made a great point. Imagine <laughs> imagine Marlo in a relationship, bro. Huh? Like, damn, bro. Can I wipe you up, bro? Yeah. Yeah. Like, we all want to wipe up Marlo. We all if want I went that no way... No red flags, bro. No red right. flags. No red flags, Hey, bro. no, no. Yeah, my boy don't Takes got no red flags. everyone's opinion into consideration. Yeah, like, like, let's move forward. I fuck like, my boy, my boy is a 10 out of 10, like... Oh, my. That's so yeah. hey, what's your ass, bro? Slide into his DMs, like, come on. You know what? I won't give it because that's a red flag, dog. Oh, I know. damn. He's, he's not gonna be fucking loyal, bro. He's not going to be shooting out like that, dog. He's fucking loyal. He's loyal, to, he's loyal to the boys. I fuck with that. Always. All right. Loyal to the Last boys. Last topic and let's, let's fucking wrap this shit up, all right? The weekend. The dawn. Trash. Some people have some hot takes. Trash. I'm not going to... I'm not going <laughs> to... I didn't listen to it. I listened to the to the first track, but... I'm looking I'm at not, this I'm not a weekend fan. I'm not a weekend I'm looking fan. at this side of the room. So we got some shit to talk about real quick. I'm, I'm not a weekend fan, bro. Uh, Period. I'm a weekend fan. I'll be honest. I didn't like it. <sighs> like, I'll be honest. That shit is trash. Yeah. That shit is trash, and he should have never released it. What is it like? The trilogy? Didn't he drop like the album? No, like, no, no. Trilogy? The trilogy is a great. That album. was fire. Bro. Yeah, that's all. Like, that's that, bro. his like, three I'll original. Me to that, but like bro. his other shit. There's one song on the album that's good. The rest of it, and I knew Mid. he was gonna do that shit. By the way, the album was Mid. called it was called Don FM, and that's FM radio shit. Then he released 103.5 FM, and it was all radio shit. And Mid. all that shit is all radio shit, and it's Mid. fucking trash. Mid, his is the same shit. Over he has there. one song on there. Is there someone else that's like his R and B shit? That's it. It's Mid. All of that shit is ass. So Mid. don't break my heart. That shit is trash, bro. Mid. Wow. I like the one with Lil Wayne. If you want, if you like wearing, if you like going Mid. to H and M and going to the malls and shit and, and fucking rocking, rocking Abercrombie and Fitch, Mid. hey, you like that shit? I don't like that shit. Nah, I want I some House of Balloons type shit, Wicked Games, some fucking. But here's yeah. the thing: we already have House of Balloons. We already have Wicked Games. We already have these albums. So do what works for you. So why would you want him to do the same shit he's already done? He's doing something com- completely different. Mid. Motherfuckers are waiting. <laughs> Everyone's saying, yo, I want Man. I want trilogy again. I want this and that. He's already done that shit. Okay. Those, are those albums already exist. Yes. And I'll, I'll tell you this. If J. Cole starts singing country music, we're not going to be like, hey, yo, bro, thank you for doing something different. 
I'd fuck with Again, that you're taking it to a mad extreme. No, because he's doing country, a different hey, genre of music. It's hard country, nah. dog. Like I he's doing, he's doing pop know. music. That I, album is I'm not hard. I'll be honest. I'll be you, honest. I think I need to listen to the album a <laughs> few more times in order for me to grow into it. But I don't think I will. I just don't fuck with him. And bro. it goes back to to Drake, bro. I think I need to. I think when he dropped wow. the first Certified Lover Boy, like I thought it was. I thought it was ass. Right. And then maybe I needed to listen to it a few more times. It, right. it wasn't, it didn't get better. Okay. No Weekend, however, like straight. maybe I'll give him a few more times to like fucking listen to that shit. But as of right now, I don't like that shit. Okay, I, but I, hold on. Out of 10, what do you rate it? Me? Right now? No, no. Going down that way. I think, I think it's a six right now. Marlo? Oh. Uh, <laughs> honest opinion. Honest? Uh, <laughs> damn. Fuck. Seven. It's a one because I only like one song, and it's out of sixteen <laughs> songs. Nah, like Mike is somebody who does not fuck with the weekend. I give it a four. Okay, four okay. it's four. higher than Wesley. Okay, and I, I fuck. And Wesley <laughs> fucks with the weekend. And I, bro, what about was, you, bro? What he about was you? my second most listened to hey, artist. Hold on, hold on. He's DJ always in my top five. What about you, bro? Hold on, my boy. DJ you listen to it? Yeah, I listen to it. All right, what do you think? And I'm, I'm with him. Like, with Wesley, <laughs> one. You, fuck. but do you you fuck with the weekend? I give him a four, bro. But everyone wants the my so, problem. Okay, my on, problem. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. A one, though, bro. There's people like. What do you fuck. rate it? What do you rate it? <laughs> I don't know. A one? No, there's some fucked up people out there. My honest rating for this new album probably like a three point five. Three and a half. Yeah. Three and a half. My problem with everyone is everyone wants the same shit from the weekend. No, I feel like, it I is. Feel like everyone thing, wants that- everyone wants to be depressed and sad and have the same type of vibe <laughs> to the weekend's music. Let's be honest. Everyone wants the same shit from him. Yo, let's be sad, let's be toxic, let's be on drugs, let's be fucking depressed. <laughs> Honest fucking music. Everyone wants hostage balloons. Everyone What's wants- wrong with that? I'm not saying anything wrong with that. I'm just saying <laughs> everyone's so stuck on that when we already have that. No one wants anything new. My problem with CLB to me was that CLB was the same shit as always. It's like Drake's repetitive. Thank you. So I you love get? Drake. <laughs> this last album was repetitive to me. It was the same shit as always. Nothing new. My that's why I like the weekends. To me, at least, was a little different. She, I get it. Everyone wants to be depressed. I yo, I can't be depressed to fucking House of Balloons already. I can't be depressed to to After Hours. I don't need another album like that. I feel like that's a problem with music though. Like so you, you you expect the same shit from artists, and you you have these these high expectations and like certain certain level of like type of music like yeah. in terms of being depressed or being happy or being excited or or being this certain thing yeah but like at the same time like me personally i, I did not listen to the album yet yeah but at the same time like i'm you not shouldn't. i'm not a big <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i'm saving don't waste that's why i fuck with kanye so much bro he really like throws out shit that's like fucking insanely different hey, Mikey, uh, I, I don't want okay. 30 songs no nope I feel I, like Kanye hey, will throw you everything. Hey, I don't. I don't care who it is. I don't want gospel music, bro. This could no, no, not yeah. even that. I don't want. I don't care if it's Drake. I don't care if it's The Weeknd, Kanye, Michael Jackson, Bad Bunny, God Himself, <laughs> Bad Bunny. I do Maybe not want God, thirty songs. Bro. Really? It's that simple. No. See, I feel like he's a genius at that point, bro. Because like, if if you one, can be as genius as you want, if one out of thirty songs fucks with one percent of the world, bro. Like one percent of the world What's fucks with each mi- each minimum, bro. Max fifteen. Fifteen. That's it. Don't don't give me more. Ten. Yo, if you give 12, 12, 12, 12. if you give me more than fifteen, bro, we're pushing it. That's average. That's average. Yeah. If you give me an album more than an hour and a half, who yeah. has more than three hours to fucking listen to an album, bro? Because no I, I gotta start. We all I, do, but I, not, I, I, I gotta not, start not saying. I gotta start saying, yo, do I want to listen to this new Kanye shit that's four hours long, or do I want to listen to Bad Bunny's fucking bangers back to back to back? Do I want to listen to Drake's? Back to back bangers. I think from like from like an artist perspective though, is if you drop thirty songs, bro, that's thirty chances somebody. No, nope. it song. all has to do with uh fucking quality over it. quantity, bro. So, it but, just depends because but they one are, quality they, song that's to you will be they, quality they song are, to somebody. Quality else. over quantity, bro. They are. What back to quality real quick? Donda or Cob? Oh shit, Donda, Donda. Easily, I'm on Donda. I didn't listen to Donda. Easily, what? So I went. I I initially started Donda's fucking yo thirty songs. What the fuck? I can't. I can't do it. Child CLB. I did. I went through it and I was like, okay, I don't like it. I went back in chunks on Donda. Quality. A lot of quantity, but I eventually went back and I was like, yo, I fuck with this. Okay, yeah. I like it. It was, it was again. It was different enough fuck. that I liked it. But again. I feel like most of the model now is yo put thirty songs, have everyone stream it, and now you got numbers. Is that simple? I'm, I'm quality over quantity, bro. Any day, hundred percent. 
But the, again, it does sh- streaming it's does like not allow that. Tickets, though, bro. Like, if you put out thirty songs, there's more chances of somebody fucking with like fifteen out of thirty. Songs. Is it though? Yeah, what if, what but like put, as a businessman, mm-hmm. would you rather spend a hundred million on thirty songs or maybe but five the, million on ten songs? This is the thing. That's bro, perspective. Like, even though. even if That's somebody really puts out, let's say they put out five songs, right, and they like fucking love these songs, you guys could still think they're ass. Yeah, music subjective, five so songs, it doesn't matter. Bro, what yeah, the person at the end of the day, ass, at the end of the day, it's so subjective. So the more yeah. songs you put out, the more chances of people fucking with it, bro. Because the song that you hate the most will be somebody else's favorite. I song. feel it. I feel it. You know what I mean? Like from a business aspect, where like the more songs you put out, the fucking better. Oh, again, you're talking about business. It's not even the better. It's just like a higher chance for somebody to, to like to like at least, at least one, one of the thirty songs, at least two, yeah. at least three, at least four, yeah, at least five easy. songs. We're talking about business, not quality. But at the same time, like at, as a fan, but us as a consumer, right? Because we enjoy we the music. You right. definitely want quality. I want quality over quantity. See, but what is quality to you guys, bro? Quality every, is every, music. Everything they put out is cool. I guess if you ask Kanye, like, out of the 30 songs, which one is quality? Yeah, he's, he's going to say all of them are. They made every like 100 songs. Every yeah. song is fucking quality. But he's also, like, not biased because he, he made those songs. So. J. Cole's, J. Cole's album was fire. It's just perspective, bro. It's just perspective. Exactly. Cool. Like you say you like country music. None of us do. So music is all subjective. Yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. So, like, the more you put out, the better, bro. As far as like business wise, an artist, hundred percent, and that's what it is, bro. When as a consumer, don't want it. But yeah. business wise, you're right. The more you got out, the more so chances. You're a big weekend fan, right? Let's say the weekend put out thirty songs. You won't fuck with them. No, oh, no, thank you. Yeah, I'm I, not fucking with anybody who puts over more than Migos, 16, 17 songs. Migos album. started with this shit in 2016, 17 when they put out what? Well, uh, what was their compilation album called? Always all time. What is it called? Compilation albums. What are they called? Migos, uh, they haven't quality control. No, no uh, fucking compilation albums. What are they called? Migos. Nobody. Nah, nah. Okay. Nah, bro. Whatever. Know point what is, about. their second compilation album as Migos, right? Culture. They put culture. Thank you. Culture two. I don't know. There's a compilation album. There's culture, culture two, culture three, and then yeah. there's culture three deluxe. When they put out culture two, they put out fucking thirty songs, bro. Right. You lost me. I have no interest. That's interesting, bro. Not again. I don't no, care if you're I, the weekend it's, Drake. No, it's like if you go to a movie and you're like, "Yo, this movie's gonna be four hours long. Are you gonna sit there and watch it?" So like, so like quality so, over quantity. So if somebody bro. put an album with five songs, right? Let's say, let's say that we can put some. Five, you're gonna fuck with those five songs. He did. He did. Mando, a, few, a few years Mando, ago, he did. Like those My songs, they're fire. What if they were ass though? But they weren't. They weren't. They were all good. I'm saying. But, but okay. look, because there's somebody look, out look, there hold like hold those on. five songs were ass. Yo, let me let me ask you this, bro. If you you right, you're right, you're right. A, you're a YouTuber, right? Like right? you're yeah, a yeah, public yeah. figure. Yeah, yeah. Would you rather focus on maybe five videos that are quality versus thirty videos that are mid? Well, see, that's where TikTok comes into play, bro. But I'll let me honest. ask. No, no, no. See, like, like everyone, fuck, like fuck the TikTok, fuck everything. Let me just ask you. Uh huh. Five videos over thirty videos. Five videos that you have more time to like really focus and like put your creative mindset into to make sure that they're perfect versus 30 that you're kind of like mid and maybe saying one of the 30 will hit. So like, yeah, as, yeah, as, but as, 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 as no, a creator, no, 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 bro, everything I put out is going to be a hitter in my head. So that's like you guys, right? You guys put, did a year of podcasts, right? So you're telling me like every podcast you guys put out, you guys I'll be honest, bro. Like bangers. We'll, we'll be honest. Maybe, maybe one out of the 40, what was it? 47, 46? 47. Last year? 47, yeah. Maybe maybe one of the forty seven weren't as good, bro. So but like Kanye, bro, like but drop, we can be dropped a fucking album with thirty albums. You guys dropped a fucking year of like forty seven podcasts. But, but that's different because because we're not dropping ten podcasts on Monday. We're just dropping one. Yeah, yeah. but it, it's dude, that's but, like, as an artist, bro. Like, right, that's a year process. Going their album, that's bro. a year process. Years go into this album. But the thing is, all right, everyone is competing for attention. Hundred percent. It is that simple. I don't yeah, care yeah, what yeah. you do. Yeah, yeah. Video games, podcasting, Anything. music. Let me make this social media. Everyone is competing. For attention. Right. Can you grab my attention for 10 seconds or can you grab me for 30 seconds? 100%. Okay, let me... It is that simple. Yeah, let is me make it? this easier. Like, in terms of numbers, would you rather have five five videos with five million views with with each video being five uh, a million views each or would you rather put 30 videos that are 600K views each that, that? Are, that are amount to five million? 
So like if you, I don't know if the math. See, that just depends, bro. Because like a lot of people who are in the game, <laughs> I think it's right. But like a lot of the people that are in the game said, su- like suggest like keep posting whatever, whatever, keep posting, keep posting, because all it takes is one, bro. But so, like let's say does. you put out, let's say let's say you guys, like, let's say you guys are artists, and you guys put out fucking hundred songs out, and one of them goes viral. <laughs> One of them is that one. That's the one that feeds your family, bro. Like that's. But it. if you're t- if you're but at the same time, that's perspective, though. Would you? I understand the consistency part. Like, yo, you gotta post every day. But what if one day you post something and people are just like, yo, this is not. And that's gonna happen, bro. That's regardless, bro. Like whether you're an artist. But if or not, it like, consistently happen. happens, people will start to expect less from you. Like, oh, you know what? What he's posting isn't even interesting. So yeah, why even at, tune in? At, at the end of the day, mm. that's perspective. Like. Would you rather take a chance with 30 videos or would you rather take a chance with five quality videos? 30, bro. 30 easily, bro. It's like buying a lottery ticket, bro. If you're going to buy a lottery ticket, would you buy 30 tickets or would you buy one? Or five, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know I know what, what, what you mean. Like, what would you, what would you do if like one, but at the end all of it day, takes is one? No, you're right. But the, at the end of the day, it's perspective. Facts, 100%. I feel like as consumers, like we expect a lot from artists, bro. Because yeah. like when- at it's, the the same end of, shit, it's the same shit It's the same shit that the way you guys are judging the weekend. Yeah, yeah. At, at the end of the day, bro, like an artist put something out to them. They're like, yo, this shit was hard. Bro. Yeah, no. Whether it be it. five or 30 songs, like they put their heart and soul into that shit. And they were like, that's the one. At the end of the day, bro, when whenever we record a pod and every Monday, every every Monday that I listen to it, I'm like, that was a fire pod. Yeah, 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 yeah like, no, That's 100%. the way that I think. And I maybe not a lot of people will agree, but yeah. that's cool. You know, I'm not. Like, I'm not hating. Pod, and that's what's the most important. It's gonna like, be a fire see, pod, bro, because we got f- fucking Mike in the house, that's bro. Why I <laughs> fuck with Kanye so much, bro, because he said like everything's about confidence, bro. Okay. It he is. He's like, if you're if you fuck with Kanye, bro, yeah. you fuck with yourself because okay. all his shit is about confidence, bro. Because at the end of the day, bro, whether your guys' pod is like really fucking good or really shitty, yeah. like you guys like it, and that's all that matters. Yeah. You guys are doing you, bro. Yeah, I'm yeah. saying like all you need is one percent of the world to fuck with you, and you guys will be successful. One percent, ninety nine percent of the world can fucking hate you guys, can yeah. want to kill you. If one percent fucks you, one fucking percent fucks with you, we're fucking living. Life. Yo, don't motivate me right now, bro. I'm about to do some Let's push-ups right fucking now. Fucking motivate, bro. Like one percent of the world, bro. That's yeah. it. I, I agree. We you know what I'm saying? We don't need that many people. You know, it's, we just need a. Enough to feed yeah. us. Yeah, yeah. I see it. Hundred yeah. percent. So fucking subscribe, like, and do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <sighs> All right, guys. Oh yeah. Shout Mikey, out, anything shout else, out Mike, bro? Mikey two E's fit. Mikey right? two E's fit, man. Well, like, they might bro. think it's Mikey two E's fit. You know what I mean? Nah, so, like, I know. Hold on. Nah, let, let, let me just say, like, like something else. A little closer, bro. A little All closer. Right, let, me, let me just tell you about my story, man. I'm gonna give a little motivation to the people, man. Go ahead. <laughs> like, so, like I said, I was in a six and a half year relationship, right? A lot of focusing on like other people, right? Not focus on myself. Within the two months that I focused on myself, bro, I went viral on TikTok. I started like a spider. <laughs> Appreciate you. <laughs> Let's go. I started a Spider-Man meetup, bro. Like, I went viral on TikTok for, like, the Spider-Man shit. I got a $600 suit sent to me, bro, for free. Oh, shit. Okay. $600 suit, bro. RPC yeah. Studio. Shout out to you guys. Yeah. They sent me a free Spider-Man suit. I started doing content with that shit. Like, created, like, a non-profit organization, bro. St. Hero Project. Shout out to that. Okay. And, yeah. um... So, like, we're going to be donating money to a lot of fucking people, bro. So, that's something, right? And, like I said, I, I met Kanye West. I met his producer, uh, I'm intoxicating my brand into this big, like, studio shit. Like, a lot of shit has happened, bro, in, like, the last two months from believing in, like, myself. So, like, if you're watching this, man, if you got a dream, if you got something that you want to do, like, really apply yourself 100%. Don't let people, don't let friends, don't let family, like, distract you or, you Put know, you kind down. of, like, make you feel like you can't do it, bro. Yeah. Because I'm telling you, within 60 days... I've accomplished more for my brand than I have in the last seven years, bro. Okay. And like by the end of this year, and this is going to be dope coming back to this podcast, bro. By the end of this year, I will have a gym, I will have a store, and I will have a content house. So it's going to be really dope to look back on this, bro, and to be like, yo, this shit happened. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, I appreciate you guys for having me on. This is just the beginning, bro. Like, and, and another thing is like, you guys gave me like a lot of... Um, like having me on here was a lot for me, bro. This yeah. was like really dope. So like I know I'm gonna grow a lot this year, and like I can't wait to be back on the show, like for real. You yeah. just started. I, I'm saying we're in what week one. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying week one of week 2022. one. Week one. We got a long, 
year ahead of us. That's what I'm saying, bro. You know what I'm like, saying? There's a lot that can happen. We're both going to go. Yeah, I, like, I, feel, I feel. And like honestly, that. bro, we wish nothing but the best for you. 100%. For your yeah. brand, Appreciate for you, especially, for your family. Yo, being, from, being from this area. That's everything. And you know, and you know that growing up in this area, bro, it's not easy. Hey, no, no, no. But hold on. The IE is coming up, bro. It is. The yeah. IE is coming up. and like, We trying to put it on, you know? We <laughs> part of it, though. Nobody's sure. hungrier than us, bro. Yeah. So we're trying like, to make it. Like a lot of people like. Poverty is is bad, bro. That shit But to come up from that. Though. But to come up from that, like that, that takes a lot of. A lot of self motivation and a lot, oh, yeah. not a lot of because honestly, I I look at you, bro, and I look. I, obviously, you 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 grew up in the same area that I did, bro. Like mm-hmm. the right. Pacific area, right? Like right. the whole fucking that hill, yeah, bro. Yeah, that yeah, hill, yeah. I you, I know that hill like it's the back of my hand, bro. Yeah, because I know that hill. I know Paris Hill Park, bro. That's like that's my park, bro. Right. That's Tennis where I grew right. up. Facts. And like, no, that shit ain't fuck. It's not easy, it's bro. Not, it's not easy. Not at it's all. not. And not. like, I look at you, bro, and I'm like, fuck. Like, I know where you grew up, and I know yeah. like the the type of shit you probably went through. Yeah. And I know that these guys probably went through the same shit. And you as well, bro. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, San Bernardino is not an easy place to grow up in, bro. To get out of. And like, man. for us to like continue doing our thing and like being here, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, it's to it's do dope, it, bro. bro. Yeah, yeah, it's dope. Good like, for you, bro. Good I, for you. I appreciate you. Yeah. Likewise, man. Like, like realize, like, at the end of the day, bro, there's so many people that want to do this shit. Yeah. And we are right here doing it. Yeah. Like, that's what separates 100%. us from, like, people who aren't going to do shit and people who are going to do it. We're doing it. Yeah. Like right, like, right now, there's somebody out there, like, fucking up, like, doing some crazy shit. And yeah. like, we're working. Having What's, a great time. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know if you can say this, but, like, you say you're about to open the gym and store. Do you know where that's going to be at yet? Or... That's that's the that's the million dollar question, bro. Because I, the gym that I have in my mind is like fucking amazing, and it's like Texas, uh, Vegas area is a lot more affordable to where I could actually put my dreams into perspective. Mm-hmm. But if I can definitely afford a California gym, I definitely definitely okay. will. Um, the one guy who's really doing the game is Christian Guzman. I don't know if you guys know who Christian Guzman. Is. Sounds familiar. He's the guy who runs Alpha Elite. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So. No, he's open. No, we know. He, yeah. he he's opening. Seriously. He just opened <laughs> Alpha Land. Alpha Land is basically like a three gym facility. There's three different yeah. gyms. He gave all his homies like a fucking store. Okay. Like a flagship store, and he gave his mom a restaurant there. Like it's like a big fucking like facility, and that's like, that's fucking gold. But see, at the same time, you got to start somewhere. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, he actually started his first gym in a storage unit, bro. There you go. You know what I mean? So, bro, I used to pick up protein from some dude in a storage same. unit. You know I mean? used to so, go with him. So, so we're, we're getting there, bro. We're for Mad sketch. Shout out him. So I'm gonna be. I'm gonna Big be, J. Big, Big J. Shout out Big J. J. Supplements. I don't uh, know. Big J. Yeah. It has to be, bro. And it's the same. Big one. J. It was right there, like towards Moscow, and yeah, 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 right. Garcia supplements, bro. Like, yeah, I oh, worked there. Yeah, I yeah. worked there, bro. Oh, oh for real? Shout out Big J, <laughs> Shout out Big J Damn, bro. We go way back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout that's out my guy dope. Big J, bro. That's, yeah, that's like, fucking dope. He actually really put me on. Like, I want to, yeah. I want to put his supplement shit into my gym eventually because yeah. he really put me on game. That's fucking Big dope. J, bro. That's Big crazy, bro. Yeah, no, no. I know he's talking about. Storage is right over the bridge, bro. Yeah, storage unit. So he used to sell like. Okay, I don't know what. <laughs> he used to sell steroids out that shit. <laughs> and um, he actually never picked up those. So, so, like, so, like, yeah. so, like, that's how we got big. Yeah. So, he opened a Yo, look at these games, yeah. dog. Come on. <laughs> he opened a supplement shop, like, across the street. It's still there. Yeah. Garcia Supplement. Shout out to him, Garcia that's Supplement. That's fucking dope. Street, bro. That's my guy, Big J, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's the real deal, bro. But, like, yeah, like, Honestly, bro, like just putting on for San Bernardino, like we're for sure gonna be a movement, bro. Like you guys are putting in the work, like it, it's gonna happen, bro. Trying like, to be dog. Manifestation is a real fucking thing, bro. It is. I'm telling you, bro. Like I especially talking, when you have the work behind it. I was talking for months for working on Kanye West, bro, and yeah. then I, I fucking met him, bro, and like talked to him, got to introduce myself to him, and like yeah. tell him like we're gonna work together, bro. Like big fucking things are gonna happen this year. Okay. Yeah. For everybody. Big fucking I love it, dog. things, bro. Everybody for like the people that room. are working for it, that's the biggest thing, bro. A lot of a lot of people want what we're doing oh yeah, yeah. they right don't put now. in the work bro. but they don't want to work for it you nah. see my boy over here he putting in the work bro that's why i said bro like <laughs> he's the engine bro he's right the engine the jump, bro i was like yo let, like this guy's invested let me tell you the story real quick bro he's this lebron fool. bro and we're like on 10 days dog. <laughs> this, fool, like... this fool hit us up 2019 bro uh-huh. 2019 i want to say like october november ish right mm-hmm. and he was like it's it's time 
it's time for us to put out a podcast. And first week of 2020, we came in, bro. This this place looked nothing like what it looks like today. Right. And I mean, I can he can vouch of what it looked like way before even then. Uh, right. Mm. But like, bro, we came in, we're like, let's do this shit, bro. And I mean, you can go back to fucking episode one. Yeah, bro. Big difference. And I mean, he told us his goals. He was like, a hundred uh, listeners first year. That's all I want. That's my goal. Right. And yeah, we're mean, getting and humbly, we not, can honestly say that we've uh, what, quadrupled. Not, not to brag, not to brag, but I recently looked at the analytics. <laughs> right. For audio listeners. Pa- paperwork. Paperwork. We're five hundred. I'm telling you. On you average. Are, you are, and this this is from like somebody like an outsider perspective. Like yeah. obviously I fuck with you guys from the gym and shit. Yeah. But like, you know, I'm I'm not really invested. Like I don't really know you guys like yeah. that. Yeah. You know what I mean? We just met literally. So but yeah. like from going on to like social media and seeing you guys' podcast, yeah. you guys are doing your fucking thing. Thank you, though. All Appreciate you, bro. Of, like like you guys had a few viral bangers that are like that puts you above a bunch of fucking people, bro. Yeah. Like a bunch of fucking people. And this yes, is your two, a lot bro. of people, like, they'll go viral once, and that's it. They die down. Consistency, bro. Like, you guys got a little, like, a little something and kept fucking going. Yeah. yeah. And I'm that's telling you, all, all, all the credit to my boy over here, though. Marlo, bro. All the credit nah, to my boy. I'm telling you, bro, because, like. Marlo, bro. Shout here, out Marlo, thing. bro. All the credit to them. Because nah, without without sure, them, bro. it's a team, sure. bro. It's a team. That's effort. the thing. Like, I, I, to you I get, guys as a fucking unit, bro. I get that I do certain things, but without Wesley saying certain things, without what Yayo saying certain things, without Hector saying certain things, this doesn't happen. You know what I'm it, saying? It's a fucking I can't, team, bro. I don't sit here by myself doing this. I mean, that's like, you know bro, I mean? we're talking about LeBron James, right? Without yeah. without LeBron James' team, like, he's not going to do shit, bro. Yeah, you know yeah. exactly. I mean? like, he it, can't do it. He can't do it. It's a team effort, yeah. bro. Like, you guys built like an elite squad, bro. Yeah. Like, you guys. And, and kind of just going back on like what, what we've said in the past, bro. This, I mean, this, what we do, what mm-hmm. we talk about is what we've been doing for years, bro. For years, dog. Years. We've been doing this for years, just not on camera. Just putting it in work. Years, bro. Yeah. And it's that simple, bro. Yeah. But people just don't are afraid to take the jump that you guys. Can took. you tell that we've been homies for a long time? Oh, 100 <laughs> percent. The, the chemistry between you guys is amazing, yeah, bro. Yeah. And like that's what's gonna take you guys far as fuck. Oh yeah. It's like you guys are like look, the name of the podcast is La Familia, right? Like you LSP. guys are a family, bro. Yeah. That's like the realest that's fucking gang. thing, and you can see it between you you guys. And yeah. that's what's gonna really put you guys far. And you've been you know, you said a lot of good things. Good good for you for like trying to for putting yourself out there and taking you like you said you're all in to what you're doing 100% that shit like I've said on here that's just mad hard it's hard it's as not easy bro. hard as fuck it's not easy like, it's a, and, and again it's a big risk 100%, big risk 100% because there's no guarantee and like at first like it was scary as fuck but yeah. like if I wouldn't have quit my jobs, bro, I wouldn't have went to that Donda Academy shit. I wouldn't have yeah. met Kanye. I wouldn't right. have made that video with Steve Will Do It. I wouldn't have made yeah. that video with Bradley Martin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like like taking these fucking risks is like it's scary, but it's paying off. Bro. Yeah, hundred percent. And like my my brand is like paying the bills, and it, it's scary, bro, because like when you get a job, bro, that set income mm-hmm. is so comfortable. Yeah. Like you're like fuck. I know I'm gonna get this check this week. You know what I mean? So like I gotta work to get it. But like when you like let that go and you're like wake up every morning and you're like I got to sell this shit. Mm-hmm. I got to make this money. That shit like puts you on a whole nother different level. motivation. A whole yeah. other level. And if we can do anything, bro, to help you out with any I'm, of that, let us know. I appreciate oh yeah, you, like well, I was gonna say this after, but <laughs> anything you need help with, I got you. I appreciate. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, like because again, I do like. There aren't many people who are genuine about what they're trying to do. Right. And like trying to, like who are really with it. Yeah. Some people say they're with it and they're not. Facts. It's clear you're with it. I appreciate it. So anything you need help with, you know, we got you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Like the the overall reason I'm getting into social media, like originally, like I was a really fat kid. So like I got fit. Like I wanted to help like people who like don't, who like need advice, whatever, yeah. whatever. But then like growing up, I realized like not having anybody personally, yeah. I realized that like there's a lot of people out there that don't have somebody. Nah, so, like right. if you can take that social platform and be that person mm. for somebody who has nobody, bro, that's like amazing. That bro. means everything. It's like, every, yeah. that's like literally why I'm doing this shit, yeah. bro. So like giving that Spider-Man suit, I wore it out to like the mall. I wore it out mm. to like public places mm. and like took pictures with like a lot of fucking kids, bro. Yeah. And, like made their fucking days just by Having, having fun, this, this bro. Just having, just, with just having fun, yeah. bro. Yeah. And it's like a crazy, bro. Like 
the power of social media. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, it, and that's it, dope because everyone likes to focus on the negative, but you're doing being, something positive. Being the positive, you know what I'm bro. saying? Yeah. And that, that's why I fuck with you guys too. Is like yeah. it's all positivity, bro. Oh yeah, especially 100%. where we come from. Like you mentioned, where we come from, bro. There's a lot of people that want to like bring you down oh, or yeah. like you know talk rob shit. you. Talk shit, bro. Like, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, rob you. That's still bringing thing. you down, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't like, know. Like, physically hurting yeah. you is one thing, bro, but just like doubting you, bro. Like, yeah. that shit's not gonna make it, bro. Your yeah. shit's whack, like, yeah. whatever. Like, a lot of people that I hate because they're afraid to do that jump, but like, I'm telling you guys, like, if yeah. you guys keep fucking going, bro, like, you guys will be the next big podcast, yeah. bro. Thanks. 100%. That's, that's the goal, bro. 100%. That's a goal, you guys are fucking doing it. And like realize that like right now, while it feels like, fuck, I got to make it. Like, fuck, I got to do this. That's the process. Yeah, oh, yeah. And that's what's part We're of it. We're in year two. That's the beauty, that's the that's beauty the of it. That's the fucking beauty of it, That's the beauty of it, bro. If you didn't... If you- <laughs> If you didn't go through this <laughs> in your mind. journey, <laughs> like if you didn't go yeah. through this, if you didn't go through the hardships in your journey, bro, it's not as beautiful at the end. Yeah. If you just 100%. got it and you're bro, like that. Word to my boy J. Cole, bro. There's a beauty and the struggle in it, bro. <sighs> Facts, bro. That's it. Let's end this shit on that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. All right, guys. All right, bro. Damn. We are episode LFP. 49, damn, bro. I'm drunk. Like, Low <laughs> uh, wow. I can't even speak right now. <laughs> Me like, too, sorry. bro. This Me is too. Like, this is maybe one of three times I've been in like, yeah. So this is episode 49. Nine. Episode 49. 50 next week. Yes. Um, Shout out, Mikey. LFP. Shout out, Mikey. Shout out, Mikey. Yeah. Shout out, Mikey. Out, Mikey. Again, you, thanks man. for being here, dog. Of course, man. Uh, for, appreciate for, it. for coming in and fucking with us. Just put on a show. I'm the big homie. Talk- I, hey, I'm glad we the talked big- about it, bro. Uh, I'm glad we had that convo. Like, I'm, gl- I'm glad I was able to get you on here. That's for sure. another fucking crazy thing. Hold yeah. on. I know we're about to end it, but no, no, like, no, no, no. <laughs> like, no, 30 minutes. Dude, like, <laughs> as everything was going for me, bro, my Instagram yeah. this year went from like 2K to like 14K, bro. So, like, I started oh, blowing shit. up. Oh, okay. right? shit. Okay, like, that's on dope. Like, on some, like, bigger shit, right? And I was like, man, I want to be on somebody's podcast, bro. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm like, should I do a should I do a post like, who has a podcast? Like, let me get on. I'm like, yeah. you know what? Nah, I'm not even going to do that. Yeah. I'm going to let that shit come to me, right? Yeah. This is after all that Kanye shit. And then literally the next fucking day, bro, I ran into him at the gym and he's like, yo, we have a podcast. Yeah. You should come. I'm like, bro, I was just fucking talking about this shit. I'm like, let's yeah. fucking do it. Let's do That's it. what's up, dog. Again. Yeah, man. It's amazing. Bro. What are the chances? You know, look at us here. Meant, meant to Again, be, bro. We all, we've all seen him in the gym for fucking Appreciate what? You, man. Fucking five years now at this point. It's been a minute. It's yeah. been a long time. It's been a we've all, we all lost it. Like sure. It's been a long time. Um, Mike, yeah, I appreciate you being here. Like, like I said, um, episode forty nine of the LFP. Yeah, we covered West zero and, topics, but it don't we matter. didn't cover shit. But <laughs> <laughs> hey, we'll we didn't leave co- the board for next week. <laughs> we didn't huh. cover shit, but we covered shit. Yeah. We talked about it a lot, bro. We yeah, did. yeah, we did, we did. Yeah, yo, Hector. Wesley, Marlo, the big homie. Yes, yeah, sir. Again, what's up, Wonder? Mikey? Mikey. Yo, Mike. appreciate you. Appreciate you too, yeah. bro. Appreciate you, you Mikey. Shout out your your shit real quick. I mean, before yeah, you go. man. If you guys want to check me out, man, Mikey Fit, M I K E Y F I T on everything, man. YouTube, e. uh, Instagram, TikTok, all that, man. Check me out. And appreciate you, man. That's episode forty nine of the LFP. Until so next week, Mikey, again. Books, man. Thank you for being here, dog. I appreciate you. Much appreciate you for having me, man. Until next time. Love you. Bye. Peace. Yo!